is coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Good morning to you. Do you have a sore head today? Did you eat a little much too cake yesterday or perhaps have a little bit too much sun? Yes, big celebrations in the streets all around the UK yesterday. It was lovely to see people being safe, social distancing, but being out in their gardens and having a chat with their neighbours. It really was lovely. And of course, we were celebrating the 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe. And because of that, we've got a great event on here at Hochanda. We've got a four for three. You'll see a code at the bottom of the screen. It is VE4 for three. It's really easy. In any one hour, if you buy four items, you will get the least expensive for free. It's a four for free deal. Four for free. I went all Leicester then. Uh, four for three deal. The Queen's English must speak. It's celebrating VE Day. So I hope you're well and I hope you had a lovely day. If you've got any photographs from yesterday, we'd love to see what you're up to. We really would. Uh, send them into studio at hochanda.com. If you've got any questions about any of the items that we've got on the show, then do email in as well. Or leave a message on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, right. We're in for a treat this morning. We've got lots of different shows uh, from dyes to stamps and to quilting as well. And every show tells a story. This story is Spellbinders, one of the originators when it came to die cutting or when it comes to die cutting. And what we've got here is a glorious array of dies for you to take your card making maybe to the next level. We're going to start right here. You'll see we've got fantastic prices on the show, 9 dollars And this is Spellbinders. This is your vintage Starburst 
balance and gatefold die set three dies in here as you can see so you've got your first die your second die and then that beautiful third die let me just turn it that way because when you use this particular die you can use it on repeat and then if I show you the card that I have here you can make and create a card as stunning as this it really is spectacular isn't it uh, 9.99 saving seven pounds on that price so you'll see we've got the main die just at the top then on repeat down below changing the color of that glitter so you've got the difference in color the same design and then you've got that lovely fancy along the sides and across the middle so lots of different things that you can do with this uh, so 238609 here's another lovely lovely gatefold card that you can create with this particular die so two different examples there of what you can create with that particular vintage starburst valance and gatefold die set they're really nice if you've got wedding invitations to put together just make it special and then you can put a little ribbon in the middle right next up we've got a topper um, now if I just turn that way there you go now if you're making a gatefold card you can use this across the top of the fold I'll show you an example in a moment or you could use it at the top of your card if it is the right size let me turn this around and show you a sample there you go remember when I said about the ribbon tying those two sides together it's done that just there so great for invitations lovely for a wedding it's quite regal isn't it it's vintage treasures collection it is the regal and you've got three dies in that particular set turning this around just to show you the three dies in there as I just bend that forward you can see you've got your three dies to use separately or together which cuts it out of the paper I think we've got another example to show you of what you can make and create with this one now that's nice that's like a pocket isn't it um, that would be nice for putting a gift card in it would be lovely maybe as part of your journal inside and then that would be a pocket inside the journal to put your memories in just for you and that could be just for you as well just 9.99 uh, right we're moving on we've got um, a lovely set of dies here to create flowers leaf and that foliage this is your rosebud so you've got four different sizes uh, to your rose you've also got the leaves as well saving eight pounds 9.99 now let me turn this around to show you how that could look on your card roses are beautiful aren't they and of course it goes within that realm of vintage that vintage vibe of a rose with the different colored card you can have different colored roses of course you can add your different inks on the tips of the roses as well so you can make them different each and every time you can make a whole bunch of roses I tell you what would look lovely if you had the whole of the card all covered in roses it could be the top of a box it could be to garnish um, an invitation or it could be to garnish a decoration if you want to go for this particular die set 999089509 do love roses really do prone to a little bit of uh, green fly though occasionally uh, right next up this is your love this this is your colonnade border let me turn it that way there you go so you get a really nice idea of the pattern that you can start to create two five four five nine one saving two pounds on this deal 9.99 these are fantastic prices for spellbinders and remember you've got your four for three deal so buy any four and get the least expensive for free uh, and these will go through pretty much all your die cutting machines out there but they are compatible with the spell binding range you've got your sapphire your grand caliber and your platinum the large and the small one but they'll work of course with all your die cutting machines apart from the really teensy tiny ones uh, right next up you've got your exquisite and it is exquisite isn't it your exquisite topper let me turn that that way so that's the top of the card running across there and that will connect to the base of the card let's turn this around to give you an idea of what you can build and create doesn't it make a difference and an impact statement to your card making you could have just a sentiment in the middle but it's the cutting out of the card that gives you that 
perfect design. And then you could add some inks just around the top of it, maybe add some embossing powder to it. But it's the cut of the card that delivers that beautiful design of the card. Uh, right, $9.99 for that one. Uh, excellent price, excellent price. Again, work in all your die cutting machines. Now, we've got some demonstrations coming up on the show, and the first demonstration is with the Starburst die, which is the first die we saw on the show. Let's take a look at this. Enjoy. Hello there. Kim back from Spellbinders, and I'm excited to create another project using one of the Becca Feekins dies from her Shadowbox collection. Absolutely love this die. Now, this die is called the Vintage Starburst Valance, and it, like I said, it originally debuted with her Shadowbox collection. And I kind of think like the shadow box, because it was so interesting and unique, kind of overshadowed this die that went along with it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to create a project that really lets this die shine. So again, the vintage Starburst Valance, and it does have the Valance look. And I'm going to create a card where I'm using this on two ends of this long piece of cardstock. And then it's going to fold over and create my card in the middle. So that's going to be so fun. So before we start, I'm going to do a little scoring on this. Now this is a normal 12 inch long piece of cardstock. So start with your 12 inch uh, wide cardstock. And then I trim this to five and a half inches. So my card finish size will be five and a half inches tall. But I'll show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, two score lines right here. The first score line is going to be at three and one quarter. And then we're going to skip over to eight and three quarters. And basically what that does is that gives me my five and a half inch card size in the middle. So basically that's going to kind of end up being a square. So now that I know this is the inside of my card, I'm going to flip over my card stock because I want that beautiful embossed detail of the die to show on the outside of the flap. This die does not have a cut line along this side. So because it does have that balanced look, this is perfect for this style of card because there is no cut line there. So we just go ahead and line that guy up with our scored line. I'm going to use a little bit of temporary adhesive here. Again, you kind of want to watch your uh, top and bottom too, so you can make sure that you're all in place. And I could go ahead and die cut this first and then add my detail die piece, but I'm going to go ahead and cut them all at one time. Because this die cuts beautifully. And I'm going to do the same exact die on both of my flaps. Okay, now I've cleaned out both sides of my die cut, and of course we have our lines that are already kind of pre-scored here. Love that. So that's why we took that extra few minutes to do our scoring. How stunning is that? Now for the inside, I just wanted to do a quick little insert. Um, I grabbed some a little bit lighter. This is kind of a coral color. I just grabbed something in the same color family, a little bit lighter. Now in order to keep it closed, I just cut a one inch strip of cardstock as a little belly band. To decorate the rest, I thought it would go kind of really fun Becca Feekin style and add a really glamorous bow. And then I did go ahead and glimmer, uh, using a hot foil glimmer system, I glimmered a really pretty sentiment. And this is from one of her earlier dies, her glimmer plates. It's called Elegant Affirmation Sentiments. And this glimmer plate set is absolutely quite beautiful and has so many different sentiments. I just picked this one, Hello Beautiful, because I thought it really matched the sentiment of the card, or the style of the card. So let me put this guy back on. And again, keeping it loose. I don't want to glue it to my card. I want my recipient to be able to open it. So I've got a beautiful satin bow here. We've just kind of glammed it up, like I said, Becca style. I think I'll put a foam square there. I could use a glue dot or a couple big glue dots too, but I'm put a foam square there and see how it covers up my seam or my joint. But for this one, I just want to put my foam squares or my adhesive on just the lower area here, just the part that's going to touch my belly band because I just want to kind of snug this up right into the bow and just kind of really just tuck it into that belly band. So again, still stays loose from my card front, right? I don't want it to adhere. But isn't that a beautiful finishing touch to just kind of give my card a hug and, and close in those beautiful two valances that are die cut there. 
So absolutely beautiful. Let me give you one more shot of the card as it's open because that really shows off the die. And I can't wait to see what you do with this beautiful die. Isn't that nice? Give the card a hug. Isn't that lovely? Lovely terminology. And then hopefully somebody will give that card a hug when they open it up as well because I love it so much. Proving to be popular, proving to be very popular at 9 99 saving £7. You get three dies included in that set. Here's another lovely sample to show you as well, just to give you a variation. That's what spellbinders are all about, the variety and the uniqueness of their dies so that you at home can do a variety of different designs as well. I think this one uh, is gorgeous because it can also lend itself to being like a fan or a sun or a gatefold as you can see just here. Um, absolutely stunning, very much so. 999-238-609 is your item number if you want to go for that. Uh, now, Something else you've already found on the show is the Infinity Link. Um, now, that the name suggests exactly what it is. So your Infinity Link, just here, uh, means that you could use this on repeat. But if you have a look, that's a great shot, actually. Have a look at the detail that's in there. It's absolutely remarkable. And that, again, is what spy, spy binders, spell binders are all about. The innovation in their design, but the quality that you get as well. And you'll find that as soon as you get the dies home, when you take them off and out of their packaging, you will feel the quality, you will see the quality and the fine detail that's in there to get projects started to look just like that, for example. I love that. I love the roses down the middle. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. So lots of different ways that you can use this. And you can use this again to make the ends of your cards, put the roses on. Another sample here on the back of the packaging to give you an idea when you get this home. Now that looks really nice and I believe what they've done on this particular sample is taken little tiny pearls and placed them on that uh, side of the card. I think that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Really, really does. Something that lag detail, just a ribbon and it's the cutting that the die cut does for you that gives you that pizzazz, that detail. Uh, right, next up. We've got your grand pocket. Very busy for this. You found this on the website already. Nine ninety nine. Remember, if you're buying four, you're getting the fourth one free. Well, when I say the fourth one, I've got to stop saying that. Actually, you buy four and you get the least expensive for free. It's part of the four for three deal. Quote ve four four three. Turn this around. Show you an example of how you can use that. It's always nice to see. So you've got the two sides there, which is the main part of the die, and you've also got the flowers as well um, that you can create and add to that design, or maybe add the flowers to something else. So you've got lots of versatility. Uh, that's what um, spellbinders are all about. So it's a great die to have, whether you're using it just on the side to elaborate part of your card or whether you're using it as a pocket as such uh, but we've got a demonstration coming up with this particular die um, and here it is so uh, enjoy here's Nicole. Hello Nicole here from Spellbinders and I'm excited to be showcasing some beautiful projects from Becca Feakin of Amazing Paper Grace. Specifically we're going to be looking at some dies from her Candlewood collection as well as her Vintage Treasures collection. So let's get started. So here are two of the dies we're gonna feature in this demo. This is her grand pocket, and you'll notice that it is grand, in fact, it is quite large, but it also has these three flowers, cinchingo flowers that come with it, which we will be using later. And we're also gonna be using the Candlewick rectangles. Um, I'm gonna put the rectangles aside for now, and we're gonna go ahead and cut out our pocket. So something really of note about this die is that this edge over here is actually a score line. So if you feel it with your finger, you'll note it's not a cutting, it's actually a score. And then we have the perforated line here, which also creates a score line. So when you're cutting out your pockets, you're gonna wanna use really an oversized piece of cardstock. And so basically just eyeball it. You can measure it if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it uh, right about here and I'm gonna tack it down. And I'll show you why we have this kind of hang of the top and over here in just a second. So we're going to run that through our die cutting machine. There you go. 
two passes through usually does it. This is a pretty easy to cut die. Now I'm going to bring my trimmer in. I'm going to trim off some of these sections off this top part. Just bring it right down to there. There you go. And then I'll do the same down here at the bottom. Just a tiny bit there. There we go. You can feel it. It comes loose really easily. Sure. Okay, so we removed this piece. And now what we're going to do is trim off this strip because you won't need that. And then we're also going to measure from the perforated line up to five and a half because this is going to fit a five and a half or a two size card insert. So let's go ahead and trim off the excess down here. And again, get just right to it. There you go. Cut that strip off. And then we want to measure to see how tall this is. And so again, we want this to be five and a half tall. So here we are five and a half and just shave off a little bit. This is, it's a lot easier when you do start with a slightly oversized piece of cardstock because you can always trim it back down. Now, ultimately I'm going to trim this as well, but I do want to score it first and see how my pocket's looking before I do that. So again, here's a tip about this pocket is you're going to want to reinforce those score lines. And doing that will just make it so much easier for you to fold. So find yourself a ridge here that aligns with the, the score line. And you can see it. It's kind of tough to see on camera, but, but I can see it from my angle. So I'm just going to drive my crease tool into that score line to give me a nice crease. And again, these pieces are very delicate, so it helps to have that reinforced score line to be able to curl that around without hurting the delicate die cut. So there we have it. Now, is it starting to look a little bit more like a pocket? Cool. And then now we're going to fold up this perforated line. Doesn't need the reinforcing as much as the other. And there we go. So now it looks like a pocket, right? But we need to trim off this excess. So again, A2 size card, we'll go ahead and trim this down to, uh, to fit our A2 size card. And now we have a beautiful pocket to hold an insert. So now that the pocket's done, let's switch gears and pull out our Candlewick rectangles die to do our insert. So I have some cardstock already pulled here. I'm going to bring in the largest of the dies here. So we have an outside cut line and then we have this beautiful, delicate uh, candlewick detail. Now, because of the delicate nature of these die cuts, the trick here is really to cut your outside frame first, which is sized to an A2 size card, and then come back and cut out your delicate inside piece. Now, this one is a little bit trickier because there's a lot more cuts to it. So you'll have to run this one through a few times and sometimes you even need to rotate the die as you do that. Okay, so we have this beautiful cut. So now I wanna show you something. Uh, just like with all of the Candlewick dies, the beauty of these basic shapes happens when you emboss it. If you just run it through the die cutting machine, it looks like this and it's quite beautiful. So this is purely die cut. Now, this is when you cut and emboss. So can you see the difference here? There's some really fine candlewick detail that you capture when you run it through the embossing step. Again, your choice if you'd like to do that or not, but if you are going to do that, then make sure that you keep your die adhered to your cardstock and then bring in your embossing mat and plate and run it through and you'll get this look. So in doing that, we have this beautiful embossed candlewick rectangle. We backed it with a piece of buttercream cardstock and then layered on this cute little printed piece. And that is our insert. Now, that is beautiful on its own, quite nice, but we wanna add a little bit more. We wanna decorate the outside of the pocket. And for that, I wanna bring in those three dies that I talked about earlier. All right, so the beauty of all of Becca's Cinch and Go flowers is that they generally come with more than one flower size, so sometimes three, sometimes four, and they all are very notable because they have this circle in the middle, and that's how we're going to cinch them up, as it were. So we cut out these flowers, and this is what the shapes look like, which are quite beautiful, but we're going to shape these flowers, and I want to show you the types of, of shapes that you can do um, because you can do very different looking flowers based on how you mold them. So this is the type of flower we're going to do now for our pocket. 
but I want to show you how cool and how versatile these dies are because you could also create one more like this that's more of a closed or rosebud type. So we're going to focus on this one for now, and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to do it. Now, um, first of all, we need to get our petals shaped, and for that, I want to bring in uh, an acetate sheet or kind of a clear sheet just so I don't get my mat wet. Um, but you could do it on the table, you could do it on anything, and because you are going to need some water. So I'm bringing in one of Jane's misters here. Now the key for the type of flower that we're doing is to turn these over. So we're going to turn them over and we're going to give them a little spritz, nothing crazy, just a little water and kind of get them in there. Get them in that water. And then we'll move them to our mat for the molding stage. So a little bit wet. And I'm going to add them to the mat and I'm going to bring in the tool in one with the stylus tip head. So you're all familiar with the tool in one. We use it all the time to get our chads and things out of dyes, but there's also a set of stylus tips that you can add to it that is perfect for, uh, for flowers. So again, the flower, the die cut is turned upside down and we're going to just add some pressure here and just bring it in from the outside in to the center. And just doing that, give it a good amount of pressure a handful of times. And you see here, you're kind of starting to break down those fibers and those petals are starting to curl up a bit. Now the key for this flower then is to turn it around and then to hit it here in the middle. And that causes it to kind of curl up like that, okay? So we'll set that one aside. Again, it's upside down, do the exact same thing. There you go. And then turn it over and boom. So you're starting to see how it's coming together, right? This one's obviously teeny tiny and curls together quite easily. So now we have our shaped petals. Now the key though, before we start to assemble is to let them dry thoroughly. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside and let them dry for a minute. And while, I, while we let them dry, I do want to give you a quick tip. If you wanted to create one, a flower that's more of the closed variety, it's really the same process. The only difference is that you're going to want to have the, the petals right side up when you do that same process. So you get them damp, you put them here, and then you're going to be doing the same process, adding that pressure, drying those petals in, breaking down those fibers to get those to curl up. And then you're final step, of course, will be hitting the center again. It kind of brings everything together and kind of closes the bud. So let's see, it's already starting to try to close. And you can also use your fingers to get in there and shape it too, because once it dries, they're pretty, they're pretty hard. I mean, they, they're pretty uh, stiff little flowers. So the key though, again, is to let them dry before you start working with them to assemble. Okay, so let's switch over to assembly now. Now again, these ones actually aren't quite dry yet, so I'm going to bring in some that we've already done that are dry. So here's a few that we have that are already dry. So we have our die cut pieces. Now, you need to have some type of a stamen, and uh, stamen of course is the center of the flower. And so what we've done here, these are quite simple. This is just this is just 26 gauge wire with a little pearl bead on the end. So you know, just little pearl beads and you're gonna give yourself a lot of room to work with, so cut your wire extra long, slide your bead on, and then just twist it up. And as you can see, we have all these little stamens created, and it helps to do these you know, in bulk too. So sit down and do a whole bunch of these, and then you have them ready for when you wanna assemble your flowers. So we will start with the smallest, of course, and we'll slide that on. Now, you can use regular white glue, it works okay, but the hot glue gun gives it extra structure, but it also creates Kind of a buffer between your first and second and third levels of flowers which gives your flower a lot more dimension and then you're going to add your next one now when you add your next one you want it to be offset so you're going to want to line it up so that your petals see that so your petals are kind of offset between your big and your little one now make sure that you come in and you add a final do dollop of glue on the back that will really hold it in place. Because ultimately you are going to trim down this wire and you don't want the petals to be falling off. Now I do want to show you as well, you could just uh, just a single one and this acts as a really great filler as well. 
This is with that different look folded up, but you can do multiple petals. You can do just singles. And these again, act as really great fillers if you're building kind of a bouquet on the front of your project. Now you'll notice there is a lot of delicate kind of lace working in here. So here's a little tip for you. Add a little circle or some type of a die cut back here that'll act as really our surface to adhere our flowers to. So as I mentioned, when you had your wire, it was always a little longer because we were working with it to add the glue, but now we can trim it down. So go ahead and trim it down. And then you just add them to the front of your piece. Now I want to give them something to lay on. So I created a cute little bow here. You can just grab any of your favorite ribbons and do that. And we'll just add our bow here and then we'll add the flowers on top. Then you're going to want to close up that pocket. Now there's two ways to do it. You could wrap the flap around the back. Many people don't like the look of that. They don't like the showing. And so what you'll do instead is add your adhesive here and then it will fold up right here to close up your pocket. Either way works. It's really personal preference. And then you slide in your A2 card. So I am really happy with how this adorable pocket turned out with those cute flowers. And just simply add your sentiment on your note card, slide it in and anyone would love to receive that. Oh, we certainly would. Uh, we're very busy. You've been watching that and thinking, do you know something? I'm going to pop that into my basket. And you have. Uh, over a third of the stock, though, has now gone. Lots of people taking advantage of the four for three. So maybe this is your fourth purchase. And if it is, if it is the least expensive, you won't be paying for it. It's all part of our 75th anniversary of celebrating victory in Europe. There's the code at the bottom, VE443. Uh, right, moving on, moving on. Uh, another beautiful die from uh, Spellbinders. And this, well, you can see that, it's your circles. Do you know what's lovely about this? You'll see you've got your outer, the inner, the outer, the inner, the outer, the inner, and so on. Uh, so you've got lots of dies to work with. Use these all together to get that impact on your card. Or you could actually use these to create apertures. So you could use just that singular die right there to create that wonderful effect. And just turning this around will give you an idea of the sort of card that you can use this for. So you'll see there just around the edge. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Because it gives you versatility. And it's fantastic because it's designed by Becca Fecan and also it's reduced by £10. So it's just £9.99. An absolutely beautiful card there to show you, the circle being in the centre. We've also got another die coming up that's been used on the outside of that particular die. So on that one, you had the circle just showing you how you can create and make some fantastic designs incorporating this into your card making. Right. This oh, lavalier. I thought it was love in the air. Lavalier. Tiffany Lavalier. 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 Is that a flower? Lavalier. 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 Ho ho. He ho. He ho. He ho. Lavalier. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful dye, though, isn't it? And if I, just as we're looking at that, if I just give it a pinch, yes, you've got your separate dies, six dies on there in total. The middle one's absolutely gorgeous, packed with detail. And then you've got those lovely circles going around the edge, which you can use all together. Again, you can use separately. £10.99, 339 Four three zero, your lavalier or oh, he ho oh, he. Um, sorry, I was totally rubbish impersonation there. It wasn't an impersonation; it was just a thing. Um, but there's a lovely sample of how you can use that particular die. Now I wonder. <clears throat> on that one, they kept the circles in on the sample. I'm just wondering whether you could actually poke them out. And if your mum did it. It'd be, no, don't even go there, Janice. No. No, I wasn't going to say. Oh, dear. You know, sometimes you, you're going to say something and then it doesn't quite end how you intended it to. So I didn't end it. I didn't end it. It's way too early. Right. Next up. Uh, next up, you've got... And let's have a look. You've got your Chantelaine. Oh, Chantelaine. 
Nobel Chantelaine. I wish I'd finished French at school. Started it, but didn't finish it. I was given the option not to. And of course, you know, you give, give me an inch, I'll take a mile. Um, Nobel Chantelaine. £12.99. Uh, you're saving £12 on this particular die. I've got a lovely sample here to show you. This is gorgeous. Now the die, if I pick this up and show you, you can see how that's cut out. And then the middle, so you've got your die in the middle, which is separate, by the way. So you can use that separately, if you wish. Um, and you can build and create. And what's lovely about that is that they've just popped that onto uh, a foam pad just to raise that forward to give you that depth, that 3D effect. Stunning, isn't it? Twelve ninety nine, seven dies in total in that collection. Four oh nine, four six three. This might be part of your four for three as well. It's absolutely marvellous. And there's another sample on the back. So you might want to add that to your basket. Remember, it's all about the innovation, the quality, and of course the opportunity for you to create. Now, next up. You've got your antiquities. Now, this is lovely. You can see the edges around here, slightly different shape. And then you've got your dies. If I just move that, you can see you've got your main die, which composes of all of that beautiful pattern. And then you've got your center die just there. Here's another beautiful sample. Is this a sample of that one? No. I'm going to have a look. Here's a sample. There you go. You can see that. That's remarkable, isn't it? Look at the design that goes around. It's almost like a love heart at the top. Can you see that? Or like a leaf. Maybe if you were to colour that in green, it would be like a leaf. That is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. And then you've got the main die in the centre there. And then the die in the middle. That is beautiful. With that die, you've got the quality. Turn this around. Five dies in total. What a price. Half price. Well, le technically less than half price. Nine ninety nine four nine one three nine five is your item number. My goodness, these are incredible discounts for you to get your dyes home. Uh, right, we've got another lovely demonstration. Let's take a look at this. So I'm back for demo two with a few more dies from those earlier collections. So we have our filigree square, and then we have our candlewick rosebud. This is another one of those cinch and go flowers. I'm going to set this one aside for a minute and build the card base, and then we'll come back through and do one more quick flower tutorial to finish off our card. So I'm starting off with a five and a quarter by five and a quarter base. So again, just cut down. I like square cards. They're kind of unique, kind of fun. So I'm going to set that aside. We have a layer here, but what I want to do is cut this guy out with this beautiful pearl paper. Now that is one of the beauties of our dies is they do cut a lot of different materials and using a pearlescent type paper like this, sometimes you can get away with not doing the embossing step because it kind of embosses and cuts in one pass. So let's go ahead and cut that out. I'm going to use the outside cut line and then this frame here. So now we have it cut out. Now if you come in a little tight here, you can see this beautiful embossed detail. Gorgeous. Okay, so that will be the foundation here. This will go here. And then we're going to come in and die cut this guy, this little label that will sit on top, and we're going to do that in a beautiful gold. So now we have this gorgeous die cut label. Now I already cut out a backed one using just the frame of that label. So using the frame here, we went ahead and cut one out here that we can then use to back this. And notice that it just fits ever so perfectly right inside of here. Now we want to create some flowers here to adorn the front of this. So for that, we're going to bring in our Candlewick Rosebud die set. The beauty of this die, again, there's four petals on this one. They have that signature kind of circle in the center that you'll use to thread them. But the beauty of this one is you just run this whole die through and you instantly have three petals. Yep. So when we run them through and we get four different size petals, here we go. Okay, so now we have our petals. Now we're gonna go ahead and shape these flowers much like we did with the other cinch and go flowers from the Grand Pocket Die. Now the look on the, going for on these flowers is more of a traditional kind of closed flower look. So for that, we're gonna have the die right side up, the die cut right side up, and we're gonna just work those petals using that same stylus head as before on the tool in one. 
and you see that they really just start taking shape pretty easily. So you'll repeat that step with all of the petals and you're gonna get something that kind of looks like this. And again, if you wanted something that was more like this where the petals open outward, you would just do that same process, but you do it upside down. Follow the same process that I showed in the earlier demo to be able to string them onto your little stamen and add them to your project. So while those are drying, I do wanna cut out a few gold leaves. So these leaves come with the Candlewick Rosebud collection. So we're gonna just run that through a few times and cut out a couple sets of leaves that we'll use to frame up our sentiment on the card. So here are those die cut gold leaves and you can see that beautiful embossed detail that comes to life with it run through the machine. And let's just run one through without even embossing. And so we'll kind of add those and then we'll look to bring in our our flower, again, our flower's not quite dry yet, but we'll kind of add that here and build that up. And then maybe stamp a nice little sentiment right there in the center. And then here is your finished project. Ta-da! So again, you've got that beautiful frame with the filigree square, and it shows all that detail in that pearlized paper. You've got your beautiful molded flower here, those gold leaves. You also have this cute little medallion die that comes with the set. You can add just a little bit more punch to your project. And there you have a beautiful square card. Now I wanna show you one other example using this same die. Very similar in, you know, kind of how it was built, but a little different look. And that is again, using a square card, lots of layers, beautiful frame, using that badge, some of those little medallion pieces and a nice little flower that's also a little cinch and go flower by Becca. Beautiful. It really is, it really is. And you will become an artist of die cutting when you get these home. And I mean that because these are so intricate, so detailed, so beautiful. They're gonna be so inspiring as well. You could, if you wanted to, cut and snip into them as well. So change them completely once they've been cut out. I do want to show you the rosebud die set. This is lovely, and this was included in that demonstration. 40% of the stock has gone. You're loving this one. Let's turn this around to show you a sample of what you can make. Look at those roses, aren't they lovely? Imagine, I mean, with these, you can make as many roses as you like, so you can totally cover the top of a box, or you can cover a card, or what would be really nice if you were to create those roses and create a heart of roses and that would look magnificent on the top of a box or on the front of a card that would be really special would it not uh, if you do want to go for the rosebud die set it is reduced to 9.99 saving eight pounds zero eight nine five zero nine is the item number uh, now we've got this beautiful grand pocket for you um, and it is rather grand isn't it um, a beautiful die to cut out and to place either at the top and bottom or to place at the side of a card if you want to and then you can of course use your sentiment in the middle um, and that just shows you the rose die in the middle just there I was talking about the top and the bottom of that particular card is rather marvelous and I think that was used uh, with that particular die set on that picture but it was the rose in the middle that we were looking at uh, right let's have a look at your grand pocket die. 60% of the stock has gone. This also includes some flower dies that you can see just there. I'm turning this around to show you a sample. So it's one side of the pocket. Now you could use this as a side pocket on a card so you can tuck something in. Or you could use it on each size. I think that's like a DL size card. And then you've got that fantastic gatefold that you could open up if you wanted to or just use to place something inside so it's a beautiful die 9.99 reduced by 10 pounds is better than half price deal really by a penny 762222 do you know something yesterday i actually realized something and i don't know whether i realized it for the first time or whether i'd realized it before and forgot and then just realized it again thinking i'd just realized it for the first time again do you want to know what it is well in the street yesterday we were all out sitting socially distancing um, even socially distancing from jane it's really good um the neighbors they were playing uh, i'm really kidding they're playing bingo uh, so they had this bingo app, so they were playing bingo between themselves and it came up and said two little ducks, 22. 
And I suddenly realised why two little ducks are 22, because they look like two little ducks. And I don't know whether that was the first time I'd realised that. I don't know, maybe it's my age. Do you do that? Do you realise things that you've perhaps realised before, but you realise them all over again? No, I thought it was just me. Uh, right, shall we, shall we have a look at some deals? Absolutely no response there. But maybe there was some response at home. <laughs> maybe it's just my brain. Uh, right, 238609 is your item number, 999. This is your gatefold die set, three dies in total. Uh, so your gatefold can comprise of the side just here, and then repeat that on the other side, and then you open that up. Uh, so that opens that way. Here's another lovely example of how you could use this die to create a circle, which is lovely. So you've got the top there and the bottom there, and they're just reversed in colour. That is very, very effective, doesn't it? Um, it's like a, a big doily. I like that. 999-238-609 is your item number. And a quarter of the stock is gone. A quarter of the stock is gone. These are all great prices. And if you're buying four, you'll get the least expensive one for free. So you're only paying for three. The least expensive you'll get for free. It's a great deal. It really is. So that's your first one just there. Uh, we've got some stamps. Oh, can we go to the stamps? Uh, right. I'm going to go over this way. Uh, we've got, uh, let's grab this one for you. Oh, it's on the acetate. Uh, this one is the Little Flowers. Um, beautiful red rubber stamps, and they are cling mounted as well. Red rubber, you'll know, is excellent quality, so beautiful quality stamps. Uh, great detail in there as well. So you've got the Little Flowers. Let's just turn this over so you can see the detail. You've got the acetate there for them to cling onto. Fabulous, aren't they? Red rubber, so you could use all your different techniques on there. Your embossing techniques, use them with your different inks as well. Ten ninety nine for four stamps. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's a picture of what you can do. Do you know what I really like? I like the fact that they've been cut out and you've got the white outline. I like that look. I like that look. Very, very nice. Very nice. We've also got the peonies, which is just here. Uh, shall I pick this up for you? Yeah, let's pick that up. Uh, so you've got your peonies here. You've got some lovely detail in the leaves, like that. Nice detail. So you've got your bouquet of peonies there, your larger ones, your smaller ones. Turn these around. Again, so you can see the detail in that red rubber, uh, which is lovely. And here's a gorgeous sample uh, of using those stamps, which is really pretty which is really nice, uh, which, is that that one? Have I showed you the right one? Have I showed you the right one? Or is that that one? No, I've showed you the wrong one. That one is for the little flowers. Beg your pardon. But I never promised you a rose garden. Uh, I promised you peonies. So let me show you peonies. Let's pop that back there and pick the peonies up. There you go, so a different flower. A peonies is like an open rose, um, which is lovely though. And I think we've got a sample to show you. There you go. That's it. Hello. Uh, those are your peonies, which is lovely. Now, we've also got a cut and emboss folder. Love these because they do uh, two jobs in one. And you've got two cut and emboss folders. I have to be careful how we say that. It's early in the morning. So you've got your flowers and square. And I've Got, oh, I've, got a lovely, I've got a little sample here, I believe. Uh, so you've got two different sizes. So you've got your floral splash and your floral reflections. And I believe, if you want to show you the right one, there you go. There's a lovely sample just around the edge of the card. So you'll cut and you'll emboss at the same time. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And you can really highlight that detail, maybe with a bit of gilding wax or highlight it with a bit of ink going over there, which is lovely. Uh, so those are two more items for you, £10.98. You might want to add those to your four for three. We've got some more demonstrations coming up for you. Let's take a look at this. Hi there, Kim from Spellbinders here, and I'm super happy to be here to create several projects using some fantastic Spellbinders products. First of all, we've got our cut and emboss folders. This one that I'm gonna be using for project one is called Floral Reflections. Super awesome, we can cut and emboss all in one pass. So I'll be using that in just a minute. And I'm also gonna be using Stephanie Lowe's Darling Little Flower Stamp Set, one stamp that I already have on my block, ready to go. So we'll do the stamping first. 
I love Stephanie Lowe stamps. They have so much detail already built in. All you have to do is add a little bit of color and you are good to go. And because they are the rubber stamp with a cling back on it, they give beautiful impressions every single time. Now to color them, I'm bringing in the Jane Davenport Magic Wand pencils. They are so beautiful. And what I absolutely love about Jane's pencils that is that she already gives you a range of colors. For example, the flowers I'm going to be uh, coloring today are three shades of this peach. And how wonderful that she already has it all figured out for us. Gives us the different shades of all the colors. Now some coloring tips, again, because the pencils have the three shades already built in, you simply want to start with your lightest shade. And I'm going to do this in the center of your flowers. And coloring, really, I'm not even a coloring expert. But again, so easy to do this. I just kind of use light pressure and I'm starting out with the lightest color in the center of my flowers. And then super simple, you just take your next darker shade and then you fan out from there. Now I'm kind of going out to the edges of my blossom. And you can kind of blend as you go a little bit. And last but not least, you take your darkest shade and go along the edge. Now what I'm going on the edge of my flower now for the leaves, I would come in and I would just basically color the leaf with this lighter green. And then to add my dimension, take your darker green. So you carry on, relax, enjoy yourself. And then we'll come back with some detail shears and just trim along the outside edge. When I am doing what I call detail cutting or fussy cutting, I like to turn my paper instead of turning my scissors. And then I do leave a little bit of a white edge of paper. So you wanna do that all the way around your stamped images. So this is again, a cut and emboss folder and it is called Floral Reflections. So I'm just gonna grab a pretty peachy tone cardstock because that's going to match my flowers. And I'm not kidding when I say this is easy. All you need is one cutting plate, even, and you put this directly down on your card base. Now, normally for die cutting, you would not do that. You would have a bottom plate, right? So fun, so beautiful. So really to finish my card, I don't need much of anything. I do have a card base and a slightly darker kind of peachy coral color here. So when I pop this embossed panel on top, you can see that that color kind of shines through your little die cuts there. And then I went ahead and I'll bring the finished project in, but I went ahead and did a glimmer sentiment. And this is from Becca Feacon's Elegant Affirmations. And I just trimmed it in just a little tiny square and a white cardstock. And check it out. I put a few little um, gold, gold dots, so you can use any kind of little embellishments or enamel dots that you have. But I'll put this down so you can get a nice close look. Isn't it beautiful? So again, the coloring, super simple, super easy. I just put one of the larger bunch on top, the smaller bunch on the bottom. Really let that embossing folder shine through. And you have an absolutely lovely project that took no time at all. It's gorgeous. I'm just looking at that card here. It's a different colored card, but exactly the same design. And I'm mesmerized by the embossing detail on there. It's so crisp, seriously crisp, uh, beautiful. And what's lovely about this, in this orientation, you can see the design. But if I were to turn it that way, uh, forget the sentiment in the middle, you could still use that design in such a way and have that flower as the focal point at the top absolutely loving that you could do so much with that maybe get some of your self leveling drops in the middle of the petals there do you like, do you know what i do like embossing folders like that i think they're absolutely marvelous right something that have been very very popular on the show is the grand pocket three quarters of the stock has gone 9.99 that's a reduction of 10 pounds for you so normally this would be 19.99 you might be getting this for free today in the four for three deal where you buy four items in any one hour and get the least expensive for free uh, it's a fabulous die this gives you the opportunity to have a pocket on the side of the card you've also got the flowers that you can add to it or use separately it's entirely up to you or you can use that pocket on each side and create a, a, a larger pocket or even um, like a gate fold style pocket it's beautiful that design there and the nice bow in the middle to give you inspiration 762222 is the item number if you want to go for that one and there's the sample with the pocket on the side so lots of different ways oh nearly 80 oh 80 percent of the stock has gone now so that's jumped up just seeing that 762222 Two, two, two. Uh, right, the rosebud. Oh my goodness, this has been very popular as well. Roses are such a lovely flower and uh, a rose 
can be used for so many different occasions, so many different inspirations with roses. Turn this around to show you. The beauty of it is you've got that rose dye. Now you can make roses. You could batch make and have them on one side so that you've got them ready to add to a project. Maybe cards that you're making, thinking, what do I need to add to that? Something a little bit different. You've made all the roses. They're right there. You've got them batch cut. You can start adding them to your projects. I think something like that on a wreath or something like a heart with all the roses made up. That would look spectacular, especially on a canvas. Now, 70% of the stock of the rosebud dye has gone, and that is showing the rosebud dye. Is that the rosebud dye? I don't, is it? Yeah, that's the rose in the middle. I think what they've done with that is they've opened it out a little bit more. Um, so you could, that's a good idea, actually. You could close it up, or you could open it out so it looks like, more like an open rose. A bit like a peony as well, really. Uh, right. The Starburst, very versatile dye, um, only nine ninety nine, reduced by seven pounds, and you can use this to make those gatefold cards. Gatefold cards are lovely, especially for weddings, engagements, special occasions, for example, where you want to put a ribbon or a clasp in the middle that you open up, and then the card comes open. With this, you could use these uh, with some vellum, and that would make a really nice gatefold style card on the outside. I think we've got a lovely sample to show you here with the ribbon going across the middle, and that lovely delicate dye it's absolutely beautiful isn't it reminds me the style a little bit uh, 1920s art nouveau maybe uh, which is lovely here's another example of what you can do with it so you can make a circle I was gonna say huge but it is it's a large circle you could if you wanted to fussy cut so you've just got the middle part that would be like a sunrise or a sunset you could fussy cut and you could use that that could be the tail of a dragon or a mermaid tail so you can use this in various different ways uh, just looking at that if you were to cut that along there and down so you're only seeing that bit and you're only seeing that bit it would make, and I'm not, I'll, I'll use those two fingers to show you, there you go, almost like an ice cream. Do you see that? So when you start looking at your die, you can start to see different shapes in there that you can build and create. Go beyond the actual die that's there, start slipping into it and having a look. That's what it's all about, creativity, innovation. And innovative designs is what Spellbinders is all about as well, and the quality of those dies. 238609 is your item number if you want to go for your starburst. Uh, your gatefold starburst. Uh, this is the website. This is how you can shop ahead and have a look at all the other items on the show. We've got about 30 seconds left of this show. You've got six minutes left in this show to get you four for three. There's another show at one o'clock. One o'clock today. So if you don't get your four for three in this show, when the show comes back around at one o'clock, you can also do your four for threes then. Um, you can head to the website and have a look at everything we've got on the show. You can also have a look at what we've got coming up. We've got the one day special next for you. Brand new hours, eight o'clock, 12 o'clock and four o'clock. Yes, Elizabeth's Craft Designs One Day Special. You're in for a treat, you really are. Stamping with Tracy Hay after that and by Beck Quilting. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. 
Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilt and cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Be Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family Still don't know which side my heart's on. Should have listened at school. Anyway, it's great to have you company this morning. I hope you're well. And we're continuing the Victory in Europe celebrations here at Hochanda. And I hope you're continuing the celebrations as well. The official day was yesterday with that bank holiday. But you know what? Continue the celebrations and continue watching us here at Hochanda. And it's great to have you company. And thank you for choosing us. Now we've got your one day special. A one day special is a product that's launched at 6 p.m. every day here on Hochanda. And it's at a discounted price for 24 hours only. We've got three live shows for you today, 8 a.m., which is now, 12 p.m., and the final call at 4 p.m. today. What we've got here is a marvellous set of stamps for you. You're making an incredible saving of £21. Now, if you want to buy these individually, they can. They are £15.99. But with that saving, it means you are getting one for free and saving even more. 
because they're fifteen ninety nine each. You can also buy this on two payments of twenty nine pounds and forty eight pence, which means we'll send everything out to you, but we'll split the cost into two. Now, if you've been an admirer of brushed lettering maybe you've tried it yourself at home but it's never quite worked out the way you wanted it to well what we've got here is a superb range from sue smith now sue has been crafting for pretty much all of her life but brush lettering really is her forte and back in the 90s um, sue learnt her brush lettering when she was putting together captions um, as a focal point really uh, for cartoons so it is an amazing skill to have and once you have that skill it's perfect to add to designs of your cards to design for your home decor for example and with these stamps you can use them with all kinds of different um, inks now let's have a look at the designs that we've got so you've got your day here so this could be for a special occasion you've got the cup of tea there you've got the slice of cake birthday wishes with the balloons as well so you've got the main stamp your day your way you could use that in your journaling as well so that could be your focal point that could be on the outside of your card your focal point or it could be your focal point on your journal page so that's your first set you've got just for you again you've got your focal point there in the larger stamp just for you wish big and then you've got your smaller stamps that you can add on the inside of your cards or vice versa or you can add to add detail and interest so you've got your star on there as well then you've got your brave good you be do say be brave do good stay you that's a great message isn't it especially in these times so that could be your focal point again on your journals it could be your focal point inside your card or on the outside of your card with added details and um, these really do make an impact because of the style and because of that beautiful brushed lettering next up we've got celebrate there you go uh, there will be celebrations throughout the year and for many years to come hopefully have the best day today could be a celebration of a new job could be a celebration of a new addition to the family could be a celebration of an announcement uh, next up after that you've got hello love do you know what I love that word hello just fantastic isn't it isn't it lovely to say hello to somebody again focal points on there uh, you can have this on your cards to wish somebody a happy birthday it could be in your journals as well and indeed this is something that um, Sue made a connection with Els uh, Els bringing out some beautiful uh, journals and uh, when Sue saw Elle's journals online she thought these are fantastic I wanted to design some brush lettering and I'm going to put it on Elle's Facebook page just to show what I've been up to and Elle's loved them so much that she got in touch with Sue and said would you like to design for me and that's where that beautiful relationship started these look great don't they this is within the journal so today is the day and then you can put your inspirations around there really like this and I like the way that they've added color as well to that brush lettering very nice and neat as well very nice uh, let me show you some examples on cards now let's have a look at some of the focal points there you go so your day your way clean crisp beautiful um, you've got those equal spacing as well if you've tried blush uh, brush lettering yourself you may not get these results well here is instant and you can batch make as well and maybe add some more to the inside of the card brush lettering of course traditional in the black you can add some shadows as well uh, if you want to which is a really good idea and great practice not just about the words though there are some additional stamps within this one day special so how about that doesn't that look great and if you like the look of the tags that we've got here they're coming up on the show so many different ways to use them uh, again I do believe we've got this particular die coming up this is part of a nesting die that's a really good idea actually using the nesting die and then cutting it making a rainbow fantastic idea now I don't know who's done this Jackie Jackie's put this together that is fantastic Jackie well done using your different techniques as well behind those statements so you could use your watercolors so you could drag the water out as you've stamped it that's a really good design that's by Jackie as well 
Uh, let's pick this one up. It's nice to stamp and then cut out the word and place it on to give you that 3D style. So you've got those captions and then you can maybe put the verse inside the card. So the placement on the front and then place the verse on the inside. Now everything is going to be dispatched on the 16th of May. So it's not long to wait, but it does mean you're going to get some marvellous stamps with that gorgeous brush lettering. Now Sue Smith is going to join us hopefully on the line a little later on in the show so we'll have a chat with Sue but we've also got some demonstrations coming up as well how you can make the very best designs out of this gorgeous collection of stamps. Let's take a look. Okay then here are the five sets of hand lettered stamps and this is what they look like stamped so we've got for you sorry your day for you hello celebrate and birthday so it's a good mix of big captions smaller captions and doodles and we're going to work with hello for our first demo take those away and just as a matter of interest i've got here some of my original artwork that i did when i designed the stamps okay right then let's let's get stamping with the hello i'll bring in my stamping platform that's it and take the hello stamp i'm going to use some smooth super smooth card and i'll just pop that in the middle and get some archival black ink Close my platform. That's it. ink up the stamp lots of little taps I'm using the stamping platform for this one because it's got quite wide areas so I want to make sure they're all nice and black and also my ink's a bit dry now as you can see, it doesn't always work the first time. That's it. If you've got a wooden table surface like I have, it's quite a good idea to move it around because it's always not that flat. And even you can pick it up and squash it together. So I think that's good enough. And then we're going to use the nesting dies to cut the hello out in a frame. So I'm going to be using these indented dies. So we've got the fitted frame here and then some stitched ones as well. And I have actually worked out that it's about this medium size that fits in there beautifully and then I've got the corresponding one as well so we can mat and layer that up so I'm actually going to use that for the matted layer and die cut with the stitched one so we get the stitched detail around our hello so I've die cutted that already let's bring that one in like so so we're going to work with that. Now matted layer for this one, I'm going to use this lovely teal sort of colour because it goes rather well with the ink that I want to use. This distress ink, the peacock feathers. So we're going to cut one of those out. So I've got that here. And the hello fits nicely onto there like that and then I have this bigger stitched frame to match it which is uh, this medium size is no it's not is that the largest that's the largest size so that's pretty good for a five by seven card blank so we'll use this one 
and then to cut this out I quite like this as the outside of the card so I'm going to place it so that the cut line is just sitting above the card fold here and then we won't cut the fold off and end up with two pieces of paper if you push it to the side then I can always use I don't like to waste anything use that bit down the side let's take this in place and then we can run that through our die cutting machine I'll do that oh let's have a look here because here's what it will come out like so we've still got our card base here with our fold intact so then then that can sit on the middle there and we've got decent amount of space around to decorate this bit bring our stamps back in and we've got to use that little envelope haven't we that looks so cute so why not do some stamping with the envelope around the edge so let's bring in some ink and I've also got my just going to use my bigger acrylic block just to place the ink onto that's it I'm doing this rather than tapping on the envelope um, sometimes you get because it's distress ink um, you, you get it f uh, in bubbles on the actual stamp it beads on the stamp so I'm actually going to smoosh it around the ink and then hopefully it'll get a better stamped image it'll be a little bit bobbly but I just think this works a little bit better okay so totally random here all hickledy pickledy so adds movement to the design okay just have to concentrate of course around the outside don't have to bother with that middle area because we're going to cover cover that it doesn't have to be precise I'm trying to get arty here and have like a nice arty feel maybe have a bit more off the page as well that's it maybe just a little bit there maybe just a little one up there now I don't like that little space there so I'm just going to pop another one there okay let's bring in some water got here some water and a brush and I'm just going to now go back over this with my brush just to get that ink to move and bring a bit more colour to the design and even go really rough with it go outside the edge that's it. And don't colour it all in, leave some highlighted areas and then use this ink as well just to dab in some more shaded area just to give a contrast to the envelope. Just enjoy the process. Anything goes really. You don't have to be all precise. It's sometimes nice not to stamp precisely. Especially with backgrounds, anyway. That's it. And it's just nice to give a loose feel to the card. And it makes, I feel arty doing this, it makes me feel arty. So I have the, the design there anyway, and I'm just playing with it further. going quite quickly with this and it's nice because the ink takes quite a while to dry then you can do this with it obviously you can't do this process with pigment ink it has to be a dye based ink that's it I don't want to stop now <laughs> I want to just carry on but I have done one I have done one uh, that I did earlier to show you there. 
I quite like the white bits left in there. Makes almost makes the envelope look shiny. It's nice. I've also used when I was designing the card. I was also used this strip down the side here, just to work out what the best process was. See this this one here is stamping it with the ink direct onto the stamp. It gets that sort of beaded effect. And then I gradually worked out that it's probably better to do that smooshy effect. Okay, let's bring the hello back in. So I've got this and I'm placed that. I quite like the jaunty angle, actually. I might put it on the jaunty angle. I've uh, put this on foam pads just to raise it up. Make it look interesting. And I think I will go for the jaunty angle to match to match the envelopes. So pop that in the middle. Just do it by eye, that's fine. Okay. Now with the hello, it looks good as it is, but we can add some more interest to it, like shadows and highlights. So I'm going to use this ink again and just use this to create a little shadow line on the words. So if you think about the light source coming in from this angle, then anything on this side, like this line here, needs a shadow. So I just think, and it brings the colour back to this surface as well of the card and around the caption. Again you don't have to be too precise. That's it. And then the O to finish. Come round here a bit. That's it. This hello is a good caption to do this to because there's not so many letters. And it's thicker as well, the letters are thicker. There. Go back over it as well if you've got a line that's a bit too thin. I mean, this is bled a little bit on the board, so I quite like that effect. It's because I've used a bit more water, I think. Is that everywhere? Have I been everywhere? I think so. See how it transforms it, almost gives it a bit of movement. Quite like that. And then another thing we can do is add highlights. And I've got a paint pen. We can add some white highlights in the hello because it's a nice fat brush lettered style. So we can add this in again just to give it a bit more interest like there so here's one that I did as well earlier and this one I've taken it one step further because I've gone the shadows with a lighter tone of the ink and then just gone over it with a slightly darker tone up on the top edges just to give the shadows a bit of shading and you see that Give the shadows a bit of shading. That's it. So I'm going to pop that onto our card as well. I'm just going to use a glue stick. Put that on. Onto our matted layer. There we go. And that's more or less the finished design. And then, of course, you could use some of these captions as well to put in your your verse inside. So here I've used, I've actually used this one from this stamp set. So it's hello on the front. And if you want it to mention birthday, you could add this stamp to the inside. And I've just stamped another little envelope as well. So there you go. And also using this Hello stamp, I've also done this design here, this monochrome one. And I've actually done the shading area in pencil crayon, 
just shaded it in pencil and added the little heart here that's also from the set and I've just put that on acetate it's the acetate sort of frame there it's just another option and then Jackie has created this beautiful card similar way using the envelopes in different colours and she's managed to stamp hers beautifully with her different colour inks and she's cut the hello out which is really nice as well again because it's quite a big word that's easy to do and she's added these nice domes and um, this this part here is from her collection of worded stamps and mounted it on black card so there's lots of different options you know even just with the the one stamp set great thank you thank you for watching back to the studio oh sue's lovely she really is hopefully we're going to be chatting to sue in a few moments time but here's the card doesn't that look lovely so many different techniques and do you know what's nice when you're watching the demonstrations i bet at home you're thinking that's fantastic. Oh, that's given me another idea of what I can do. Oh, that's inspired me. I'm going to make this when I get my stamps home. It's a great deal. And brush lettering just gives you that polished effect. It gives you that lovely professional finish as well. If you want to buy these separately, they're $15.99 each. But the best value for money that you're all going for is in the one day special where you're saving £21. So that means you're getting one for free and also saving money. It could be that why not deal where you become a Freedom member as well. Why don't you become a Freedom member today and you can get all of your goods delivered to you without paying any P&P, &P, which means you can save even more if you become a Freedom member today. £29.48, that's two payments of so that you can get your one day special home. Some more samples here to show you. There's our lovely Sue actually. <clears throat> so you might be creating a page for your journal. You might be taking a page from your journal and turning it into a card for somebody that's a good idea isn't it uh, using that brush lettering sometimes you might want to use a very modern style approach which looks really cool doesn't it with the balloons remember you're getting some of the doodle art in there as well not just your sentiments which means you can make a selection of that and start to create some gorgeous designs in there uh, this is a lovely sample there with the candles and the birthday wishes Again, if you want to add any drop shadow to that, it would be a good time to practice your drop shadowing because you've got your lovely brush lettering there already. Uh, this is a nice sample. We've got a couple of samples like this. Uh, you've got that lovely edge to it. And I'm, I think we've got a demonstration coming up with uh, a card similar to that. So that would be really nice to see. Here's another lovely effect using the stamps that you can see there and then you've got that lovely die in the background so however you use your um, stamps not dies stamps you're going to get some gorgeous effects and it's all courtesy of course of sue smith that has been working with elves and elizabeth crafts for quite a while now delivering these beautiful fantastic stamps Right, we have got some more items on the show for you because, of course, when you are using your stamps, you want to use them on some fantastic cards and you might want to add some lovely apertures and you might want to cut out your cards as well. So we've got some options for you in the nesting and layering dies. Your first option, details 679603 just 18 pounds and 98 pence for both you're saving nine pounds that's an incredible deal that really is so you've got your nested rectangle and square die sets brilliant value for money um, and these are the fitted ones just to show you some samples there really like the corners on these uh, just gives you that extra detail use the die separately or use them together to build and create those nested layers perfect now the next option we've got for you, you've got your stitched rectangles and um, squares. And in fact, I think, yes, there you go. I showed, you, I showed you this one too soon. This is the one with the stitching in. So you've got your squares and your rectangles. So it's a really good way of getting two different shapes but you've got that lovely stitchy detail on there. Only 18.98. Remember that four for three event. 
buy four items in any one hour and get the lowest price for free. It's a four for three deal. Your next option, you've got your rounded fitted dies. Now this is uh, the rectangles and the squares and it's from this one. Yeah, it is. That This card has been created. I love that. Never thought about doing that. <clears throat> so that's taken your rectangles, I believe. If I place that over there, yeah. It's taken your rectangles and then just cut the top off. And that's created the rainbow. If I turn that that way, you can see what's gone stuck. That's a fantastic idea. Uh, saving nine pounds. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Eighteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Six seven nine six zero three is your item number. Now the final pair available for you <coughs> is your rounded stitch, and the stitch detail just adds something. Again, eighteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. So, what I'm thinking? One, two, three. Well, we've got four different sets. If you wanted the whole. If you wanted all of these, you're only going to pay for three, aren't you? If that's what you're going for in the show, because it's a four for three deal. My word, here's your chance now to get all of those dies into your crafty stash. That is, that's a fantastic deal. Take advantage of that. Uh, 679603, that's for your stitched squares and your rectangles. There's more on the website. We've got some ovals, we've got some circles as well. They're £21.99. You could still go for those in your four for three but it'll be the lowest cost ones that you get for free. That's a really good idea, actually. Very good idea. And remember, if any of your baskets come to £60 or more, you can divide the cost into two. Now, we've got the lovely Sue Smith on the line. Sue, are you there? Hi, I am, yes. Good morning, Sue. How are you this morning? Great, thank you. It's a beautiful day. It is a lovely day. A nice, in, a, a beautiful, inspiring day for crafting. It is, yes, yeah. Now, I'm loving your stamps, and I love your brushed lettering as well, Sue. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into crafting and learnt this wonderful, wonderful trade? Yes, yeah, certainly. Oh, thanks for liking it so much. Um, I've crafted all my life, and I've obviously been through different techniques of, of crafting, knitting, stitching, sewing... And I did paper craft in 2012, and I've, I'm, I'm hooked. I I'm absolutely love paper crafting. It's because I like design, and you can design a, a card, and then you on to the next one quite quickly, rather than you know spending a lot of time doing a quilt. Um, I, I really love paper crafting, so I was I was doing that. Um, but before then, I, a I actually got a job doing hand lettering for a greeting card company. So that's where I picked up my skills. And it was more traditional shapes of fonts rather than brush lettering. It was more of a classic style. So when the brush lettering has become so popular a few years ago now, I kind of fell into it quite quickly um, because it, you know, obviously I can take my traditional sort of style and add the thick and thin with a brush pen. Um, so, so I found it quite sort of easy um, and in, enjoyed it. And, and obviously I've been picked up by, by it and it's taken me on this lovely journey that I'm on and I'm so grateful for Elle for giving me this opportunity. And what a fantastic journey as well to share with everyone at home in this collection. Now within the collection Sue you've got some larger stamps, some smaller stamps and you've got some lovely doodle style stamps and um, I was chatting with you previously and we were talking about the way that you can use the larger stamps as a focal point for your projects. That's right, yes, yes, you can, I just, you know, it'd be nice to have something quick and easy on, on a set of stamps, and then something that you can be creative with and spend longer time enjoying the, you know, the processes, so, you know, there's a versatility there, and the value for money as well, you know, with filling all the gaps of the stamp sheet. And I'm just looking at a sample here with the brush lettering in the background and then the focal point of the happy birthday wishes right there at the top of the card, which looks absolutely spectacular. So you could use these for backgrounds as well, which is a great idea. Oh, definitely, yes, 
yes, you can use that just the happy or that hello word, just the one one word as re- repeated for a background pattern, or you can just use the doodles as a background pattern as well. Certainly, yes. Um, journaling um, is huge at the moment, has been for quite a few years and I think it's going yeah, to stay with yeah. us and these brush lettering stamps would look fabulous on some pages of inspiration as well. Definitely yes, I had that in mind because Elsie's first um, planner range I actually purchased myself and fell in love with it straight away so I wanted to sort of incorporate, you know, the, the caption stamps for the planner pages as well, yes. It's a brilliant idea, it really is, because you've got that beautiful brush lettering, which some people f would like to try, but they find it difficult to master. Well, you're the master, and, or, and we've got the <laughs> stamps here to provide us with that artwork. So it's been lovely talking to you today. Yeah, thank you for inviting me along. Yeah, thank you. No, you're more than welcome. And uh, all I will say is that your hair right there is how my hair should be. But, of course, I can't get mine cut at the moment. So I haven't had mine cut either. Have you not? No, my, mine was so short that it looks it looks short now. But I'm pulling it out because it's, it's too long for me. So we're in the same boat. <laughs> oh well, it, it looks lovely. You don't need to do anything, so it looks lovely. Oh. <laughs> um, thank you so much, and hopefully we'll see you very, very soon. Yeah, thank you, Janice. Have, Have a lovely day in the sunshine. Cheers. Bye. 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 Sue's so lovely. She really is. And you can take your one day special and start to create some amazing designs. Just let that creativity unfold when you get these home. Now, we've got some demonstrations on video of our lovely Sue, and we've got another one coming up right now. Sit back and enjoy. Hello again. Okay, this time I'm going to use this Wish Big caption, just that one, out of the hand lettered stamps. Take the others to one side. I'm going to get a bit messy this time and create a piece of artwork. So I'll just have a piece of paper just to protect my mat. And we're also going to use the three largest rounded cornered square dies. The three largest ones, just the smooth ones, not the stitched ones. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to use some textured paste and just apply this across the centre section of our piece of paper. Fairly thick, get plenty on. So, and we're not, not actually going to do any stamping as such Ooh, this time. I like to try and get a nice sort of even thickish layer, put a bit more in at the top there, sit with some texture as well, that'll be okay like that, okay, and now the fun starts, I'm going to actually squash the stamp into the textured paste and give it a little press so we get an indented word in our paste full of texture this time and then the dies I'm going to actually use as well in the same sort of way plop them on actually if I use the spatula handle just to go around and press the die in the paste. And I need to work it out with my nail there. And then the next size up, put that on a slight angle. 
Let's see it going around with a handle. Squash it in. Just to create a sort of pattern. And then another one be about there. I put them in the cutter side up so that it gives a thicker pattern on that flatter back surface. There you go. And then we're going to lift up the caption, make sure it's all squashed down. There. Yeah. Cool. And now we allow this to dry and then we'll give it um, a covering of gesso just to prime the surface and to make go off slightly off the page as well and then over the whole piece so it'll take inks better and then I have a piece that I've done already that's that been allowed to dry here and this piece I've gone over with gesso as well so we've got all that nice texture that we can start applying some ink to as this is going to get even messier I think I shall have more more protective paper okay bring in my acrylic block to apply some ink on I've got some spray stripping ink here um, I like this one because of the colour really and it has got a little bit of mica in it as well which is quite nice so I'm just going to dribble some of that onto my acrylic block and pick up some and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the the lines of the, the, the dies made pick out the pattern and get as straight as I can there. follow the grooves and where they aren't quite as deep then you don't have to go with the ink just fade it out like in the corner there just follow what the pattern says that's fading out as well this one's quite deep so I might even put more ink in there it's fading out and then we're going to spritz it with water just to get it to bleed let's do that inner one as well there I think that's about it Right, let's spritz that with water, which is over here. Okay, there, so it bleeds nicely, a bit plenty. There, I'll give it a bit of a dry with the heat gun. Sorry about the noise. Sun's moving the ink around as well, has a bit more texture. So really done. That'll do. Blot it all dry and then we're going to add some colour into the centre area. And I've got here some Lucky Clover distress ink so I'm just going to add this into the center area so pat that in and blend it out to the turquoisey color I like my nice depth of color it and then we'll 
bring in some water and I'm going to do some splashing on there. That's it. It's bigger splashes as well. Pat that dry. I might add some more ink because those bigger splashes were quite big. That. Oh, and we'll add some of green, add some green splashes as well. So I'll pick up a bit of ink with water. So add some green splashes. that give that a quick dry splashes like that it's all about building up the layers and then what I'm going to do is go back in on some of the lines where they are really thick and deep and just add a bit of darker darker colour on some of the areas. Let's get a bit more ink. This helps frame our lettering as well. some of the corners as well let's do this corner okay that's a bit strong blot it out I'm going to bring in some white. I've got here just some white outdoor craft paint that I want to kind of use up. Any white paint will do. Yeah, it's my thinnest brush. And now I'm going to let's take it out of the lid because it's a bit thicker in the lid. I just want to go over the lettering with some white just to take out some of that green dye colour in there. Try and follow the thick and thin areas as the lettering is. All the downward strokes are thicker. I might need to do a couple of layers of this white if I want it to get more of a pure white colour. Okay, so I'm just going to do the thicker areas just to make it a bit quicker for you to watch. Let's do a bit more down here. Okay. And we're also going to do some white splashes as well. There. 
water down the paint. And I'd like to get some bigger white splashes. So I'm just going to try and tap, that's it, tap on there. Some bigger dots. Great. I'll leave that for a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to blot them out so that they then almost look like bubbles. I might even dry them quickly. I'll blot out these ones that have gone further. So like this one here, I'm just going to blot it. And it just makes it look like bubbles. Like further away droplets. And then I'm also going to add some smaller splashes as well. Flicking some on, some finer splashes. Again, creating dip depth of the splashes. It's almost finished. I just think we need to define the lettering. Just make that pop a bit more. I'm just going to quickly dry that. going to create some shadowing on the lettering and I'm just going to use I've just got a water-based um, brush pen here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out this the raised part of the paste all coming in at this angle a bit like we have the light source coming in this way and we want to create the shadow on this side so it's quite a deep color so I'm going to do that on all the sort of right hand pieces, sides. Don't have to be too precise. That's it, because we're going to go in again with some water. I think that's most of them. Yep. And then again with a small brush, I'm just going to give it some water just so it bleeds out a bit more and creates a bit more of a gentle, subtle shadow. Like that. Just so the ink leads out and then it make it easy slightly easier to read as well because you don't want to first look at it and think oh what does that say you want it to pop so you can easily read it so I missed a bit there the idea. Fiddle around with this till it, it looks just how you want it. I will go in where, there with some more white when it's dry. And then this is like a piece of artwork that you could frame or turn it into a card. It's just a different way of using the stamps with texture paste have the idea. 
I have made a planner page using this technique as well. This time I've used the dream big word and I've got my big splashes here, my little white splashes, similar technique and I've outlined it in the same blue with a bit of water as well to create a planner page. And this was is going to go next to this piece that I've created, this watercolour sunset. So I just wanted the dream big perhaps to sit in my planner next to that. There. A different idea. Great. Thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed my demos. That's a great demonstration. Yes, we did. And here it is. Oh, that was me. <laughs> here it is. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's lovely. Oh, my goodness. Right, your one-day special. Here it is, £58.95, saving £21. You can buy these individually if you want to. Head to the website to have a look at that. But it does mean with that saving of £21, you are getting one included and not paying for it. And you're also saving a bit more than that. Uh, £29.48 is your first payment. That means you can divide the cost into two. With the stamps, you've got that lovely, beautiful, brushed handwriting, something that maybe you've wanted to do, you've tried, but never quite got the results you wanted. Use these stamps to get those results, but please do continue with that brush lettering yourself. It's always good to keep practicing. It's always good to keep trying. But what we've got here are some lovely larger stamps within the sets that could be your focal points. And you've also got the smaller doodle-esque style stamps as well. So whether you're making your journal pages and using part of the stamp range there, the doodles, whether the brush lettering is your focal point, whether you are using them on the front of your card to make that impact or maybe using them on a journal card to give you inspiration or maybe using some in a verse or maybe creating backgrounds with the extra stamps that you're getting you can do so much 332875 is your item number if you want to go for your one day special and the one day special we've got another live hour at 12 o'clock today and 4 p.m. which is your final call now the website is where you can head to to see all the items available for you on the show including the dies we've got for you we've got some stitched dies with the stitching going around the edges we've also got your beautiful smooth dies as well we've got squares we've got ovals we've got circles for you as well we've got those lovely fish tails those banners and there you'll see the individual birthday or celebrate if you want to go for the stamp sets in that way now, I do want to draw your attention to this particular die set. This is your inverted corners. You've got your rectangles and you've got your stitch detail and your fitted. Let me just turn this around so you can see. There you go. Uh, been very, very busy for these. They really make some beautiful cards and it means you can cut them out. So if you do any kind of backgrounds or artwork, use your die and cut out or cut into that background and you'll be surprised at the matting and layering that you can do. £18.98 if you want to go for those two. There is a choice though and there's more available for you. Remember we've got the VE event which means you can buy any four items in a show if you wish to do so and you'll get the least expensive for free which is a four for three deal. It's great. And that is running until the 11th of February. It's uh, February. What am I talking about? The 11th of May. Oh my goodness. At 6 p.m. Uh, do stay with us. I will make more sense, hopefully, after the break. Go and grab yourself a cup of tea. <laughs> I've just been told not to make a promise that I will make sense, and that is so true. Uh, Elizabeth Craft Designs, that was your one-day special. Stamping with Tracy Hay coming up next, and then by Veg. No, I said it wrong. I knew I was. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line. 
and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select Network Settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies, and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. had a good weekend so far we're on Saturday I know we have to remind ourselves what days are at the moment a bank holiday yesterday on a Friday and a very special bank holiday it was celebrating VE victory in Europe day how did your day go if you've got any pictures would love I'd love to see how your street was dressed up how your house was dressed up how you were dressed up if you want uh, so if you do have any pictures send them in love to see them it's studio at hochanda.com right we're continuing the morning morning with more crafty goodiness and we've got Tracy Hay with us today with a gorgeous stamp collection oh my goodness you've got a choice of different stamp sets within this deal and you'll see we've got some super cute ones and indeed they're called 
cuties as well first class cuties first class cuties too you've got beautiful chaos in there you've got your catitude yes full of cats for you to use at your delight some beautiful characters in here as well these are your a5 stamp sets they're only 14 pounds and 95 pence and i'm sure you'll agree when we take you through each of the sets in a moment's time you will see how much you are getting for your money and the cuteness of these stamps are just adorable and that's what Tracy is all about the quirky designs that Tracy has designed she's designed them all herself as well and we've got Tracy on the line right now good morning Tracy hi Janice how are you yeah I'm really well thank you how are you Yes, good, thank you. It's great to have your company. Lovely to see your stamp sets. These are beautiful and so quirky as well, Tracy. Um, can you tell us a little bit about you as a crafter for everyone at home? Well, OK, so I've crafted for years and years and I've liked to draw for, since I was a child. Um, and as I've grown, grown up and uh, we've now got an alpaca farm and I've drawn alpacas for the children and... Um, different things like that and then other people have got involved and said how much they like my design so eventually I turned them into into stamps and rest is history I guess. Oh well you're doing such a marvellous job and they are so super cute you can see those beautiful um, are they alpacas there they are aren't they? They are yes. Aren't they lovely? Um, with your stamps with that quirky design that you've got um, you can use these for all kinds of different designs for journaling for cards and for home decor as well what kind of inspirations would you like to share with people well I try to make the stamps as, um, as versatile as I can and so that they work across all the different sets so different sets work with each other really well and also I like the sentiment to be a bit different so not your run-of-the-mill kind of sentiment so it means that you can use it in things like art journaling and planners and different things like that I think it's a lovely set of stamps to have. We're just seeing a sample on the uh, screen here. I don't know if you've got access to your TV screen uh, of a beautiful, um, it's on actually uh, a board, which would look lovely on the wall in a frame. So yeah, it's take a wombat. These, yeah, that's right. Yeah, take, I guess, take the stamps beyond cards and think about home decor as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's good that you can build up, um, they're, they're relatively small, in some ways that you can use on cards but also you can make up bigger scenes and so on so they work on things like canvases really well so super cute i love these i really do uh, now we've got the set on the show which people can choose from do you have a favorite set tracy <laughs> It's different. That's like choosing a favourite child. You can't oh, do that. Actually, <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's not awful that I've asked you that question, but go on, go ahead. <laughs> um, I love them all for different reasons. I know that's a bit of a cop out, but no, it's not. Um, I really do. <laughs> well, it's nice, isn't it? It's it's nice to say that because they are almost well. They are like your little children because you've developed them and now you're sending them out into the crafty world for other people to use on their designs as well and get inspiration because they're lovely. Um, can we go through the designs with you, Tracy, if that's all right? Of course, yeah. Um, so the first one is the first class cuties. Uh, can you just talk us through the different designs that we've got on here, Tracy? The first class cuties. Okay, so um, there's four characters on this set and the idea was that obviously you've only got the head um, and necks on these and the idea being that you can use the foliage that's at the bottom there uh, to create a wreath around the animals or something like that and also because it's um, there's some first class type sentiments in there you can actually turn them into postage stamps. Oh, that is it's a lovely like idea. Um, and let's just show you one of the samples here. We're just using some of the flowers at the bottom. But these stamps are gorgeous to use your colouring techniques on as well. And I think that really brings them to life and also brings out the detail as well. That's your first set. And over half the stock has gone of that one, Tracy. Over half the wow. stock has gone, everyone. The next one is your first class cuties too. So I guess using within the same way. Absolutely, and they, they work really well together, so um, you can use the sentiments from one and they work equally with the other. Now I've got a gorgeous, oh, this sample, Tracy, look at this everybody, that is amazing, and actually turn those cuties into stamps. Yes, yeah, 
That's and fun. it's really easy to do, really easy. Now, I do need to tell you that if you use any of these stamps on a letter, I'm afraid the person at the other end will have to pay. <laughs> but when, you should send these off to the Royal Mail. You never know, Tracy. <laughs> you never know. Nice. By royal appointment. Um, over half the stock, though, has gone of that particular set. We'll move on to the third set. And this is your beautiful Chaos. Uh, a great stamp set to have, isn't it? Yeah, this one's a bit more mixed media style. And the mandala kind of look goes really well as backgrounds for the little um, creatures as well on the other set. So it's a really good set for working with the others. I do like any kind of doodle style stamp. I try to doodle myself, but they never really turn out like what I want and how I expect it to look. So to be able to have these lovely doodle wreaths and circles really do add detail to not just cards, but also mixed media projects, would you say? Absolutely. Yeah, they're really good. They're really versatile for, for any kind of makes, really. So I think if you're choosing, that could be a must-have. And by the way, everyone, it is a four-for-three event. Now, these are 14 95 each. If you buy any four, you'll get one free because it's a four-for-three event. Just quote VE four-for-three. Right, let's head on down to Catitude. Um, half the stock has gone of this set. Um, cats are very popular, aren't they, Tracy? They are really popular, yes. And I like the big cats as well as, as your domestic cats. Um, but the, this stamp set I've designed so that um, the eyes on the, the cats are actually quite small, but I've actually popped in some big eyes so that you can over-stamp or just remove before you stamp the, the ink off of the small eyes and you can replace them with the big ones. And also you can over-stamp with the glasses as well. What a good idea. What an absolutely fantastic idea. I mean, the eyes that they've got on them does make them look so cute so cute but then to add those other eyes on there that is a fantastic idea and the glasses as well brilliant I love that you can really make characters out of that stamp set right we'll move on we've got another set for you and this is your funny farm some would say that's perhaps where I should be um, but half the stock of your funny farm is gone is this inspiration from your farm that you've got kind of although I don't see many of the alpacas using a skipping rope when they skip around the farm <laughs> <laughs> you never know, Tracy. Maybe if they start to see some of your designs, they'll get some ideas. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but again, going on the sentiments, just stopping there, you've got Funny Farm, you've got Pig in Happy. Uh, I like the way you move. Utterly brilliant. And again, using something that's quirky and a little bit different. Yes, just nice to have a different kind of style. Um, something like a, a pig with a rubber um, a rubber ring around it, jumping in puddles or muddy puddles, um, just adds an extra touch to your design. Yeah, it certainly does. Oh, my goodness. Remember, everybody, four for three event. That's all I'm saying. Um, but we are very busy. So if you are thinking about it, jump in quick. Shall we have a look at the other one? Uh, this one is Mummy, uh, adorable with the elephants. Um, I do like elephants. Yeah, I love elephants. It's my favourite animal. So um, they appear on lots of the different sets. <laughs> so super cute as well. And, and elephants can mean so many different um, sentiments to people. You've called this mummy, the whole range, because you've got the elephant in there. You've also got the kangaroo and the fox as well. She's so super cute. Yes, and the tapir, which um, is a bit of a strange choice of animal, but it's actually one of our favourites as well here. So, is it? Um, yeah, it? Yeah, it's just a bit different. So, um, yeah, and these are meant so that, I mean, it doesn't have to be a mum and a baby. It could be a dad or it could be, um, you know, anything you wanted it to be, really. Yeah, I get, yeah, you're right, absolutely. Just showing a couple of the samples here. And again, because those stamps work so beautifully with each other, it's great to choose maybe more than one set because they work so well. Uh, so that's your mummy. The next one is moi, as in a big kiss. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's got a strange name, isn't it, for a stamp set? Um, this one's got a lot of sentiment, a lot of words in it that you can mix and match together. So you can, um, Pop, it says things like so very and then you can add in proud or chuffed or something like that so it, the idea is that you can mix and match and make up your own sentiment and again that's a great idea because not just for cards mixed media for backgrounds and also for journaling as well so something of use that you can use with all of the other stamps in that particular collection six two seven seven eight 
four. And then the last option, the final option, is turn the page. Um, and also half the stock of this one has gone. So this one's proven to be popular, Tracy. Yeah, it's just a little bit different, this one. It, the idea is that you stamp the character on the corner of your page, and then just by drawing in a pencil line, you can make it look like it's turning the page. So it's just a little bit different. It works really nicely for art journals or planners or different things like that. Yeah, that, that's true. It's really nice. And I guess you could stamp, and you can also cut around the stamp image as well, so you've got that lovely white detail going around the edge. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and you can also um, draw in extra lines if you wanted to, so they could be holding anything. You, you could you could make it a box and then stamp a sentiment or something like that in there. So it's really versatile to get this one. That is a great idea, an excellent idea. Tracy, it's been absolutely fantastic to finally chat with you this morning. I love your stamp sets. They are so super cute, so versatile and quirky as well, which I think we could all do with a little bit of. So, Tracy, thank you so much and have a lovely day at home. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dennis. OK, stay safe. Thanks, Tracy. Oh, right, we've got to give you some updates before we go into the first demonstration. Um, oh, there goes Tracy. There you go. <laughs> uh, the first class cutie, oh, sold out. First class cutie, is that one there? Shall I take that away? For the moment, we're taking that away. We'll see what we can do. We don't know, but... Oh my goodness, first, first class cuties number two. I'm going to take that away for the moment, everybody. This is what's happening. We're very busy this morning. Remember that four for three event? I think you're taking advantage of that. The beautiful chaos is limited stock. Your beautiful chaos, let's get to the mandala at the top. Beautiful chaos, that's a great stamp set. Um, so we're limited stock. The cats, the, oh right, we're limited stock on the cats as well, the beautiful cutie cats. And turn the page, the very last one, with limited stock on that, everybody. Wow, we are having a busy morning. Do you know what's great about this? Not only are they perfect individually, but buying that collection, I think it's fabulous. Dare I say, if you want to go for the whole lot, well, to have sold out now. How many does that leave left? One, two, three, four, five, six. If you are going for all six, you could open up uh, a flexi buy. Yeah, because your basket will be over sixty pounds, and within that, you'd be getting one for free because you're buying four or more. I think that's the case. Check it out, why don't you? Uh, whilst we check out this great demonstration from Tracy. Hi everybody. So for this demo, I thought I'd take you through our turn the page stamp set. Now, the idea of this set was that the five cute little critters could be made to look like they're turning the page. So, for example, you could use them on your cards to look like they're turning the card, or you can use them in your art journals or planners. They're actually quite versatile. You can add in the lines to make it look like they're holding a box, which is perfect, obviously, for your planners. Or they could be holding a sentiment, or you could actually do it so that they're holding a photograph or something like that. So if I show you one that I've already done, this is the alpaca and I've just done some no line colouring and then just literally by adding a pencil line across here and smudging it, it actually makes it look like he's turning the page. Equally for this one, he works really well. The elephant works well to hold a sentiment just by cutting it out. You can pop anything under there. So it could be a photograph or a sentiment or anything. So we're going to start, oh, well, let's just show you this one as well. So this one, I've used two of the characters and they're actually holding um, a box, which could, again, have your sentiment in it, or it could have a photograph or some journaling or something like that. So I'm going to use a stamp platform for this just to make things easier. Now, when you position your paper or card in the stamp planner, just bear in mind that the corners of your stamp so here and here need to actually go off the, the edge of the page or at least meet the edge of the page in order for it to look correct. So for this one, the stamp's in this corner. So therefore, I will make sure that the card's in this, in this area here to give me the, the full scope of using that corner. So we'll just pop it in. I'm using Versafine Claire for this. And 
and there's the alpaca. So ordinarily, I would heat emboss this in order to make the colouring a little bit easier, but you don't need to see me using a heat tool. So I'm just going to get one that I prepared earlier. This one has actually been heat embossed. So then to colour it in, I use my Tim Holtz Distress Markers and all I do is I just literally scribble the different colours that I need onto the craft mat. You could use a, a paper palette or a tile or anything really that you've got there. I need some pink as well for inside his ears. So then we'll just take some water. I always have some kitchen roll at hand just to make sure that my brush isn't too wet. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make him a brown alpaca actually this time. So just literally start and put a base layer down in your first colour. The card that I've used for this is actually Bockingford Hot Press, so the smooth watercolour card. So I'm just literally going to colour him all in, in the first colour. Obviously, if you want a paler effect, then you can either use more water or lighter colours. Um, I'm just going to go in and add a bit darker. I want him to stand out quite nicely. So just pop some extra. Obviously, darker areas would be where the um, where the alpaca meets the card there, so it just have a little bit of shadow there, and where his hands coming over. And then that ear there at the back. Watercolour is actually very forgiving, and you can get away with a lot. Um, you don't have to be an expert colourist, which is good for me. So then I'm just giving him a pink cheek. I love adding a pink cheek and a white highlight in the eye just to actually bring them to life. I'm just going to add a bit of extra dark just inside his ear there. Now, ordinarily, I would let this dry first and then go in with the next layer, but obviously I don't have that luxury today. I'm just going to pop a bit of extra dark around here. If you think you've put too much colour in any area then just by making it wet and just dabbing off with your kitchen roll will actually just take some of that colour away. So there we are and then I'm going to give him a pink boot I think. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm then going to use a white gel pen just to add a white highlight in his eye and a little bit on his nose there. Okay, so then to create the effect that he's actually turned the page you just literally take your pencil and what I tend to do is just try and get the the angle right first before I actually then go in and just literally join up and it doesn't have to be accurate you don't have to be accurate at all with this so I'll just do that and then just take my finger and just literally smudge it a little bit and there you can see that it just creates the effect that he's over opening the page there I'm then just going to take my sentiment, bring my stamp platform back in again. And then I've chosen, there's some great sentiments on this set. Um, I've chosen, turn the page, tell your story. So I'll just pop that in there. Okay, there you are. 
suits the, the, the project really well. Now, there's other ones in here that say things like, in the Book of Life, there are no answers at the back. New day, new chapter. A true love story never ends. Everyone has a story. Let your imagination run wild. Once upon a time. Happy ever after. You're pretty much my most favourite of all time in the history of ever. So there's some re a real nice mixture of sentiments in this set that works perfectly with, with the idea of turning the page. Thank you. Oh, some great demonstrations there and very inspirational designs here in the studio. Isn't that gorgeous? That would look lovely in a frame. And if you were going for any of the dyes, actually, we have from Spellbinder with the roses, um, that could be the ring of roses around that little cow. Utterly cool. Utterly adore you. And you are utterly adoring the stamp sets we've got for you. We've got some news. We've got some news. Okay. The beautiful chaos, which is just here. We've, we did sell out. We've got it back on extended delivery. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to be dispatched from the 18th of May. So that's good news. That's good news for that one. And a lovely stamp set to get. So you can start to add those details, that chaotic detail, to your mixed media, to your journals, to your cards. Absolutely fantastic. And that mandala, of course, could be the focal point. Funny Farm, let's have a look at that one. Oh, three quarters of the stock of the Funny Farm has gone. We just saw that fantastic uh, cow. Here's your tapir just there, super cute. And one of Tracy's favorite animals. They can be about up to two meters in length, actually. Strange looking animal, but so super cute. And that is captured within that stamp set. Uh, next up, your mummy. Oh, your mummy is limited stock. Your mummy, <coughs> excuse me, is limited stock. And on your mummy, um, oh, that's where you've got your tapir. Sorry, not on the farm. The tapir's on your mummy. <laughs> Two words I never thought I'd ever say in my life together. <laughs> you've got your elephant there with the little elephant. So super cute. And you've also got your kangaroo with the joey. And you've got that tapir as well with its baby and the fox. Um, can't find a sample with the fox on, um, but I'm sure it's going to look absolutely fantastic when you get it home. Right, next up, mwah, mwah, which is, what's the word that sounds, oh, sorry, there's me chuntering away, it's sold out, sold out. Um, we c is that that one there? Mwah can't get hold of that, bye-bye. I was just going to say, what's the name of a word that sounds like, the word like bang and on on a matter here is it do you think moi is an on a matter here moi 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 sorry your next one turn oh it's gone oh my god sorry everyone i'm just going to destroy this uh right turn the page has actually gone and sold out so i'll just rearrange that the whoops hang on hang about a minute this is where i shouldn't interfere Right, the catitude, we've got back on extended delivery, everyone, so that's good. It's going to be dispatched from the 18th. Oh, my word, just move all of those samples out of the way now. We've got that big gap there, so do you know what I might do? I might just send one of those down the bottom and just rebuild it before your very eyes, just so you don't see the mess that I've created uh, behind. So what started off as a very, very full pack shot, Oh my goodness, is now dissipating, is now dissipating. So we've only got four options for you now. I wouldn't wait too long before you pop those in your basket. And it's a four for three deal, by the way. So if you are going for the four that's left, if you want to go for the four that's left, you're getting one free, aren't you? Uh, all you have to do is quote VE443. Super cute, but we're down to the final four options. Uh, 627784, my word. Right, shall we move on? We've got some A6 stamps for you. Um, again, such delightful images from Tracy. And these equally can be used with the other stamp sets on the show. Um, right, let's start at the top. Let's see how far we can get through these. We've got BU. Oh, look at that doggy. Doesn't it melt your heart? Doesn't it absolutely melt your heart? It's a 
beautiful stamp there with the doggy. I'm just trying to find a sample. I'll find one in a moment. Uh, if you do want to get hold of that one, 357274. The same applies with this set, everybody. Nine ninety-five each, but if you're going for four, you'll get one three, uh, free. <laughs> you'll get one for free because that's the deal that you're getting on here. And oh, seven, I'm trying to find a sample for you. Seventy percent of the stock has gone. Right, shall we move on so we can get to see the other one? We've got Dotty about you. Who are you, Dotty about? Who are you, Dotty about? I'm Dotty about you, um, but who are you, Dotty about? What are you going to make with that stamp set? Who will be your first card that you send that to? Um, found a lovely sample here. And you've got your little sentiments in there as well. Again, oh, look at the elephant. Look, the elephant's got like a little bee, bee outfit on. Or is it a ladybug? I think it's a, la it's a ladybug. The elephant's a la ladybug. Um, here's a lovely sample, just here, of those circles, creating that lovely, fun background. The sentiments themselves, what I'll do is I'll just grab my glasses, if I may, and I can read some of these out to you. Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Let me grab that. Uh, that's enough today. That's enough teddying for today. I'm done. Uh, it always seems impossible until it's done. Well, that's true, isn't it? Uh, once in a while, blow your own... I don't know whether I can say that at this time in the morning. It's not rude or anything like that. I'm going to show... No. No. Just read that. No. Just there, everybody. Yes. That's what it says. Not sure whether I can actually orotate that this early in the morning. Probably so. It's just a word, but I'm, pl uh, uh, I'm playing it safe. Um, follow your heart. I can say that. That is fantastic. Uh, I do like that sentiment, though. I think that is brilliant. Quirky, fantastic, brilliant fonts as well. Live with no regrets. Love with no limits. Don't call it a dream. Call it a plan. Do you know what? We were talking about that in between the shows, actually. Um, be the reason someone smiles today. Yes, do be that reason. Smiling is such a fantastic thing, isn't it? It only takes three, three muscles to smile, 40 muscles to frown. There you go. Let's take a look at the next option. Moving on. It must be love. Half the stock of that has gone. Oh, look. These would be great for Christmas, actually. Not just for Christmas. But that is so cute. Oh, look at the eye. What's he looking up at? Oh, she, what's he saying? Help me get up. I want to stay in the snow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, next up, next set for you. We're very busy for these. This next one is no words. And it's just here. So if you think I'm going to sit and read all of that out to you, I will. I will. But we're going to have to spend some time on that. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Three quarters. That would make great backgrounds, don't you think? If you use that text as a background and then maybe used one of the stamps and cut it out and placed it on top, that would be absolutely marvellous. That would be absolutely marvellous. The next one is P.S. I love you. Little giraffes. Oh, let me find some samples for the giraffes. I love giraffes. Aren't giraffes fantastic? And they're there, they stand there in the hot sun, reaching up to the leaves so that they can eat. Oh, look, there you go. So you've got your giraffe and your zebra, or zebra. And we are, are we di limited stock. Oh, so cute, those little boots on. Absolutely love these, don't you? Uh, limited stock on that one, so we best move on. That's P.S. I love you. Uh, and then next, we've got Little Wombat. Little Wombat. Um, and who doesn't love a wombat? There you go. And wombats, of course, hang upside down. How super cute is that? How super cute is that? They're only £9.95. It means that you can mix and match your stamps. You could make and create a whole collection of cards. You could sell them then if you want to, or batch make if you want to. These would work perfectly with the previous dies. Look at the hot dog. Uh, and they'll work beautifully with other, sorry, stamps, other stamps that you've got 
at home. Love this little Wellington boots. That's your hot dog. Sorry, I'm just jumping ahead. I wanted to show you a couple of samples. Uh, so the hot dog is the next one. The hot dog is the last one. The next one is out of this world, which is the robots. That's limited stock as well, limited stock on that one. I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you loads of samples at the end. We'll just go through the different stamp sets. Uh, so those are your robots, very busy for that one. Next along is the hot dog. Right, shall we have a look at some samples? Let's have a look at some of the artwork that you could create from these marvellous stamps. Do you like these? So super cute. And again, we saw that one earlier on. Great to use with your techniques in the background, aren't they? And the beauty of stamps and using a stamp, plan, stamp platform in particular is that you can use that stamp on repeat. And you can have a little sentiment under each one. Uh, maybe someone's expecting triplets or quadruples. Was it quadruplets? Quadruples. Oh, anyway. Um, quadruplets quadruplets yeah no quad is four I didn't know whether it was duplets or anyway um there's a cow um beautiful stamps some of these are from the previous stamp set but you'll see here gorgeous designs now very busy on these because we've got that four for three it means we've got some sellouts for you so the BU, the first one here, that BU with a lovely, lovely dog on there, that's now gone and sold out. I'm going to move that away. Can't get any more of those. That's gone. Shift along. Dotty About You, we are limited stock on the Dotty About You. Limited stock on that one. Uh, it Moose Beloved, we are limited stock on that. That is so super cute, and you can use that for Christmas as well. The no words, oh, that's sold out, knew that would. Can't get any more of that. I'm going to take that away. I'm doing this just to give you an idea of what we're selling so quickly and to give you a little bit of a nudge to make sure you get what you want. The PS I Love You, which is, oh, the giraffe. That's gone, everybody. That's sold out. Oh, my word, look at this. I'm taking everything away. Let's shuffle along. I've got some news for Out of This World which is the robots, that's limited stock. So out of the world, that one is limited stock. Wow, what a busy morning. Well done, everyone. And if you're taking advantage of that four for three, well done, well done. Right, we're moving on. We've got some pick and mix on paper packs for you next, and these are equally as adorable. Let's head over here. Uh, great for stamping on, great for adding detail to your card projects uh, or journals, or journals. I'll take you through the different options. Just want to show you a couple of samples first. Nice technique of ripping down the side. And again, this is a lovely sample using some of the stamps on the show, but also the papers as well to give you an idea of the size and what they look like when they're used all together in that project. It's fantastic, that, isn't it? Right, shall we go through the options? £11.98, pence. pick a mix. So you choose any two, which means if you want to go for four, would that work with this one, Meg? I'm thinking, I'm not sure about that. Because it's 11 .90, right, I've got it. 11.98 for one. So you'll need to buy Four lots of two so that's eight together so just to let you know just to if you wanted to do that right let's go through your options shall I flick through them for you okie dokie uh, right your first one is your rainbows rule and don't they at the moment lots of gorgeous color in here but also you've got uh, some white space to work with as well uh, that one would be nice to cut out your sentiments on nice for your backgrounds again to use with your stamping if you've got uh, white areas you can stamp directly onto there or you could stamp on white card and then place them on the top so you'd be using these as a background really nice colors of course colors of the rainbow and you've also got your two, is it two of each pattern or four? It is, here we go, 30 sheets, 30, uh, 10 designs, I've not got my glasses on, and it's 200 GSM. 
200 GSM. And that is rainbow rules. So you've got a whole host of different designs in there. Perfect. Next up, next up, next up, next up. You've got your, oh, I like this. It's your crafter rainbow. Again, 200 GSM, 10 designs, 30 sheets. There's three of each. There's three of each. Uh, and this one, it's got some lovely craft card colour to the back of it as well. So it's the same design as the previous, but what you've got here is that lovely craft card style design to it. I like that with the white. Beautiful. Next up, we've got your crafter rainbow in pastel. So again, still going on that lovely craft card design, like that with the love hearts with the white going around. Do love a bit of Posca pen. Uh, you could add white detail on here. That could be a little bit of bunting maybe behind uh, one of your stamps. Nice, beautiful. Again, 200 GSM. Three of each design, that's good. You could use that anyway, really. You could use it that way, you could use it that way as a background. You could use it that way if you want to. It could be like a forest, top of a forest in that one. Add some birds to that, which is great. Uh, so you've got your lovely designs in there. Next up, you've got your denim blush. Uh, again, beautiful. To, now that's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Imagine stamping in the middle of that. Absolutely perfect. Nice love heart with some white space to work with as well. You're getting three of each design. Some nice pastel tones as well with your love heart sorry I keep flicking I've got to find a way of flicking through these better for you there you go so three of each design ten designs in there some nice navy colors that's nice with the mandala isn't it fabulous next up we've got your alpaca pie alpaca pie I'm gonna pick this one up boom alpaca pie love this one and I think I showed you a sample with some of this on earlier on so you've got your lovely uh, Moroccan style there nice uh, grungy style to some of the elements in here nice grey that's like a woolly jumper maybe made out of alpaca wool there you go there they are that's great isn't it uh, let's move through some of the other pages in here nice smooth card as well to work on oh isn't that adorable nice sentiment to go with that maybe if you're going for your one day special actually some of the sentiments would work really well on these pads and again you've got the different designs on repeat so three of each design that's your alpaca pie next up in the navy you can sail the seven seas in the navy i need to find out a better way of there you go flick through these uh, you've got your dots in there. Again, that would be, that would make quite a nice pixie or fairy style look to it. You've got your love hearts in there as well. Nice white detail. That's nice, isn't it? Cut that in half if you want to, which would be nice. You've got three of those designs in there to work with. A nice mandala style with your love hearts with the focal point. Again, another lovely design for you. Nice quirky style love heart with your text in the background. Be brave, love, dreams, journey. Nice stars in the rainbow colours. Love hearts at the bottom as well. And again, going on to the repeat of the patterns. Three of each, ten designs. Next up, let's pop that down there. You've got your rainbows rule again. Limited stock on this one. Limited stock. This has got like... Um, what am I trying to say? Like an animal vibe to it. There you go. For your leopards and your cheetahs and your zebra and your lions. There you go. This is lovely, uh, but very busy for this one. So pick a mix on any two. So this might be the second one you are choosing. Like that. Very nice. Ten designs, three of each, 200 GSM. Next up, we have got your vintage rainbows. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, look at that. Who's that dog watching? Who is that? Like that with the letters in the background. Flipping over again. Nice background with the technique of the inks on there, just blended away with the rainbow colours and the love hearts. You've got a similar design in each of these books, but done in a different way. There's the rainbow again. So 10 designs, and then we're back to the start, three of each. And the last one, Animal Magic. Animal magic. 
And then we'll open this up. Again, you've got the rainbow colours in there, the mandala style artwork with the stars and the flowers. That's a nice one. Uh, lovely design of the rainbow straight over there. So that would look nice with some of your stamps cut out. Your quirky love heart, your mandala of love hearts, the text with your colours in there. And then we go back on to the designs again. Three of each, ten designs, 200 GSM. You get to choose any two for 11.98. That is superb value for money. Superb value for money. Eleven pounds and ninety-eight pence. Pick a mix any two. Nine nine three seven zero six is your item number. Now we've got another demonstration. I believe this demonstration is using one of these fantastic paper pads and some of the stamps. Hi everyone. So for this demo, we're going to use our new vintage rainbow paper pad and the little wombat stamp set. Now wombats are obviously a bit different. Uh, we like to think of different and unusual animals to, to base our stamp sets around and I love the sentiments in this one there's some really good ones like g'day mate and you'll be right fair dinkum be you unless you can be a wombat then always be a wombat so and it's a good day to have a good day that's a great one so that's a really cute stamp set and then from the vintage rainbow paper pad there's some lovely papers in here but the one we're going to use today is the rainbow this one so I've already cut out the rainbow and you can see that there's newspaper text behind that um, so that's really lovely and we're going to be making a canvas so I've got one of the quite thin canvases it's not a box canvas it's just a thin uh, square canvas so I'm going to start by gluing the rainbow from the paper pad onto canvas. You could obviously use slap it on or the indigo blue slap it on is really good for this. Um, I'm just using glue today. So I'm just going to have this going off the edge. So I think we'll pop that there. Okay, I'm then going to use a stencil. You can use any stencil you like. The one that I've chosen today is just a Elizabeth Crafts stencil, which may or may not be on the website. No. And I'm just going to do a little bit of stenciling so that it goes over the top of the rainbow. Um, you don't have to be particularly accurate. You know, you don't need to get the whole stencil in. You can just choose a portion of the stencil and any stencil will work. It's just to add a little bit of interest so that you can see some of the white on top of the rainbow. This is a lovely stencil. So, scrape that off. Okay, so that's just white texture paste that I've used there. So I'm just gonna set that to one side. Let's take that off. So there you go. As you can see, it's not, it's not covered all of it, it's just to add a little bit of interest. Just pop that to one side and then I'm just going to pop that to one side to dry while I move on to the next part so for this part I'm going to start stamping the wombat so I've chosen some craft card this time and again I'm using the stamp platform this means that there's no room for error so I've chosen the wombat that's rolling around and also I'm going to stamp the little bug that comes in the set as well. So there we go. Now I've actually heat embossed one in advance. That just means that it's easier to colour because you can, you've got the slightly raised lines to stick between. And also um, I'm going to be doing some glittering and it also helps to have um, a slightly raised area. So for this one, I'm going to use alcohol markers to just put a bit of shading into the wombat. So all I'm doing, I've got three different shades of like a grey brown colour and I'm just very roughly, it doesn't need to be accurate at all. I'm just colouring him in. And this is a very light colour you can see as it dries. That's the palest colour that I'm using there. 
And then I'm going to go in with the next, the next colour. And just adding a little bit more. Equal, this, this would work well equally watercoloured or any kind of colouring medium that you've got, pencils or, or the like. And then I'm just literally going to go in with the last one. This is the darkest. So you'll notice I'm just doing a little bit less with each as the colours get darker. Just only putting in the, the bits that would be in the shade. And then you just again go back in and just blend that out. And then again with the lightest. So it's really easy, there's nothing complicated about this at all. And it actually looks darker while it's wet. Once it's dried, this will this will be much paler. So, and then of course, in my normal style, I'll just put a bit of pink in his cheek. And I'm gonna use exactly the same technique for this little guy, so that it all matches. And again, in with the darker, darker color there. I could get carried away and spend hours doing this, but I don't think that would be much fun for everybody. So, again, this little fella needs to have a rosy cheek as well. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Next, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to cut that those out quickly. So the, the key with cutting, cutting these characters out, I always leave, it's totally up to you if you want to cut exactly to the line that's fine I always find it a bit more forgiving and it also pops a little bit more in my opinion if you just leave a, a slight outline um, to so you don't actually meet the lines it's much easier and turn the paper rather than the scissors that's the key so it's really really quite easy this is the sort of thing that you could do. You could colour a lot of images and then cut them out while you're watching telly or, or doing other things there. Yeah, he's very cute. And what we're going to actually do is we're going to give him some glittery welly boots because everyone back needs glittery welly boots, obviously. So that's him. And the little bug. Again, it doesn't work very well. If, if you cut to the lines, then his little antenna would be sliced off in error, or they would be if I was doing it. So nice just to leave a little bit of a gap to make sure that he stays in one piece. You could stamp these direct, the, the bugs directly onto the canvas, but I obviously you wouldn't be able to use your stamp platform because it's a big canvas that wouldn't fit in there and you, it would be difficult to get an accurate stamping impression. So that's those cut out. Then what I'm going to do is take my quickie glue pen. I've got the piece of paper to pop underneath. I'm literally just going to... Use the glue pen on his wellies. You notice when you use the glue pen, it goes on blue. And then as it dries, it goes clear, but remains tacky so that we've got a bit of time to do this. And also this little fella's gonna have glittery wings. Not normally a glittery person, but I've kind of got this bit of an obsession at the moment about just adding just tiny little accents of glitter. So, that's those glittered. So 
So then I'm going to use some gold fine glitter. Let's tip it on. Quite fiddly to. You could, if you've got time, you could do this before you've cut them out and then let them dry and then cut them out. This is a little bit fiddly. You can give them a, you can give the glitter a bit of a push down if you need to. So I'll just pop that to one side. I'm surrounded by fantastic samples here. Oh my goodness, we've had a really busy show and we've had so many sellouts as well. So let's tell you what we've got left so you can make some informed choices, get them into your basket. Let's go and have a look at Dotty about you. So super cute. This is on extended delivery now. It's going to be dispatched from the 18th. Here's a lovely sample just at the top there. Dotty about you. Oh, so cute. Um, if you do want to get hold of that, nine pounds and ninety-five pence, three five seven two seven four. But of course, you've got so many different elements to that stamp set that you can use, and you can see that just there. The next one, it moose be love. Lots of doodling hearts and stars and Christmas trees. This is also going to be dispatched from the 18th, so it's on extended delivery. Super cute, but so much more to that particular stamp set at 9.95. Remember, you can have four for the price of three, if that's what you want to go for, quoting VE4 for three. Then the Wombat, that's on immediate dispatch. Your Wombat, there you go, on immediate dispatch for you. If you want to get that particular stamp set, get that into your basket. Uh, £9.95. Lots of elements within that to use. The next one, out of this world. Who doesn't like a robot? This is going to be dispatched from the 18th of May. Very, very busy for that. You've got those great characters in there of your robots. Great for masculine cards, you know, cards for your brother, your dad, but also for your mum and sister as well. But robots are just cool for the kids and maybe for some of the larger kids as well. And then, there's no dog like a hot dog. Yep, there it is. This is on immediate dispatch, and your hot dog will give you those beautiful sausage dogs, as we love. Uh, so sweet, so cute as well. £9.95 is your item number if you want to go for any of the stamp sets that we've got on the show. And as you can see, they all work fantastic together. Four for the price of three, that's up to you. You can take advantage of the deal we've got running at the moment. Uh, there you go, so we've got that so cute, and it really is cute. All of those stamps, by the way, will work with the other stamp sets that we've got for you on the show. Now, let's go back to where we started. Uh, this is your A5 size stamps. You'll see you're getting so many different elements on each of the stamp sets. So we'll start with Beautiful Chaos. This is on extended delivery now. If you want to get hold of this, you can pop this into your basket. It's a great little stamp set to have. I've just got this lovely little box here. And you'll see we've got the stamp that's been embossed on the front. Really does give that gorgeous detail. That's just part of it. This is a stamp set that you could use with your mixed media projects. You can use on your card projects. And what a lovely, let's just take that off for you. What a lovely style sample that you've got just there. Oh, chuffing with a puffin. Fabulous. Uh, next stamp set along is your funny farm. There's your funny farm. That's on immediate dispatch, uh, which is a great little stamp set. You've got your llama in there. You've got your little piglet as well. So you can have lots of fun making and creating with that particular set. It's all about quirkiness, isn't it? Uh, next up, you've got mummy. Oh, this is such a gorgeous one, it really is. Uh, you've got your kangaroo on there, your elephant, um, and you've got your other animals on there. And then you've got the last one, which is your catitude. That's on extended delivery. Remember your catitude, you've got those lovely super eyes on there as well. So you can change the expression of the cats and also put glasses on them as well. Nerdy by nature, love that. Uh, they are a four for three because we've got the uh, VE event on at the moment. Take advantage of that. We are busy. When it's in your basket and you're happy, please do check on out. And stay right where you are. Go and grab yourself a cup of tea. We've got some quilting coming up next. Yes, coming up next, we've got Thigh Veg. 
coming up with five bed quilting. We've also got heartfelt creations and Elizabeth Craft Designs one day special returns at 12. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy B shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us, it gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda.
I should be waving some flags. I really do. I hope you're having a lovely morning with us. It's Saturday morning. The sun is shining outside. My word. The drive to work this morning was fabulous. The moon was out on one side, the sun was out on the other. I'm sure they were having a little bit of banter as I was driving along. The mist was out as well over the hills. It looked absolutely spectacular. It was a glorious day, glorious, glorious day. So I hope you're well and I hope you're having a good morning as well. Thank you for choosing Hochanda. It's great to have your company. Remember at any time, if you want to email in, you're more than welcome to do so. We'd love to hear from you. It's studio at hochanda.com. If you have any questions about anything that we're selling or maybe you have bought from Thiveg before and you've made and created from their kits why don't you send them in we'd love to see what you've made and created it's studio at ochanda.com right let me tell you about Thiveg because when you look at the name you might think it's Thai veg it's not although that's making me really hungry it's thigh veg and that's Gaelic for little house a little house that's in your garden that might be somewhere where you go for that lovely little um, comfort break to get away from it all or maybe um, a little room at the bottom of the garden where you do a little bit of crafting for your inspiration and that's exactly what Sue does and that's where she cuts her fabric now the beauty of the kits that you're getting from five egg and Sue M's is that all the kit is already pre-cut for you it makes it easy it makes it attractive to go for because it means the hard work the cutting out is done so you can get on with the sewing the putting together the placement and creating fantastic quilts and bags table runners and the other projects we've got available for you on the show which means if you are new to quilting this is going to be an attractive proposition for you. Lots of programs on the television at the moment about soft crafting, so you might be getting into it. So hopefully we'll be chatting with Sue a little later on, but let's go through the kits that we've got for you. Let's go for the nine patch um, lap quilt that we've got for you. Um, full instructions in here, so when we open this up, you can see in detail everything that you need to do to place it together because we don't have the cutting details because all the detail well, all the cutting has been done for you it gets straight into the placement of now let's have a look at the fabrics these are gorgeous these are your bright patiks that are in here or batiks not patiks batiks uh, batiks are, are, are great fabrics to have they really are so let's take a look at some of the designs We've got some gorgeous purples in here with that lovely paisley really makes it pop doesn't it and you've got that vintage style dye to it as well so love those great thing about batiks is there's no really one right and one wrong side they're both equally as lovely it's just that one's slightly brighter than the other so you can use both sides, we like that. So you've got your paisley design in there as well. You've got lovely rainbow splatters with the blue. Uh, you've got 48 five inch squares in total, all pre-cut for you and all ready to go. So lovely design there. And then you have got your strips also included, also pre-cut as well. And in this kit, not only do you get your batiks, you seen the price everyone it's a great price you've got your cream boutiques as well 29 pounds and 49 pence it's a great deal it's a great buy now I don't know whether we can capture this because this isn't just cream it's cream boutiques if I move there you look at that what a shot what a shot you've got 42 of those cream squares they're gorgeous just adds the detail. Now we're very busy. A quarter of the stock has already gone. And you know behind me, <clears throat> that's the quilt you can make. That's the quilt. Isn't that lovely? And do you know what I like about that? There's some stitchy detail on there. Uh, some quilting that makes those squares really stand out. I love that. Don't you like that? I'm loving the colours. Fantastic. We're busy for that. Uh, we've got the lovely Sue Ems on the phone now with us joining us this morning. Good morning, Sue. Hi, Janice. How are you? A bit nervy because the signal might drop out, but absolutely fine otherwise. <laughs> That's all right. Well, we'll keep you for as long as we can. Can okay. we explain to people, though, why the signal might be a little bit dodgy, Sue? Where are you calling from? 
the middle of France, out in the countryside. And how is France today? Uh, very warm, actually. We've got about 25 degrees already. And mm. it's only, well, 10 o'clock your time, 11 o'clock our time. How fantastic. Well, it I is. would say then that rather than here in the UK where we would use a fantastic quilt like this to keep us warm, put on our knees, you would be using a quilt like this to have a picnic outdoors. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Sue, can you tell us a little bit about thigh veg? <laughs> what, the Manx Gaelic? Yes. Now, my husband is a Manxman, and he built the lovely building that I do my quilting in and my pre preparation. And when he completed the building, over the top of the door, there was a little sign that said thigh veg. So when I asked, what does that mean? He said, little house. And then he went on to explain that as he was a child, down the bottom of the garden, there were the little houses that people used to visit, as you just said, for little comfort breaks. So I thought it was quite a nice touch and a little nod to him. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. It's a great name. It really is. It gets people talking, for sure. Um, but we've got the correct pronunciation, so that's wonderful. Can we talk yeah. about the kits that we've got on the show, yeah. Sue? Um, because they're all pre-cut, it's going to make it easy for beginners, I think. Uh, there are one or two that are pre-cut for beginners, certainly. Uh, nice and easy. You haven't got to worry about um, cutting. You can just get on and sew, which does make it nice and easy to do. Yes. And very quick. Now, the fabrics that you've used in the kits, we're looking at the batiks at the moment. Um, yeah. They're lovely. Batiks is such a fantastic fabric to work with. There's no right or wrong side, is there? Uh, not always, no. Some, some of those that you've got in your hand now uh, do have a right and a wrong side. But they are fabulous because you get a piece of batik and you think you've got three or four different fabrics and it's actually only one. So they're very handy and, and very bright and vibrant. They're lovely. They certainly are. And they look great in that kit. I do need to tell you, though, that already half the stock has gone. Wow. Um, you get the instructions as well, don't you, Sue? Yes. So um, easy to follow. They're very easy to follow. Um, I try and write them in words of almost one syllable <laughs> so that new quilters can literally pick it up, tick it off as you go, and you can't go wrong. Fantastic. Can I ask you a question, Sue? Yes. When we've made the quilt with the superb fabrics you're providing here, can yes. we use the pattern to make another one? Of course. Excellent. Like oh. that. Yes. Right. Uh, that particular one, £29.49, 277352. Stay with us, Sue. We've yep. got another option for you here, and this is your denim blue. I uh, love this. Love the paisley designs in here. They're, they're very nice, they are. They're nice. It's a lovely soft fabric, that one. Um, it looks much better made up um, than it looks in pieces. Much, much, much better. Yeah, it certainly does. Um, here's a shot of it made up, actually. Lovely, beautiful blues. Now, we're getting the pre-cut uh, panels in there. Yeah. Uh, what else do we need to finish off the quilt? Uh, you'll need a piece of wadding and some backing fabric. Okay. Um, I tend to use calico, which is very cheap, and it's on the back. Nobody's ever going to see it on the back. Perfect. So uh, anything will do on the back. Yeah, I like that. Um, again, beautiful design with that blue. We've got some butterflies in there. We've got some yeah. flowers, and we've got some paisley as well. Yeah. Um, a lovely element. The size of the quilt as well that we've got, um, what would you use it for, Sue? Would you put it on a bed, on a chair, on a sofa? Uh, probably on the back of a sofa or over a chair, perhaps on a child's bed. Um, I've got one that's that size sitting outside, as you said earlier, uh, on a table, and we often eat lunch on it or afternoon, afternoon tea in France. Mm. <laughs> what do you have for afternoon tea in France? Uh, well, we usually have cake and tea, um, possibly a little sandwich if we're very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're making me jealous. You're making me jealous. Um, are you um, near the wine regions by any chance? Uh, we're about an hour south of the Loire Valley. Oh. Uh, and, yes, and of course they are renowned for wines. 
How lovely, how lovely. Um, Sue, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, to talk to you today, it really has. Uh, we're going to carry on with the show, of course. We're going to carry on with those gorgeous designs that we've got for you. I think we're going to take a look at the um, pinwheel on point design, which is oh, yeah. a great quilt to have. Uh, would you say that could be for um, a beginner? Uh, uh, not necessarily for a beginner. They'd need to be a bit patient with themselves um, because it's got a different technique. But, um, again, the instructions are written in such a way that you can't really go wrong. It, nice and straightforward. It's a beautiful design. It really is. Very, Thank very you. nice. Thank you. And uh, is, is it Henry Glass designer fabric that you've got in there? Uh, one of them is, yes. Yeah, that, that's the one that you're showing on screen now. Yes, yeah. They are fabulous fabrics, beautiful, beautiful colour palette. Certainly is. That is extraordinary. I love yeah. that. Love that's that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and two pounds at £29.50. pence. You can spread the cost if you want to. Uh, Sue, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, Johnny. Enjoy that sunshine in the south of France. And hopefully, we <laughs> hopefully we'll see you back here at Hochanda. Hope so, hope so. Thank well, you very much, Janice. Bye, everybody. All right, bye, Sue. Bye, take care. Will do. Oh, isn't it nice to talk to our guests? And hopefully we'll see uh, Sue in the studio soon. Uh, right, we're going to have a look at that pinwheel right now uh, with that designer fabric. Gorgeous, isn't it? What a great colour palette that you've got with this. And all of those fabrics, even though they're different designs, works so well together because you've got the colour palette but also you've got some wonderful green in there which goes with that green you've got some like almost like a mustardy burnt orange which goes with that one you've got the lovely rusty colour on the stars which goes with that one so they all mix and match and work so well together beautiful fabrics by Henry Glass and then the larger fabric which of course is on the quilt you've got the blue and the brown and you've got the stitchy detail in there of the cream which is fantastic all comes with the instruction booklet easy to follow Sue says she uses the words that you understand so you can just pick this up you can start ticking off what you've done and then you get to make and create that fabulous quilt we've got it behind me uh, the pinwheel shall I step I never do you know I even after all this time I never know Take a step backwards. I can do backwards. Always oh, like the golden shot. Okay, so the director now, this is great. It's like golden shot. Back a bit. To my right. This way. I write a bit more. And fire. There you go. <laughs> Do you remember the golden shot? That was great. Um, that was fantastic. Well directed, Andy. I'm not the best person to direct at the, at the best of times. This is lovely, though. What a lovely design. You'll see... You've got your squares design, so you've got the smaller squares at the corner. I know there's a terminology for that, I know there's a terminology. Uh, and then you've got your pinwheels in there, and then that pattern is repeated there, and that pattern's repeated there, and that pattern's repeated there, and so on and so forth. Love that. And then you've got the quilting of the, the lines in there. And you see the quilting detail uh, across the triangles there. It just adds, adds interest and adds more detail. That's gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? And then you've got your b b b binding, bias binding, binding uh, going around the edge. Superb. Superb, that is. Uh, £29.50 is your first payment, and then another payment a month after that. Right, uh, we've got the same design, but we've got it in mm, denim. Yeah, Paisley designs in here. You've got your flowers, your daisies, and your butterflies. In fact, these are fabrics similar to the previous quilt. So if you like these fabrics, you might want to go for both quilts. This is your pinwheel design. <clears throat> You've also got, let me just get this to show you, because this isn't just regular cream fabric. This has got a design on there. If I have, there you go, hold that to the light. Oh, look, there's butterflies on there. Now I didn't see that when I first picked that up. Isn't that gorgeous? Kirsty Floor Manager, you can see that from there. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that wonderful? So you've got your butterflies on there and then you've got that gorgeous denim. 39, 35 pounds, beg your pardon. 
35 pounds and 99 pence for that quilt 228 752 marvelous isn't it it is very spring-like very very spring-like um that size i would say it's well it's 55 by 37 inches so uh, approximately so oh sorry see i'm going the wrong way um if you've got a single bed it'll look great on that over a chair over a chair or over the back of the sofa or if you're gonna have a picnic outside oh picnic outside Oh, I could do with some olives, some French bread after talking to Sue. Could have a couple of gherkins as well, just to give you that, oh, you know, when you're eating something, you need that little bit, oh. Um, I'd have some cheese, Port Salut cheese. Um, it's a fancy picnic, isn't it? It is. Um, I wouldn't have any ham, but um, Andy would have some Parma ham. Uh, what else would I have? Carrots and hummus. And a tad of wine but not when I'm working and that's right now so let's go to a demonstration let's see the lovely Sue in action here she is this next demonstration is off the pinwheel on point quilt and this is made up in a quilt as you go methodology so you're building up all your pieces first and then we'll put them all together so what I thought I'd show you is the last corner going on so that you can see that big pieces can be quilted as you go as well as small pieces quilted as you go. Okay, so I'm ready to put this together. You'll need, <coughs> excuse me, you'll need one of your backing uh, hinge pieces. That's going to go underneath this final corner and on the diagram if I can just show you that on the diagram at the back of the pattern all the corners are marked so this is this last corner going on and if I turn it into the same orientation you can see corner four corner four so we want the channel sorry we want the hinge onto corner four now I'm deliberately leaving a long tail each end because when you put the hit the sashing piece on you need it to come to there and there so what i'm going to do first is just pin this in oh, glasses on pin this into position like that and then put the sashing piece on right side down now your your little corner ears will protrude just a little bit about a quarter of an inch each side and what we're aiming for is that the sashing will line up that seam with that piece there that one there, that one there, and that one there. So we'll offer it into place first. And that looks pretty good to me. So now I can go ahead, take it to the machine and sew that down. Right, here we go. All my edges, all the raw edges are level. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to start just a tiny bit beyond the little ear, primarily because I can't get a leader into here, and I like to use leaders to stop the bird's nest underneath. So once you're happy that it's all lined up and all the edges are level, just carry on and sew it down. I'm just putting a tiny bit of tension on it, to stop it going silly and making pleats and things because as I'm sure you all know the feed dogs take the bottom layer through the machine quicker 
then the top layer goes through. So I'm just making sure that I don't get any pleats on this top side. Now something that I've found over the years is that although this machine can go quite quickly, in fact quite a lot quicker than it's going at the moment, I found that the slower you, your machine, the more accurate the end result is. Okay. So that's that done and I'll show you how to press it next. First thing I'm going to do is set the seam and all you do you just give it a little iron down. That was something I learned probably over 40 years ago. I went to a, a PTA meeting at one of the schools that one of the kids was at and there was a lady there called Anne Ladbury and that was of us of a certain age. We'll remember Anne Ladbury with her sewing patterns for McCall's and quick ways of sewing and it was she who first said you must set your seams. So I always set my seams. And I think what's happening is the, the, the pressure is bedding the threads into the, the piece. So what I've done, I've just pressed that over like that. Now I've left the hinge where it is for now. We don't need that getting in the way of the next stage, which is putting this onto that. All pressed all ready to attach so you're now going to put that right side to right side now this is the crucial bit these seams must line up because if they don't it's going to look awful when your corners don't meet and that's really why i always offer sashings onto the piece first so that if there are any minor adjustments to be made they can be made before you've got it all sewn together now minor adjustments might need to be made if your seam allowance is a scant quarter as opposed to a proper well, an exact quarter or if your seam allowances are a shade more than an exact quarter, you may have to make some adjustments on these sashing pieces here so that the things do fit properly. But it's nothing to do with anything that you've done wrong. It's just the seam allowances on your quarter inch foot, whether they're exact or scant. So now I'm ready to stitch this down and uh, we're nearly ready to finish. I will pop a leader under there because I often find when you're sewing awkward shapes like this you do get a bird's nest underneath. Now when you're sewing big pieces like this they're very awkward so it does pay you to have uh, a working space on your left of the machine to take the weight so that as you're sewing you're not it's not pulling and you're not struggling with it because you really need to be focused on the sewing of the seam rather than worrying about where the weight of the quilt is going. And I mean, you get that wherever you, not just with quilt as you go, although I have to admit the more sewing you put on, the heavier the thing will get. But it's exactly the same when you're doing ordinary quilting on your machine. You've still got a lot of weight on the on the needle so we want to try and eliminate that as best we can I've seen boxes put underneath it I've seen books put underneath I'm quite fortunate I've got a, a sewing machine table that will take the machine to be flat and I've got another big table to my left to take the weight of the quilt. Right, nearly there.
Okay, we can have a quick look to see if they've lined up. That's not too bad. Okay, that's on. We set the seam again, and I do always think of Anne Ladbury when I'm setting seams. Seems a lifetime ago. This now has got to be pressed away from the quilt top. And I'm doing it rather quickly. On a pressing board rather than a, a proper mat. Now what we've got to do is turn the whole thing over so that we can press this hinge over the channel. Okay. Because that's where we're going to put the wadding strip. And then we're going to stitch it down by hand. And again, these are rather big pieces to be working with. And you might need to just take the weight off. I'm going to move that out of the way. Right, last piece of wadding going in now. And remember, they are a snug fit. You don't want anything that's not a, a nice, tight fit. Over you go. I seem to have lost a couple of pins, but we'll worry about that after. And just pin, pin the channel over. And now, if you want to, you can trim these tails out of the way to make it a little bit easier to work. And there we are. All done. And if I turn that over, you'll see that once that's slip stitched over, we're ready now to just trim up the edges and put the binding on. That's it, job done. And that's it, job done for you as well when you get your kits home. Thanks, Sue, for that. Uh, we've got two options in the pinwheel uh, quilt kits for you. The first one is your designer fabrics, your Henry Glass designer fabric. Half the stock is gone. Uh, beautiful style fabrics to this. What I like about this particular one with the fabrics, it almost looks like a vintage grungy steampunk style um, designer fabric and all of the fabrics depict colours from all of the different uh, patterns in here which is marvellous. Works so well. Great colour palette and then you've got your main feature of your fabric or your backing fabric should I say all you need to do to finish your quilt is get some wadding and some backing that's the back of the quilt uh, two pence to 29 pounds and 50 pence that's for your designer fabric 58.99 uh, then we've got some mm, denim for you uh, you've got your lovely flowers in there your daisies you've got your paisley designs like that which reminds me of cowboys in the wild west then you've got your flowers in there, some nice denim behind, some more of your paisley, more finer detail of your flowers in there, and you've got your butterflies as well. Uh, great design. And then your fabric that goes around the edge, you can see there you've got that pattern, and it's actually butterflies on there. If I lean that forward, isn't that delicate? Isn't that lovely? Thirty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Thirty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Perfect. Now, if you just want the patterns on their own, we do have a pick and mix for you. 
you can choose from lots of different patterns available to you. You've got your Dresden wall hangings on there, you've got your lap quilts, you've got your bucket bags in there, um, and of course all the kits that are on today's show. Pick a mix, any two, for £12.99, and you can go and have a look at them all on the website. Just shop by brand for thigh veg. Right, coming back, we've got, um, oh, these are gorgeous, these poppy wall hangings. Should we choose, let me start with the white. Let me start with the white. You get to choose. Is it the same item number for both? Same item number for both, you just choose the colour. So this is the poppy in white, because the main part of that is white. Gorgeous poppies, £28.99. Now in this, you are getting your fabrics for your, are they flying geese or would they just be triangles? You've got to, you round the edge. Uh, you've also got the fabric for the poppies and also that lovely cream fabric as well with that floral display. You also get the templates for the poppy flowers and the leaves as well. So once you've made this with the kit that you're getting in white, you could possibly make that again because you've got your templates and you've got the full instructions here. Let me just take you to the templates there at the back. Maybe, here's a good idea, if you've got a laminator, you could laminate those so you could use them again. Perfect. So that's in white. We've also got it featuring the black in the background as well. Let me, let me open that up to show you. Here it is in the black. Absolutely gorgeous. Maybe this would be uh, lovely to make as oh, a wall hanging which would be nice, or maybe something to go on the table. There it is in the black, really makes the poppies pop, doesn't it? Very striking because you've got the black inner part to your poppy. I do love poppies, are gorgeous flowers. £28.99, that comes with the instructions. You've also got the templates in there as well. And the fabrics, quality fabrics here um, to start to create your kit. 209424. This is a four for three event which is running all the way through until 6 pm on the 11th of May, which means you can buy four items within any one hour and you'll get the least expensive one for free. Just quote, there is VE four for three. Right, tea, t oh, tea time, wish it was tea time. Oh, I could really do with a cup of tea and a slice of cake now. Um, or a cheese scone. Yeah, I'd have a che oh, cheese straws. Oh, cheese straw. Oh, what I wouldn't do for a cheese straw. I'm telling you now. Love a good cheese straw. Right. This is the Lincoln Lane. Isn't that lovely with the burgundy and the pink? Very nice. Very, very nice. £24.75. pence. The fabric is pre cut for you, so all you need to do is find your wadding and your backing but your main fabric has been pre-cut for you. So that is your Lincoln Lane. And this one is your Amelie. Now that is gorgeous, isn't it? Again, that would look lovely in the center of a table, maybe to put your teacups on and your sandwiches, savory and sweets as well. 24 pounds and 75 pence, 224843. If I went for an afternoon tea, it'd be a savory afternoon tea. I do like a savory. Um, great for beginners. So if you're new to quilting and, you th and patchwork making and you're thinking, I want a kit to get me set up, to get me started, then this is a great idea for you. 224843 is your item number. You also get the pattern as well. So if you want to create it again with your own fabrics, you've got the chance to do so. All of these top quality fabric kits from Thigh Veg. Lovely Sue joined us earlier on today. Now let's have a look at the tote bag kits that we've got for you. The pattern, of course, you can follow. This is your Copenhagen blue. Now our Sue went to Australia for 10 days and she took this bag with her, not this particular one. And she got all the bits and bobs that she needed to take with her in this bag, which is fantastic. Um, it's a lovely size bag as well. You can do quite a few things with this. If you wanted to, you could put some um, board in the bottom. Oh, that was an echo. That was quite, did you hear that echo at home? It's only me in the studio and the lovely Kirsty as well. Sorry, I'll stop now. Um, it's a lovely design bag, and I'm sure you're going to fit a lot in there. You could be sewing. 
you could be knitting so you could put your knitting in oh that's a nice color knitting and sewing in there artwork could be a picnic bag when we're allowed to go out and socialize again do you know what's nice about this let's just take this to the side again really good roomy bag but what we can do is just tie this at the sides so it just draws it in pretty little bow nice little bow there you go there you go there's a bow and there you go there's a bow on the other side so you can bring that in just gathers that in doesn't it you can just tightly pull that which is really nice and then you've got the handles at the top uh, which you can carry like so or you can pop over your shoulder and it fits comfortably like that so you could go on your crafty journey like that you could be walking and it kind of watches the denim nine patch which is behind me which looks really nice but I love that's a good idea if you're having a picnic you could take that you could put it in this bag with your food and you can go on a picnic but if you're anything like me on the way to the picnic you'd eat the food that's what I do I bring my lunch to work I eat it on the way um, now let's have a look at some of the fabrics in here because they're gorgeous we've got butterflies in the different blues isn't that pretty like that like the deeper blues in there and the lighter blues and you've got some foliage in there as well some leaves that's nice because that's kind of modern isn't it um, and that one is lovely with the flowers and then you've got the larger fabric there so that's your Copenhagen blue now under the same item number it's American red like American red work this is very very nice as well style stylish again you've got the ties at the side so you can open that up and you can fit a lot in that bag I like that now you've got your different fabrics here with that lovely red work on it's more of a deeper red um, and they all work well together beautiful delicate designs in here don't you think and then you've got your lining so the lining for your red work is that really nice gorgeous what color do we call that a crew oh hang about I've just seen something on there that I didn't see before and now I've seen it I'm going to show you did you get a sneak of that pattern I didn't know there was a pattern on there look at that then our lovely Andy came over it and we had a look at the pattern with the cameras look at that that's so delicate that is marvelous oh well done for picking that out that is gorgeous. That is fantastic. Top, top quality fabrics. Don't expect anything less from our Sue and Five Egg. And for those of you that have just joined us, I know I have trouble pronouncing things and I get my words mixed up, but it is Five Egg and not Thai Veg. Okay, so if you do give us a call and the call centre are answering your phone and you're saying, can I have some Thai veg? They'll be like, we're not a takeaway, sorry. Uh, it's Thai Veg, which is a small building. It's Gaelic for little building, little house at the bottom of your garden where we all used to take a little comfort break. Br break? Break. We had an outside toilet. I bet nobody in this building has ever had to use an outside toilet. Uh, right, so we're going to take a look at... Oh, can we have a look at the nine patch? Yes, let's go and have a look at the nine patch. The denim blue, oh, the denim blue option sold out. Got no more. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I'm going to have to just do this and take that away because we can't let you sit. Sorry, it's gone. But we still have the batik. Same, same design. Uh, we've got the quilt behind me that I've now stood in front of. Uh, but over three quarters, shall I step aside? There you go. Over three quarters of the stock has on. Uh, right, if you do want to get hold of that, it's 277352. Now, Sue's not here with us in the studio, but we have got a video from Sue right now. Here she is. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you all, even though I'm physically not with you. I'm stuck in a very strongly locked down France and can't move. But by the wonder of technology, I can still bring you a couple of demonstrations today. The first one I'm going to do is the disappearing nine patch. It's a very nice sized lap quilt, keep your legs warm in the winter and it's available on the show today. In your kit you will have a very nice pattern sheet. Instructions are nice and clear, step by step, even a beginner can pick this up and carry on with it. 
your kit will contain 42 background squares, 48 coloured squares, sufficient binding strips to bind the quilt and one tiny little two and a half inch square that will finish the whole thing off. And to start, this is what we do. Four background squares placed as I'm doing them now in a bit of a cross shape and you'll want five of these coloured squares. The order that the coloured squares go in is really of no importance except for the middle square which must not be the same as any of the outer squares and you'll see the reason for that a little bit later on. To begin the sewing process we put that square over there, the middle square over to this side and the bottom square over to there and we're going to sew these three seams in a string. I'm just going to go to the sewing machine now. In goes the leader so that you don't get the bird's nest on your block seam. Here's the first one. I'm going to try and do these rather quickly so that you're not wasting a lot of time watching me sewing. I'm not going to bother to pin because they're freshly cut and they will bind together almost. Uh, they, they don't want to move around very much. Here goes the last one. I'm using a quarter of an inch seam which is pretty standard for most quilting jobs. And if your seam isn't exactly a quarter of an inch, I wouldn't get too worked up about it as long as they're all the same. Some patterns will tell you to use a scant quarter. To be perfectly honest, I wouldn't know what a scant quarter is on this machine because it's got a very nice marker on the foot. It's a quarter inch foot. And I just use it as it is all the while. And you've got a string like that. What we now do is open up the, the pairs and sew the third row on. Now you can't get this wrong, even if you think it's all twisted and it's all going the wrong way, you cannot possibly get this wrong. Take your first one again, just putting the leader in place. Take this third square, third row square, onto the top. And whiz that down. Open up the second pair. And again, because you've got colour, background, colour, background, colour, background, it's another marker, if you like, for you not to get it wrong. Because if you suddenly think you're going to put two colours together, and you know that you won't have two colours together, then you've either picked up the wrong block or you laid them out in the wrong order at the beginning, which is highly unlikely. Right, last seam going in now. And I'm not being very fussy, I'm just rush, rushing down there. The block itself is actually very forgiving. So there we are. Your block now looks like that. I'm going to take this leader off. And the next thing I'm going to do is sew these two seams here. Fold that to there. Now you can, if you want to, nest these seams and pin them. Now I don't normally bother pinning because they do, generally speaking, nest together quite nicely. But I would suggest if you do pin, pin your centre seams of the centre block going inwards and your outer block 
going outwards. That helps a little bit with the pressing, but in all truth, I did have to repress a few seams later when I put the original one together. Again, quarter of an inch seam, just making sure that where the seams meet, one's going one way and one's going another. It reduces the bulk in the corners and gives you a much nicer finish than having lumps and bumps all over the place. Now, if I just lift that up, there's your centre. This one goes over. And you can see that the centre seams are going in. So those are the ones on the bottom, or will be on the bottom. So just pin to hold it in place. And pin again just to make sure that they don't move about. Because you do want nice sharp corners, if you can. Okay, that's that finished. I'll just take this leader off and then we'll press it. Now I'm going to press from the back. Making sure these two centre seams are going inwards. Just giving it a little help to stay in the right place. And I've managed to get that folded up in the wrong bit there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that, it won't be the end of the world. And then I'll turn it over and give it a final press on those seams from the right side. There we are. Having pressed everything, I'm now ready to cut this up. We want two and a quarter inches from that seam there to cut straight down the middle. And you can check that you're level with a second ruler, putting your two and a quarter mark on the high side of the seam. And when you're ready, just go ahead and cut down. You'll come out with two pieces. Cut this one two and a quarter again off that seam on the high side. No need to check for centre on this because it's going to be right. And again, the second piece two and a quarter on the high side of the seam. There you go. And that gives us four quarters of the same block. We're now ready to lay them out. I'll move these things out the way and then you can see very quickly what the layout is going to look like. And these are the ones I prepared earlier, so I'm just going to very quickly pop them on the table. Now we don't want that next to that because that's butterflies. That's okay. And you will do a bit of fiddling about like this until you get it just right, just where you want it to be. Your grid is five by seven for, there we go, five, 
and then we can start again. One, two, um, actually we'll move that out and put something else in its place, then what this one will do. Two, three, and you can see what's happening. The grid is beginning to form as we're working. You will do a lot of fiddling with this until you've got it right. See, I don't want that there because it's next to another paisley. I'm not so keen on having that there because there's a, another flowery one there. So you'll fiddle around until you get a, a layout that you're happy with. I'm just going to quickly put these into position so you can... You get the idea of what's happening. And then when you're ready, you're ready to sew the rows together again. The final edging strips, which are these subunits that you've been making up. There'll be 12 of those to go down this side and then across the bottom. And that very last little square is going to go here in this corner. So there you go. There you have it. Hope you enjoy it. Fantastic. There you go. Yes, if you want to get to yours now, well, we've sold out of the kit, but we do have the patterns available for you. It's on the Pick and Mix. It's a 12 99 You get to pick any two, so you can have this one alongside other patterns. Pick and Mix, any two, 12 99 And remember, because we've got the four for three deal, if you went for four Pick and Mixes, which is eight patterns, you'll be getting two of those patterns for free. Uh, right. We're going to take you to some of the items that we've got left on the show. We're having a busy show today, which is great for our Sue, who's sunning up in the south of France with a baguette and some cheese, no doubt, and some olives. Oh, it makes me hungry. It makes me, oh, I could do with some port salut, a baguette, or some chai batter, and some olives. Just give me a moment to think of that. Right, I'm back in the room. Okay. Uh, we have got um, a lovely quilting kit for you now, uh, and this is using uh, Thigh Veg Quilting Henry Glass Pinwheels. Henry Glass, uh, well-known designer for fabrics, and you've got the designer fabrics just here. Oh, Catherine's in the studio. You might have just heard her, actually. All right, Catherine. <laughs> yeah. Did you just fall over? No. Oh, okay. She went to the wrong set, bless it. It's going it's to happen quite a lot. You're with Catherine for four hours. Yeah, all the help you can get. Uh, <laughs> Are you kidding? Am I? I don't know. Uh, so with your quilt, £58.99, pence, you get the pattern. And it's going to be easy for you to follow. You can see the design behind me using this beautiful designer fabric. Really nice colourway and tones with this. Different patterns on each of the fabrics, but they work so beautifully together. Two payments, though, of £29.50 pence makes this affordable. And it's a great little kit to start working on. All you need is your batting, uh, your, your wadding... <laughs> And you're backing. Um, we've also got the same pattern right here. See what happens when Catherine walks in the room. Just everything goes to pop. We can't think straight. Uh, and then you've got your blue denim with the lovely paisley designs on there. Um, you've got your flowers, your butterflies. Again, you've got the instructions to follow. And that beautiful fabric with the butterflies on. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? 228752. I want to thank Sue Ems for joining us on the show. I want to thank Thai Veg, that's how you pronounce it, um, for another fantastic show here on Hochanda. Do check out your baskets. Make sure you get everything you want. We've had a very busy morning and we've got more to come. Yes, we have. So go and grab yourself a cup of tea. I'm going to get some cake on the way home, I think. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Coming up 
Up next, yes, Catherine's here for the next four hours. Heartfelt creations, then Elizabeth Craft designs one day special, and then back to Spellbinders. Stay with us. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We are both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Addison Sparkle produce paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. The future for Addison Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Addison Sparkler shows on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire and what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path.
joining here. Yes, you've got me for the next few hours. And we are still, of course, celebrating VE Day. Have you still got the bunting out at home? That's what I want to know. Now, of course, we've got an event going on as well, so don't forget about that. It is for for the price of three. Of course, you need to put the code into the box if you're taking advantage of that. The quote, uh, the code there is at the bottom of the, the squ screen, quote, VE443. Right, you're far better reading that than me telling you because I've got tongue-tied. Never mind. Right, now we've got heartfelt creations for you during this hour, some fabulous dives. We've got lots to choose from as well, so don't forget with that event, some great offers as well. Now, the first one we're looking at is our Heartfelt Creations Ticket and Tax Die Set. Nine dies in total, absolutely beautiful. I've got a board here to show you as well. These are just fabulous, whether you're cutting from your plain card stock or whether you're using the papers within your Heartfelt books or your own papers, it doesn't matter. Great shapes to work with, of course. Always very, very useful. Nice that you've got those borders and also the eyelets as well. Lots of different shapes and sizes of the tags. Very useful, great for just to use small sentiments, but also as uh, individual toppers as well, or for actual gift tags. 19.99 is the price on this one. 127.599. Uh, now, just to give you a reminder as well, we've got a lot on the show today. Everything will be dispatched from the 18th of May. 18th of May, because they're coming from America, of course. Now, we've got much more than that. We've got another lovely set for you here. Uh, now, we've got some more tags for you. For, Fair different many um, shapes and sizes in this one as well. I've got another board to show you and some lovely samples. Uh, some large tags in this one, actually. So this is our tags and accents die set. Twelve dies in total. Love those decorative corners. Very nice indeed. You've got that border in there as well. You've got the little little headers to the tags there, which are really sweet as well, aren't they? Really lovely. Let me show you one or two samples, because, of course, mixing these with your papers, with your decorative dies, your flowers, you can create something beautiful. Whether, again, you're making tags or you wanted to make those toppers and put backgrounds to them, they work in so many different ways. Again, 19.99 for this set. Great price there for 12 individual dies, 251918. Then moving down again. Oh, we've got the ornamental tags for you next. Now, lots of dies in this set again for you. In fact, we've got 11 dies in this one. Same price, 19.99, but lots of lovely sort of shapes and accents here. Look at this. So you've got some wording in there. You've got the decorative elements in this one as well. Uh, the gift for you there, if you wanted to snip that away, you could do, do and just use, use the frame there as well, but it's nice to have that option. You've got some lovely sort of flourishes in those decorative elements there. And again, you've got um, various different shapes and sizes to work with. These are just one or two examples on the board showing how you can cut from your cardstock or your papers. And again, let's bring in some samples to show you. Look at that. Those decorative elements work so beautifully. Here we are, look, a gift for you. Isn't that gorgeous? Really, really nice. So think about what you've already got that these are going to team with, and you can be building something very special with them. 602-959 is the item number for that particular set. Now, moving down again. Oh, these are nice as well. Very, very useful, in fact. You've got your arrows and banners. Now, the, the arrows and banners will nest together, but, of course, you can use them individually as well. So you've got many options in those. Really like to use arrows and banners myself um, they're nice just to put little sentiments on to poke out from sprays of flowers or you know to to place behind a topper uh, a banner across the bottom of a card the side of a card it doesn't matter just a great set <clears throat> Got frog's back. He's not been around for a while. Seven dies in this set. 19.99 is the price on this one as well. 013002. Lovely. Now the next set. Very decorative indeed. We've got lots of samples to show you for this one as well. This is lovely. I remember when this was on before and I thought how beautiful it was. You've got the booklet frames. Now there are three dies in here, but these are really good sized dies. Again, you can nest them together, but you can also use them individually as well. Lovely price at $24.99 because there's so much you can achieve with this. And it's not just about your cards. Look at this for a home decor piece. You know, if you were to gift that rather than a, a basic card, well, nothing's basic about these shapes, actually, but rather than just a card, a little bit of MDF going on there. That's going to stand beautifully, isn't it? What a lovely idea. Again, teamed with your flowers from Heartfelt or your other dyes, your other elements that you've got there, your stamps, these are going to work beautifully. Just going to show you various different samples here because there's lots of different shapes and sizes that you can create from this one set, depending on how you nest them together or if you want to use them individually. 
very ornate so i'm thinking you know great for wedding cards anniversary cards those real special occasion cards very nice indeed look at that isn't that gorgeous i'm just going to show you the actual board of the dies themselves so you can really see how they look individually because it can get a little bit confusing when you see everything together there we are i could turn that the other way up as well if it like that so you can have it that way that's probably the way you'd want it actually so three individual sizes there all very decorative if you wanted to snip away some of that decorative framework you could do as well and have the basic pages as well 24.99 is the price 703023 you're loving that i'm not surprised there's a lot you can do with that one now i did say you could take away those frames if you wanted to but we do have a basic set for you so if you're going for the decorative one and you want that precision cut then this is the set that you need now there's six individual dies in this one so this is going to give you really your basic shapes or your pages your extra pages i'm thinking use the decorative ones if you're going for that and make little books make little albums as well these could be your pages inside but whether you want to use them as your your full sort of base card you can do teams there with the decorative frame that works very very well do you know again absolutely beautiful mix and match them uh, you can just go for the basics on their own but we've got samples here that are using the frames as well so it gives you those options absolutely beautiful again can't think of anything better than to team with your heartfelt creations papers and of course those beautiful flowers that you can create as well aren't these stunning let me just turn that to the side so you can see the depth of that as well. Absolutely beautiful. You can make a little stand to go with that. Let me show you the board of all the individual shapes that you're getting in there because it is nice to see those as they are individual, actually. So uh, you, I think it may help spring to mind what you can achieve. There we go. Fabulous. 19.99 is the price, 207.379. Now, the next one, another decorative one. This is pretty. Oh, this is really nice. Uh, we've got here the eyelet lace frames. Now, there are three dies in this one, but you've got a sizable die included in here, as well as those smaller elements as well. Really pretty, I've got to say. $23.99 is the price of this one. How beautiful is that? Absolutely stunning. Again, there's options, though. You, you could cut into that in a different way. Completely different sample there. Something a little bit more cutesy, but still using one of the frames there. Lovely set again. 068537. Maybe you've missed out on some of these uh, sets before and you're seeing them back in stock because we do have a lot of sellouts with Heartfelt when we bring their items to the show. We'll see here at Achanda. Now, the next one. More beautiful frames. You've got the intricate swirl frames next. These are nice as well. Now, I like this set because you've got, you've got a decorative back piece, so to speak, there, but you've got that solid area, so it really does give you a good base. And then you've got the centre one, or the middle size die there, which makes a lovely overlay. And then you've got the more intricate, smaller die there as well. But you can use them all individually again. And think about ways of mixing with your other dies and papers and stamps as well. Isn't that gorgeous? Do you know, you must have, if you collect the heartfelt creations, you must have so many lovely backgrounds that are going to work with these dies. If you want to cut out apertures and things like that. Just stunning. Every single one of the samples that I'm seeing here are completely different. Different colourways, different papers, different uh, decorative elements being used, but they're all beautiful. £23.99 if you want to go for the swirl frames. 135179. And we keep going. We've got more for you. It gets better and better, doesn't it? Now, the next one. Now, these are useful. You've got your framer card leafy borders here. Now, these are great because I can see there with those individual frame elements, you can piece these together so you can make your full frames. You've got the mitered edges, so to speak, there as well. But beautiful detail in them. I haven't got a sample of these, unfortunately. But I think you can probably picture those. Just imagine mitering those together, putting the framed, those diagonal edges together to build those frames up you can use them individually you can go with just two in a corner you've got that lovely corner uh, kind of doily effect going on there as well which is really useful you could put four of those together and make a full a full doily if you wanted to so again lots of different ways of working with this one 23.99 is the price on that one two zero three five seven six now we've got more for you we've got some rectangle bases for you always very useful because of course you need those bases don't you and a lot of the dies that we've seen will will work beautifully with these uh, now you have got how many dies we've got in this one 
Oh, we've got 10 in this one, 10 individual dies. I'm just going to turn it round just so you can see on the back, there's some measurements for each of the dies there as well. Lovely. You've got some detail around some of those. Lovely stuff. So great set to go for this one. If you want those base dies, £23.99 for this one. A lot of uh, die metal there for your money. That's for sure. 153698. Don't forget, it is four for the price of three as well. If you put that code in, don't forget that code, VE4 for three. And you will basically get one for free, won't you? The lowest price one that you put in your basket will be the one that you get for free. So do bear that in mind. Uh, moving along, we've got another lovely die for you here. This is very ornate. I like this one a lot as well. Lovely oval shape as well. I've got a gorgeous sample to show you, but again, there's so many options and different ways you could work with this one. So you've got your decorative oval die, 19.99 for this one. Really, really lovely, isn't it? Again, that makes me think of uh, very sort of posh cards, very, very nice wedding cards, anniversary, special occasion cards. But actually, they would work nicely in frames as well. Always don't, don't ever forget about your home decor projects as well because you can use your dies so easily in those as well. 19.99 is the price. 0.92125, and we'll keep going because we've got oh these are nice as well. So many beautiful dies here. Um, got a couple of boards to show you as well. Uh, one board with two sets on actually. So let me show you this one first of all. You have got your swirly accent spray die set. There are 12 dies in total. That's what it's telling me there, but I can't see 12 in the packet. Swirly Accent Spray. Ooh, it does say 12 pieces. So these must be kind of borders and inners. Do you know what? I'm going to open this because I think we need to see this. We haven't got an actual... The board hasn't got 12 dies on this see. So let's have a look what we've got inside. I do like to know what I'm talking about. I think it is. I think it's because we've got the main dies and then we've got the borders that come separate as well. Let's have a little look. Yes, they do look. So you can see you've got that outer border there. Actually, ah, now I get it. Oh, this is a nice set, really. Uh, because what you've got, if I just explain, this is going to be the same on all the pieces by the looks of it. You've got the main decorative die. Then you've got the corner piece, and then you've got the piece that also cuts out sort of the uh, scalloped edge as well, if I get that the right way around. So you've got options, so you can cut into your card or out of your card as well. That gives you lots of options. So if you don't use the cutting edges, you can cut the decorative elements out of your card pieces without removing the total piece. But if you want to make your fancy corners and use them individually, then you put the edges on there as well. So that now makes a lot of sense. But you couldn't see that on the board. But you can see we've got some samples here as well. So there are 12 individual dies in there if you take that all into account. So a very useful set. Again, lots of options, lots of scope with it. 19.99, a great price for 12 dies. 588797. Very nice indeed. I'm going to leave that out just in case I come back later. Let's uh, just put that there for a second. Right, we've got another one for you as well. Um, oh, another lovely sort of flourishy swirly one. This is your swirly border accents. There are six dies in this one and it looks like and now I've seen the previous one, I can see this is going to be the same. So you've got uh, the die that's going to cut into your cardstock, or you can use the framework and cut directly out of the cardstock as well. So six individual dies in that one. 19.99 is the price, 259.909. We've got lots to choose from, haven't we? So if you've missed out on anything, I've got to keep reminding you, don't miss out on the video. I just don't want you to lose out on that. So if there's three that you really, really love, choose that fourth one because you're not going to pay for the fourth one. Whichever one is the lowest price, and lots of them are the same price, actually, at 19.99. Many of the die sets are 19.99. You will get one of those sets for free. You just need to remember to put the code in. Now, we've got demos coming up. We've got the lovely Nikki. Nikki Craft, here she comes. So for this demo, I'm going to show you how beautiful and intricate the booklet frame dies are. In the booklet framelit dies, you are actually getting three dies in total that are going to create absolutely gorgeous decorative like book dies. So I've got some here. So I'll show you on the board here. You can see how decorative they are. You've got three sizes in total. 
And then if you use those along with your booklet basics, which are these ones here, you can create even more stunning cards with these. So you've got five different size pages in total, and then you've got your centerpiece there that goes down the spine of your book. So if I just show you one here, this is the kind of thing that you can create. You can layer it up. You can use just two of them. You can use just one of them, or you can use like I've done, and I've used two of the decorative and then all three or just one of the no I'm not, sorry I've used two of those booklet basics there and use that part there down the spine of my card so I'm just going to show you how beautiful these actually die cut out so I've got some cream card that I'm going to use my basics with and the size I'm going to go for on this one it's going to be the small and then I'm going to use my smallest of the decorative ones to cut out in my gold. Now these are decorative dies so depending on your die cutting machine you may have to put them through several times maybe turn them a little as well. It all depends on the machine you've got so I'm just going to pop this one down on here. And just put just one piece on there on my cream so I'm going to take my die cutting machine I would probably suggest you use an A4 die cutting machine for the larger ones of the booklet frame dies on the decorative ones because they are quite big and they only just fit on these so you wouldn't have the ability to actually turn it around just if that hasn't quite caught in places because it all depends on where the pressure is on your actual individual die cutting machine so i'm just bringing that through and then i'm just going to lift it up and have a look to see if that's die cut out all of mine just got a tiny piece at that top so i'm just going to take that through once more and bring that through the back there I think that's actually cut out beautifully. So I'll just pop that down. Just clean my base because I am going to do some bit more die cutting in a minute. So put that down. And as you can see, that just falls out of these dies. So we all know that heartfelt creations bring us lots of stamps and dies that coordinate with papers but every now and again they bring us these gorgeous decorative dies that we can use in so so many different ways and they really do take your crafting to another level as you can see i'm just popping through all those bits that haven't quite come out so you'll just need a pokey tool for that really pretty dies these are something a little bit different if you want to create something very special for maybe mother's day or christmas cards these make absolutely gorgeous christmas cards depending on what color you die cut them out in and of course you can die cut them out in pattern paper too so there's my smaller one so I'm just going to go ahead and die cut out that one there. So this is from the basics, the booklet basics die set. This one will only need to go through once because it isn't a decorative die. So just take that through your die cutting machine. And that gives me my last page that I'm going to pop into my book so there's lots of different ways that when you're actually putting your book together if you want to make it into a three-dimensional card you're going to need two of those larger ones but what I've done is I've just glued them at the top and that creates a card that I can actually stand up or you can make like a stand for it so I've done that on here I've created like a 
stand for the back and that's just going to stand up once I've finished. So I'm just going to open that up and now I'm just going to put these on my card. So I'm starting off with this one and I'm scoring it. Now there's lots of different ways that you can put this on. You can leave those flapping, you can glue them like that so they kind of curl those pages or you can just add some foam tape. So I'm just going to add a bit of foam tape on each of these and I'm going to go ahead and do all of these whilst I'm here. So just fold again, depending on the thickness of your card you might need to use a bone folder and a scoreboard. And then finally that small one I'm going to do in exactly the same way and just add a small piece of foam tape just on the edges of those pages of my book. Then I've got these decorative book clip dies that I've already gone ahead and die cut out. So I'm going to do exactly the same with these, just fold them and then just add my foam tape to the back of them. And this is going to add dimension to your book once it's finished. So just need a piece of foam tape on each end of those dies that I've just die cut out. And then we can start putting it together. So there's my base. That's going to be flat. I'm going to take my tape off of these and then I'm going to put some glue down the spine of my page and just making sure I do it the right way so you want the point at the bottom and then I'm just going to lay that flat pushing up slightly so that just lifts off the page and then I'm going to go in with my next decorative part take that foam tape backing off and glue just down that spine just a tiny piece of glue you can use a glue gun if you want to and then I'm just going to pop that down as you can see now you can see how you're creating a really gorgeous dimensional book and it's up to you when you stop it depends on how many layers you want to use I'm going to use all of my layers just to show you how gorgeous these look when they're put together. I think anyone would love to actually receive one of these. Just make sure that sticks down the middle. And then finally, I've got my smaller last page from the booklet basics. going to pop that down there and there you can see just look at the dimension on that now absolutely stunning and because I've created that back I can stand that up as you can see there you can see where that's standing up and I've not had to cut out a second part but obviously if you wanted to make more of a card you're going to need two of those larger ones and then you can just decorate it up you can put some flowers on there if you want to maybe just one flower and this is one of the tags that I've used so this tag is from the ticket and tag dies that we've got on the show today you can see there look I've added a pearl but there's the die and this was just die cut from your paper pad so I can just pop that on there and that's going to make a really pretty card for any occasion. Oh, thank you, Nikki. That was absolutely gorgeous, that card, wasn't it? Of course, very busy, actually, I've got to say, on those uh, book dies as well, the decorative frames and the bases. We'll see those again in a little while. But let's give you another reminder of where we started, because we, it, the tickets and tags is actually one of the dies that uh, I believe Nikki was using there. It could have been from one of the other. We've got three different sets, actually. But here we have ticket and tags. She did say it was from this one. There we are. 19.99 is going to get you nine dies. I'm just going to show you the board again then. As 
because Nikki did say there, think about using your paper pads as well. If you've got bits left over, check to see if any of those dyes match up with your sentiments or the shapes that you got within those books as well, uh, because they do look beautiful, don't they? But of course you can use your playing card, you can stamp on your card and die cut that as well. It's entirely up to you. Nineteen ninety nine is the price for that one. One two seven five nine nine if you want to go for that particular set. Now the next one, ooh, got some lovely samples here actually. We've got the tags and accents for you here. So these are lovely. There's much more than the tags in there. You've got those sort of decorative frames again. You've got little tags with the holes in each end so you could put ribbon through there or string through there. You've got corners in there, decorative border as well which you could elongate if you wanted to let me show you the board again so you can see exactly what you're getting because there's 12 individual dies in this one those corners are so pretty I'm just thinking if you're making an album do you know wouldn't and putting photos in how lovely to have corners like that to hold your photographs in place or just use them as nice decorative corners on your pockets and things like that as well gorgeous uh, a couple of samples again let me just show you these just so you can really get to grips with what you can achieve with these 19.99 is the price item number 251918 there you are you can go as fancy and decorative or as plain as you want with those absolutely beautiful uh, next down we've got some more beautiful sort of accent dies for you here again uh, these are the ornamental ones so a little bit of wording in some of these as well which can be snipped out if you want to but again if you want to stamp or print out some sentiments and then die cut out you can do kind of got that badge sort of shape in there as well which is very useful nice to add these to your your gifts and your parcels as well as your cards and your albums love those decorative frames at the bottom uh, so lots to go with on this one as well 11 individual dies on that one really decorative where's that card that I had earlier oh it's the a gift for you on there I love that look at that isn't that pretty absolutely beautiful 602959 if you want to go for this particular set then moving down we have those borders and arrows or arrows and banners as it actually says on the package in there uh, so you've got seven individual pieces in this one nice to see that those those borders or the arrows actually nest together so you can layer them up but of course they will work individually as well really handy set I do love to use borders uh, banners and arrows on my cards great places to put your sentiments and kind of shape them as well give them a little bit of movement 1999 is the price on this one seven individual dies zero one three zero zero two now of course Nikki in the demonstration there was using the decorative frames here that we've got for the for making those beautiful beautiful booklets gorgeous these are three individual frames different sizes so they nest together beautifully you could use them individually if you want I actually think this is the sample that Nikki had in the demonstration video there it looks like it certainly is isn't it pretty really pretty i'm just going to turn that around so you can see that stand at the back as well so you can see how to achieve that because it's such a lovely idea but of course there's much more than that one card you can create there's lots of different styles you can make it very very decorative if you like you can keep it plainer you can put your flowers on there you can go with a whole spray or just keep the flowers individual or of course you can work with your mdf as well i'm going to turn this round actually so you can see how those little bits on the back have been put on just those individual elements there which makes it look more elongated and kind of pulls everything together, doesn't it? Very nice indeed. 703-023 is the item number. Three dies you're getting, as I say. Let me just show you once again that board. I'm going to turn it that way just so it's easy for the camera, but obviously you're going to have them the other way up. But it gives you an idea there of what you can achieve and the sizes that you're getting. There we go. Now, if you want to go for the plainer pages, the base pages, we've got those as well. So this is your booklet basics really nice you've got actually more dies in this one you've got six dies in total so again they're going to nest together it gives you the option of making various different size booklets uh, you could make your albums with these as well you could really sort of play around with these and create lots of different things 19.99 is the price for this one 207379 I've got some more samples now you can see those basics being used but also teamed with the decorative frames as well you don't have to go for both but I think if you can afford to then why wouldn't you because it really does make a stunning stunning finished job doesn't it gorgeous 1999 if you want to go for the basics 207379 then moving down we've got more beautiful decorative frames for you really like this one actually very very nice indeed three individual dies for you 
absolutely gorgeous again it's one of those die sets where if you want to keep it very simple the die is going to do all the work for you but if you want to make it a little bit more extravagant then of course you can add those finishing touches yourself with the flowers with ribbons with sentiments it's entirely up to you i'm just looking at that one a little bit closer actually this sample just to see how that's been done right that's been cut right out of the card and then acetate underneath there and layered back on top which is a really lovely effect beautiful but you do get other dies in there as well you kind of get a smaller medium and a large in there but they all do their own job perfectly and you can team these with any any occasion card and also any theme whether it's cute whether it's very sophisticated whether it's floral it's entirely up to you 23 pounds and 99 pence for that one zero six eight five three seven don't forget that uh, code I'm thinking here, I know a lot of you are going for the booklet dies. That's two already. If you wanted to put that third one in, you're going to get the fourth one free, free of course. So uh, you need to quote VE4 for three. Whether you're doing that online or you're speaking to someone from the call centre, just make sure you give that, uh, that code there. Right, next up, we've got another lovely set, very decorative again. You've got your intricate swirl. Now, I like this one a lot because you have got kind of that solid base with the decorative edge. Then you've got that lovely decorative overlay, and then you've got the smaller one. So together, they work absolutely beautifully, but they will also work individually as well. So again, it gives you lots of options. So different cards here to show you. Isn't that pretty? Now take note of the frame behind the back there because you can take out the centre, it doesn't have to remain as a solid, you can take the back piece out there and then, you know, just layer these together, they look beautiful. Using your papers again, using your backgrounds, shadow boxes would be very nice with this one as well, put a little bit of depth between the layers create something amazing. £23.99, item number 135179. Now, another one of my favourites, actually, is the next one, because I can see lots of different ways of working with this. I love the fact that you're getting different borders here of different lengths, but you have got that leafy sort of effect running through there, so you can see that they will work together. So what I'm looking at here is, if I just explain what's in my head, you've got the mitred edges there, those diagonal edges, which means you can put those frames together, so you can create squares if you want to go with four all the same but if you teamed up a longer one with a short one you're going to make the rectangles so you've got the options there as well now i'm just going to have a closer look at this because it's saying nine and dies in total and i can see why because once again you're getting those cutout dies those plainer edge dies which means that you can cut these directly into your cardstock so you've just got the decorative element within the caster, or you can cut them out and create those frames separately. So again, a lot of dye for your money here. And you've got that beautiful sort of corner fl uh, floral doily effect as well, which can be sort of mixed and matched as well. If you wanted to create half or a full version of that, you could do. $23.99 is the price for this set. Really good buy that one. 203576 is the item number. Then we have all oh, the basics and the rectangles. Now these are great because you've got the nesting ability here with them. You can use them individually. Some of the dies have got a decorative edge to them as well, which is really nice. They're called eyelet rectangle and basics because that's the name of the decorative elements there, the eyelet. Lovely, lovely detail there. I think you can see that through the front of the packaging as well. You're getting 10 individual dies here. Uses portrait or landscape way. Really lovely die set. Twenty-three ninety-nine is the price for this one. One five three six nine eight. There we go. Then another very nice decorative die coming up for you. This is a lovely oval actually. And again, if you wanted to snip into this, you could do. Do you know? Putting that another colour underneath there is going to give you that sort of open lace work look as well. Very decorative piece, this one. Uh, lovely shape and size. Nineteen ninety-nine is going to get you the decorative oval die. And the item number is 092125. And of course, you could use that oval either way up as well. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, moving down. Another lovely set because you've got so much free money in this one as well. Now, this is the one that threw me because I'm looking at the front and thinking, well, I can't see 12 dies. So if you didn't see the first trip down the counter, I'm just going to remind you why you've got the 12 dies in here. Again, it's another one of those that will cut out of the cardstock. If you want to use the, what I'm going to say is the plain edge dies because you've got those border dies. So you can cut the decorative pieces right out. But you could also just take away those plainer dies and just use the decorative ones, which leaves that beautiful lace work within your cardstock. So you've got those options once again. So if I show you the board here, 
I'm going to hold it that way just so it's easy for the camera. We have actually got the next set coming up on this board as well. But there's more dies than you first imagine have been used there because these have been cut right out. So you'd use the decorative dies and the planar dies as well to create those total cutouts. So lots and lots of options again. A lovely sample to show you once again here. Don't know who made this because I know a lot of the samples come in from the design team, but also Nikki does a lot herself. So whoever's done it, absolutely lovely. That goes along with everything we've seen on the show. 588797 is the item number if you want to go for that particular die set. And then finally on the counter, we've got those gorgeous swirls here. I did just show you them on the board. I'm going to bring them back in again. They are beautiful. Once again, you can cut out, as, as you can see here, cut totally out, or don't go with the outer die and just cut those swirls into the cardstock to leave that decorative effect there. So in this one, you have got six individual dies. It is your swirly border accents, and the item number is 259909. There we go. Let's have another demonstration from our Nikki, of course. I wonder where she's going to go next. Oh, in fact, we're just going to quickly... Oh, she's, she's ready and waiting, I believe. So I just want to show you how all of those ticket and tag dies, the album tag and accents die set, the ornamental tags all work with your papers. So here you have one of those dies. And as you can see, oh, it's the smaller one because you have got your mat and layers in here as well. These are going to cut out all of those elements on the back pages of your papers doesn't matter what paper it is this is the cottage garden but I've also got the French cottage here and I can use these in exactly the same way they all fit perfectly rather than fussy cutting them out maybe you're not very good at cutting I know I'm not you've got your circle there that's going to fit over this one if I just lay a few of these over you'll be able to see how they actually work so if you've often wondered how we all cut all of myself and the design team cut these out perfectly this is how we use all of these dies that we've got on the show today to cut out these tags and sentiments you've got your small one there look so there's no fussy cutting at all there's other elements within your paper pad that you're going to find that these work with as well but of course you can use them on their own so when you use them on your own, their own, so you've got this one here, which if I just take you through some of what we've got here. So I've die cut these out and I do believe these are the album tag and accents die set. There you have that element. So you can cut it out of your paper pad, but you can also cut it out of your decorative papers, your plain papers to create just an accent on your card. So you can put your sentiment on there or maybe make a beautiful floral arrangement on there as well. So I'm just going to show you how you can use these to make a card. So I'm also using the, I think, let me have a look because I know we've got this on the show. This is your decorative oval. Okay, look how pretty that is. I've also got another one here that I've put a backing on as well just so that you can see how all of these dies that we've got on the show today all coordinate beautifully together. This is a really, really pretty oval. So I'm going to be using my oval. Just going to take some card. So this is some papers from the Asta collection. We don't have any papers on the show today. This is a special show that we've got lots of different dies on. just wanted to show you how you can use all of these now it's just choosing now which one I put on I was going to put the green one but I think I'm going to go with the gold one so I'm just going to decoupage that up just using a few pieces of foam paper so mixing and matching your cardstock that you've got your papers that you have in your collection and just using some decorative dies so there's that one that I just showed you that die cuts out from your paper pad, but also you can layer it up because you've got that really nice mat and you can mat and layer that up as well. So I'm going to pop that in the center and then I'm just going to add a sentiment. My sentiment's just going to come over the edge slightly. 
on there. So again, this is from your Asta collection. And just pop that there. In actual fact, I wanted that that side. And then just add a few flowers. These are from, again, my Asta collection. And as you can see, using your decorative dies, using those tags and your accents and all those dies that we've got on the show, you can create a beautiful card. So I'm just going to glue these down. I know we don't have the papers on the show today, but I just wanted to show you how you can use lots of the dies that we've got on the show and create a really pretty, gorgeous card. Just lift that up. So that's using your decorative oval and your die from your, I think it's from the ornamental tag um, die set, but it may be the album tag accents set. I'm not quite sure, but just take a look at what we've got on the show beautiful aren't they absolutely gorgeous and of course we saw Nikki there showing you how you can use our first set with those papers I've said it earlier but I'm sure because there's a lot of people that follow heartfelt creations you buy a lot of the paper pads we know many of you always put an extra paper pad in and when you've used certain elements you have those off cuts have a look check how many of those little tags you've got because you may need this set you can cut them out beautifully because you've got all those different set shapes and sizes so you've got your ticket and tags die set here nine individual dies you will You'll find those elements to cut out on your pages, but of course you can use them for so many other things as well. £19.99 pence is the price for this set. 127599 is the item number that you need. And we have got the board again just to show you. So you can see that uh, you know you can use those paper pads. You can see where you can find those elements. But it isn't just about those. Using your, your regular cardstock, your decorative cardstock, anything that you've already got, they're going to work as well. So a lovely set there. As is the next one we've got for you. So if you like the theme of the tags, if you want to be able to cut those shapes out, we've got another one for you as well. It is different in style. I love the fact that you've got the border on this one and those beautiful corners as well, because it does open up those options. I do like to think of making albums with pretty decorative edges and uh, sort of pocket folds and those fo corner photos as well. I'm just going to hold that that way so we can see it a little bit easier for you as well. Of course, you can use these whichever way you want. As long as you've got the wording going the right way, when you put them into your cards or your books, you'll be all right. There we are, $19.99 for this one as well, for your tags and your accents. I'm just going to pick up one of the samples again, just to show you how you can use those tags and accents in different ways. Teaming again with your other die sets and your other papers. 251918 is the item number for that one. Now, we're still staying with kind of the accents and the tags and the embellishments and that sort of thing again. But these are lovely because these are your ornamental ones. So a little bit of wording in with these as well. Uh, absolutely fabulous. So you can cut away the wording if you didn't want it, if it wasn't appropriate for what you were using it for. I'm going to point out the two at the bottom as well because these are really nice. You've got the open work there and you've also got the solid. Now you could layer those together, offset them a little bit to give that shadow effect. You could use them totally individually as well. You've also got the cutout piece that comes from the bottom one there which you could stamp directly onto and put back in place or use separately. So do think of other ways of working with these, not just how they first appear because you're getting a lot of dies in that one again 11 dies in total item number 602959 I love the fact that you get the option of using the wording but it's so easy to snip that away if you don't want it you've got the best of everything as you can see on our sample that we've got here to show you again Do you know I'm seeing bits of glue I'm just tidying that up Let's have a look. Don't forget, of course, the event. The quote uh, number is still at the bottom there. You need to put VE4 for three. So if you're going for your three most favourite die sets, then choose your next favourite. Pop that into your basket. You're going to get the, the lowest price one free of charge. And I think, if I check this with our producer, it's the lowest price one we've got, 19.99. A lot of them are 19.99. We've got some a little bit more. So it's a great saving. It really, really is. Now, the next one. We haven't got any finished samples that I can see of this one. I really do honestly love to use banners and arrows in my cards. It just gives you those areas that you can put sentiments, you can shape them, you can curl them, you can have them poking out of flower sprays, you can sort of build them behind your layers. It just works beautifully. Again, great for your albums as well. 19.99 for this one, 013002 for that one. Lovely set. 
Uh, seven individual dies in that one. Then the book set. Back to this as well. Been a busy item. Uh, you've got three individual decorative frames in this one. So your booklet frames die set is $24.99. 703023. I know I'm holding that the wrong way, but it just makes it easier for our camera. But you can see the size and the different uh, elements you've got within that decorative framework there as well. I will just show you a lovely card sample again. Do you know what I'm thinking? How lovely for an anniversary. What about a golden anniversary of you using those colours? Isn't that gorgeous? Really lovely. You can make it very decorative or, you know, keep it quite simple if you want to. 703-023 for the decorative frames. If you can afford to go for it and if you're especially going for the offer, I would be putting this one in your basket as well because you've got your basic dies there as well, the booklet frames with your basics because that gives you the pages or you can intermix those, the frames and the plain ones together. They look stunning. Uh, I'll bring a sample in just to show you what I mean there as well because you can see how both sets of being used there. Of course you can make the plainer books if you just want to go for the basic one. $24.99 is going to get you the dies and there are six if you're going for the basic. We've still got the details um, for the frames there. We'll bring the details up for the basic ones for you so you can see those. There we are, 207379, that's the booklet basics. 19.99 again. Before we go any further, give any more reminders, we're going to bring Nikki back in to show you another demonstration. For this demo, I really wanted to show you how you can use all of those ticket and tag dies, your album tag and accents, your ornamental tags. Obviously, the first thing you think about is oh, mini albums. I can create these and I can use them in my mini albums on my scrapbook pages. But you can also make cards with them. You can use your larger tags here for your main card. And create cards with it but you can also create something like this okay so this is a gift box that I created using I think it was the patchwork collection going back about a year ago but I want to make one using the cottage garden collection so what I've used is I've cut out two backgrounds with the larger tag die as you can see there is two different sizes so you're going to need two in white, so I'm going to cut that out. Then I'm using this one. So in your papers, you have got, and I did have that here. I'm not sure where it's gone. Oh, there it is. Look, it's on the back there. In your papers, you have got that back page, like this one, full of lots of different tags and sentiments on there. And all of those dies that I've just discussed with you all fit on here. So you can see the one that I'm using here is this image here. Okay, but of course you can use your own pattern papers. You can make your own tags and sentiments. You don't have to use the ones from the papers. So I'm gonna go through and die cut those out. So as I say, you need two of the large one. So just take my die cutting machine and I'm going to pop that on. So these are quite large, but they will fit on your A5 die cutting machine. So I just need to take that through once because this isn't a decorative die. It's just going to go through. So I only need to take that through once. And there you can see you've got that tag. So, of course, if you wanted to create a card with this, you would cut it out. You could glue it at the top or you could just cut it, um, die cut it across the spine of your card and that will create your tag. Then I need to die cut these out. So I'm just going to put these onto my plate. And I'm going to pop that through my die cutting machine. We'll both fit on my A5 plate. And then when you take these out, you'll see how they mat and layer together. So with all of the tags and um, tickets that you've got in here, a lot of them do actually coordinate together so you can mat and layer these up so with that large tag that I've just done I 
that's as I said you need to two I've cut out with the smaller die some paper from that cottage garden and I'm going to layer that up just with some wet glue and you get that really nice matte and layer on there so I need to do that with both parts to create my box so again I'm just going to add some wet glue and just pop that on there and do the same with my tag but with this one I'm just going to add some foam tape on there and pop that on there and that creates my tag so I've already gone ahead and made a box and basically I'm just going to really show you quickly how to create this and make this into like a tag gift box so I'm going to pop that down that side and I'm going to do exactly the same with this side. And then once that's dry, you can either pop a hole through your tags or you can put a magnet on there or tie it through. But there you have a gift box using those tags and accents. And then on the front, you can add that part. So they all mix and match together. So as I say, what I wanted to show you is, you know, these aren't just for your mini albums or your scrapbooking. You can create gorgeous gift boxes just like this one. Oh, what a lovely, lovely idea again there. I mean, you could put all sorts into there, little sweets, little gifts, gorgeous, great favour boxes as well. Right, let's continue down the counter and see what else we've got on offer. Remember again, I'm just going to remind you again, it is four for three, quote, VE four for three. So as I say, choose your three most favourite dies and then your next one could be your freebie. As long as the price is one of the lower prices, that's what will be taken off. Twenty-three ninety-nine is the price of our next set. This is gorgeous. You've got your eyelet lace frames die set. Very, very decorative indeed. Beautiful. I'm going to show you a closer uh, look at one of the card samples, actually, so you can really appreciate how this has been used. So you've got that lovely, lovely outer frame. Very, very decorative indeed. Absolutely gorgeous. Good size as well. Then we have the medium size frame there as well. Again, very decorative. Then you've got the cutout bit in the middle. So it gives you those options to put your sentiments behind there. You can leave the solid bits in if you want to. Or, of course, you can make them very decorative and have those cutouts. So with this card here, if you look at the outer frame, the large one, that will cut out of your card start. And all that's been done there, that has been put back into place with a piece of acetate. So it looks as though it's been cut into the cardstock, but it hasn't. It's actually been replaced in there, but it gives a really lovely effect. And then a nice base to put your flowers and also the cutout in the middle there, you can put your sentiment that if I just lift that up again, you can see is actually on the inside of the card. Lovely sample, that one. 2399-068-537 is the item number. Now, we've still got decorative frames to show you. Another lovely set, this one. Now, if you like your rectangles, this is a great one to go for. You've got kind of the solid base there, but it's still got a decorative edge. You can take out an aperture out of that if you wanted to. If you wanted to remove some of that cardstock, you can turn it into an actual frame. You've got the overlay there as well. Again, that could be used individually. You've also got, you've also got the, the smaller frame, which again on its own is a great individual decorative element. But you've got a fourth die in this one as well. If I just turn this around, you can see you can take out the centerpiece there as well. So if you want to make it more open, you certainly can do. So another lovely die set there. Lots of different ways you can work with it. Let me just show you this one. So you can see there, you've got the outer frame. Uh, a little bit of paper has been stuck over that, but you could cut a piece out. Also using your backgrounds there as well. Very, very nice indeed. 135179 is your item number for that particular set. Then moving down, we've got those lovely borders for you. One of my favourite ones, this one, and the design in there is gorgeous as well. You've got the leafy borders. Build these together, make your frames, cut in or out of your cardstock so you don't have to use all of the dies in there every single time. You've got those options. You've got a nice set of dies there for 23 dollars 2 
203576. Individually, we have got in that set, we've got nine dies because it is those outer dies that come individual to those fancy areas there, which again means you have got those options of cutting it in or out of your cardstock. Lots you can achieve with that. Do you know we're nearly at the end of an hour? I can't believe how quickly that's gone. 203576 for that one. Check those baskets out. Don't forget that code. I'll be back in a little while. We'll give you the menu in a second, uh, but much more to come. Yes, coming up next, I'm hopping over to the other set. It's Elizabeth Craft Designs One Day Special. Then we're with the Spellbinders. Then we're back with Tracy Hay Stamping. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a channel because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there.
Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Yes, hello, welcome back. Or if you've just joined us, it's great to have your company on this sunny day. Are you still celebrating? Have you still got your bunting up? It would be wonderful if you have. Uh, now, just stay safe. That's the only point I need to make, of course. Now, it is the one-day special. This launched last night from Elizabeth Craft Designs. But I've got to tell you, the designer is Sue Smith. And I've got a lovely little story to tell you about Sue as well, which I just think is so sweet. Uh, we're looking at the one-day special, of course. The time is 12 noon. That means uh, we've got our second show of the day today for the one-day special. Let's take a look at the details first, and I'll tell you a little bit more about Sue. So what we've got here is a fabulous, fabulous bundle. Now what you're getting is the Elizabeth Craft Designs Creative Hand Lettered Complete Stamp Collection. Now Sue did design this. In total, you're getting 54 individual stamps. I absolutely adore the font that's been used here, the size, the style of this. You've got those elements in there as well. Nice, fun, fresh designs. That's what I'm seeing here. The samples are gorgeous. I believe Sue's done them all, if not most of them. Uh, they are just beautiful, and I will show you some samples in a moment. But look at the saving on the bundle. £21 saving. £58.95 is going to get you all 54 stamps. They are fabulous. There's something for all occasions here as well. And we can give you the flexi buy option. We can break that down into two payments of £29.48. Item number three. 32875. Now let me show you some samples as I tell you a little bit about Sue as well. So I'm just going to keep bringing the samples in. They are beautiful. As I say, very fresh, very clean, very contemporary. I'm just going to keep picking them up and showing them as I tell you about Sue because her paper crafting journey started in 2012. So if you think about it, really, it wasn't that long ago, was it? Um, now what Sue did, well, she loves all paper crafts. She loves colour as well. She loves her layouts. And she used to be a caption artist as well and she would design for greeting card companies which is I think you can see that actually as we go through these samples you kind of see that look don't you as though you were going into a store and buying expensive cards from there really beautiful now what uh, what Sue did she created well she fell in love first of all with oh let me get that the right way up um, she fell in love with one of the planners that she saw on Elizabeth Craft shows and she sent, she, she got one, she felt, did it herself, and then she sent or posted her mates onto Elle's page, and Elle saw it and fell in love with it, and then she realised that she did all her lettering as well, and lo and behold, here we are. Sue is now designing her own range alongside Elle's, of course, and bringing them to us at Achanda, which I think is absolutely fabulous. I really do. In fact, I've got, I believe it must be the planner that I'm just talking about. It's here. Uh, let me just show you this because it will work, of course, with the one day special as well. Now, many of you might have these planners, but look at how you can use your stamps inside. It is beautiful. I don't know that this is the very original one because it's got those stamps in here, unless it's been added to. But this is how it all started for Sue. Look at that lettering as well. That is amazing. Very clever lady indeed. Very clever. Just love this. Well, you can create the same sort of look using the stamps, using those techniques, taking inspiration from what you're seeing here in the show by way of the samples. So take advantage of the one day special, take advantage of the flexi buy as well and split those payments down. 332-875, just a reminder of the item number there. But I think we're going to head over and see a demonstration from Sue straight away. Here we go. Hello. Here are the five stamp sets. And this time I think we'll use the Just For You caption because that's one of my favourites. And I might incorporate that with a balloon. So we'll use set one and two. So I'll take these away and we'll use these ones. And here's some of my original artwork from this one. There's the Just For You. That one's more or less the same size, isn't it? And this one I did a lot bigger and it's come out that size. There, just to show you. Right, 
With these, I'm also going to use the stitched um, rounded cornered squares dies, and I've picked out the two biggest ones. So I'd like to die cut those out of smooth white card. So I've got the biggest one here. That's going to be like a matted layer, I think. And then the next layer down, it's actually got different stitch sort of dots. Well, that one's got little lines and this one's got dots. So it's quite nice that they're different. So these map together quite nicely. This gives a bit of texture as well, just to use all the stitched marks. And I'll incorporate that with a, a banner one, fishtail banner. And I've picked the central size of this. And again, this one's got a different stitched pattern again. So I'll die cut that out of the same card. So it all looks quite nice together. So I'll take those away. Let's get stamping. I'm going to use this middle layer. I'll bring in my stamping platform because I have a wooden desk and it's not very level. And also my ink's not brand new either. Okay, I've got a grey one here. I quite like the grey just for a more subtle tone if I don't want it perfectly black. So let's get the Just For You caption. Put that on my bigger stamping block. It over that side because I'm going to use it that side about there. Okay, so I'll start with this with the grey, lots of little taps onto there. Actually, I might even use that to no, that might get in the way, mightn't it? So I'll put that over to the left about there, give it a press and I'm also going to use the second generation stamp slightly offset so probably about there I'll press that one in as well and this is quite a nice idea because it gives you a shadow line now this is very faint and I wanted it faint I don't know if you can see that so that's good and another technique as well, if um, you stamp up your stamp and you use your stamp as it is, I'll just stamp this on a spare piece of paper like that. And if you bring in another piece of paper or card, and if I use that second generation stamp on a nice piece of card, I'll show you what you can do with that later on. Okay, so we'll put those to one side and get rid of our stamp. And I'll just bring in the balloon as well while, we've got, while I've got my ink out. And we'll just stamp the balloon onto the banner in the same grey. I'll have it about there, it doesn't have to be exact. And again, I'm going to just create that little shadow with the second generation stamp, like so. That's my ink, inking and stamping done. Let's take those away. That's it, get rid of my platform. And let's bring in some colour. I've got some pencils here, the coloured pencils. So start with the black. Now because I've done it in grey, I actually want to go over in black on the top section of each letter and just fade it out as I go down on all the thicker areas of the words. It creates like an ombre effect. You can see what I'm doing just with a black pencil crayon. Sit on all the thicker areas. It's just something you can do with these lettering stamps to create a more, make the um, captions a bit more personalised 
to your artistic skills. So you don't have to use them as a stamp. You can use them as a sort of a guideline really to go to go over. Just to create something different with them. So I've done gone over there in the black and now I'm going to use the shadow of the second generation stamp to create some co interesting coloured shadows. So I'm going to colour the whole J here in yellow up to the next letter and we'll create like a rainbow effect I think. So I'm going to go in with orange for this U and I'm just basically colouring in the shadow and then we'll go for the red for the S and it's nice and faint so you won't actually see the stamp of this shadow because I'm just going over it it's very faint so it's just, it just gives you that guideline you know where to colour in it and then we'll go for purpley for the T. That's it. Colour it all in. That's it and the crossbar as well. Like so. I'll go for the green down here. There, round for the F goes right down there, that's it, and round to connect to the O, that's it, and then the dark green for the O, that's it, follow it around, now I'm sure you'll get the idea, blue for the R, there, and then come down here with the dark blue for the Y. Okay. Do a bit of colouring. I'm going to rush slightly now, so you can obviously do a neater job as you do yours. It's nice to do these with the, the bigger stamps, with the bigger size of letters. Okay, so I've run out of colours now, so I'm just going to use my pencil just to do like a grey one for the U here. Colour that U in a grey, just so it's a different, different colour. So that gives you another interesting effect. And then we can build our card up. So let's bring in our matted layer here. So I'm going to put this one onto foam pads. That's it, onto this single matted layer. So it's basically predominantly white, this card. But just that little bit of rainbow effect makes it look nice. I'll also put some foam padding on my banner. Okay, attached that, attach this. So it's nice you've got those little doodle elements, those little drawings as well to use in amongst your captions and your card design. So replace that onto there. And then I cut a white card blank with a top fold. Get my glue. Cut that to size to fit this on. And place this on our card blank as well. There. So all those nice stitched layers add texture. And then we'll just add our banner. And we'll just place that on the right hand side there, just as it is. So it's that's it, just sticks above the card. So there's our card complete. And here's one I did earlier. And this one I've actually used the 
hand-lettered captions as well to stamp the verse inside. There's various different ones, so you don't have to repeat the caption that you've got on the front, just for you birthday wishes. In the grey as well, stamped in the grey. And then this card here is one that Jackie's done for me. Um, and she's used the balloons as well. And she's actually made her own little tails out of very thin black card, which is a cute idea. Sort of similar-ish design, rainbowy use a different caption there are lots of ideas right then let's go quickly go back to this this um, second generation stamp now if you like your hand lettering why not have a go yourself and use this as a template the some of the larger hand lettered captions you can use as a template and practice your hand lettering skills yourself so press down on all the downward strokes to get that thicker line and then fine as you go up. So if you've got any brush pens, why not have a little practice? And use the stamps for your templates. And I'll just show you this one that I've done. And you can play around and use different effects. This one I've gone over in blue and then again a couple of times right on the top, right on the top of the letters to create like an ombre effect. And then I've just highlighted it as well in a, a white gel pen. This one I've just done it as it as I was here, but I've done some shading in pencil all in the same angle and it looks like the caption's sitting up off the paper, doesn't it? So you can play around with interesting effects with shadows. Now this caption, I've continued the flourishing a little bit just to make it look more there, just, just added my own flourishes. And then with the hello, I've just basically got a fine liner end of the brush pen and just gone around the outline and put some dots in the thicker area, coloured in pencil and then used the same pencil to create some more shadows. So you can really have a play and not only use the captions for you know card making but use them for your artwork and hand lettering skills great thank you for watching oh thank you so what a clever lady she is as well she really is here's one of the cards actually from that demonstration there that we've just seen love the fact that you can add your extra flourishes and squiggles there as well you can use the stamps and then you can offset them together by over stamping or by freestyling if you want to 58.95 is the price for one day special you're getting a huge collection 54 individual stamps here not just the words in that lovely style but also those extra elements as well which are so so useful for so many different occasions item number three three two eight seven five lovely value there if you break that down as well now we do have more on the show so we're going to go down the counter and show you some other items as well you may have seen some of these used in the demonstration because of course you've got the gorgeous dies that will work so well with the wonderful one day special with those stamps now i've got lots of samples to show you so we'll go down the counter as well we're going to start here with the nested rectangle and square die uh, now you've got the two different sets there so 18.98 is the price you're saving nine pounds here item number 679603 now you can see there on the details you've got the indented fitted rectangles and squares and you've got the indented stitched rectangles and squares so let's have a really good look at these so we can make sense of what those details are telling us so you can see there there's that must be your indented rectangles there and there's your squares so we've got another set that has got the stitching on them. We'll see if we can get a still for you there. There we go. 18.98 is the price for the set. You are saving that nine pounds, but you've got the choices there of the stitched or the nested indented. So the indented is the one we've got here sat on the counter now. Oh, actually the stitched ones we've got next to them on the counter as well. It's all here, but just make sure that when you look on the website that you are putting the one that you want in there. Uh, there we go there's the item number again let's have a look at the the stitched one so what you've got here you have got that detail of the stitching I, I love this sample actually really lovely really lovely. It's so simple but I just think that is gorgeous with one day special you can make a lot of cards in one go 
if you use especially a, a stamping platform as well so if you've got an occasion coming up that you can of course attend then that would be a good option but for the dies themselves you have got those two choices don't forget the same item number you do need to choose the correct one that you want six seven nine six zero three you can go for both if you want just make sure you put both multiples in um, next same actually we've got the same item number on this one but this is your rounded fitted uh, squares and rectangles there and then we've got the option of the stitched again so we'll have a look at the rectangles there the rounded edge first oh this is clever isn't that gorgeous how clever I'm very very apt of course do love that that's very very clever indeed now there's another sample here but I don't think it actually works I think it's from the previous set so I'm just going to move that and not show you at the moment uh, we have got this one though which works with both the rounded and also the stitched together so you can see those stamps have been used as well but we're looking at the dies at the moment so you can see there on the edge how they've been nested together really lovely so again that 18 pounds and 98 pence details are still on the screen so you've got all those different options four options in total you've got the indented squares and rectangles you've got the stitched squares and rectangles you've got the rounded squares and rectangles and you've got the stitched the rounded stitched squares and rectangles right moving down again now we had we had some lovely um, banners on the last show but I've got to say these are very nice I do really love your banners now then we've got a couple of different item numbers to show you here so let's have a look at the set that we're looking at when you look at the packaging the gray the gray set uh, that's the one we're looking at first five dies in total item number is five two seven zero four five for just 10.99 they nest together you can use them individually as well really really nice size actually and again you can create such wonderful cars just using those just using them and you know I always seem to put my banners and things with sentiments on and use them in conjunction with something else but to put them together individually works really really well I'm just gonna move that one over a little bit so we can see that is a separate item number for this next set so we've got the stitched version here for you there we go we'll change the details for you all that look at that sunflower how clever is that what a clever idea just spotted that there we've got the fitted fishtails die set here 10.99 again lovely price for these 546 514 is the item number and uh, yes you have got the option there if you want to go for that extra detail within the fishtail die set there now coming up next we've got more for you more dies another lovely bundle for you here actually we're getting both of these uh, so we've got again a set here we've got the rectangles now you've got the indented and the stitched together there so if you think back to the earlier set that we had it was one item with four different options this is the same dies but it's kind of a different combination so what you're getting there we'll bring you the details up on the web as well so you can see us still so we not get confused in the studio let's just go over to the website and have a look at these so you can see the details 18 pounds and 98 pence is going to get you these now four different options this is the details you need again fitted indented rectiles and stitched indented rectiles rectiles rectangles <laughs> then you've got the fitted indented squares and stitched indented squares then you've got the rounded rectangles and the stitched rounded rectangles and then you've got the rounded squares and the stitched rounded squares <laughs> rectangles and reptiles are getting mixed up there somehow I don't know quite how I did that six five seven seven one six is the item number so don't forget four options under that particular number as well right okay now the next two there's only one option thank goodness right one item number one option so that makes it very easy zero three six six five eight is the item number for this one you are getting the ovals you're getting the fitted ovals and you're getting the stitched ovals together which of course work beautifully individually or you can use the two sets in conjunction with each other and nest them together in that way 21 pounds and 99 pence again carrying a great saving eight pound is the saving here zero three six six five eight great to work with those uh, stamps from the one day special again as well everything's made to work together which is fabulous 
Oh, I like this. I love the samples. Oh, so if you're watching, if you've done all these, these are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, right, now, the next item number, we have got, again, just the one option under one item number, but you're getting both sets. So you're getting the circles here, the nested circles, or the fitted circles, and you're getting the stitched circles as well. Let me show you these samples. These are really appealing to me. You know, everybody thinks I'm just all glitter and fluff sometimes. I'm not. I do like these simpler cards. I just think they say everything they need to say. What a lovely card that is for Father's Day or or dad's birthday or something or anybody boyfriend anybody girls as well we all wear jeans don't we isn't that fabulous love it uh today is the day oh look that's very apt as well and then of course using the one day special in conjunction with these dies again you've got some beautiful samples here there we are hello there you are lots to choose from everything can be found on the website of course uh different item numbers of course with those multiple items under one number make sure you're putting the right one in your baskets we're going back to sue now to see another demonstration using i believe the one day special probably something else as well we've seen hello right we have the five hand letter stamp sets here again and this time i'm going to use set five and four celebrate and the birthday one so we'll take these ones away and if you notice the this one has a birthday wishes and also a happy as well and you can incorporate the happy on top of the birthday wishes which is what we're going to do on this card but on this set we have another happy which is slightly larger so it's just a happy on its own so i'm going to have a play with this one to create a background Right, so I'm going to do that on a piece of watercolour paper and let me get a piece of paper just to protect my mat. That's it. Okay, let's put that on my stamping block. I should put it on so it's square with my block because that will make it easier. About there. And I'm going to use some fossilised amber distress oxide ink. Okay, all right, so let's stamp. I'm going to just stamp straight onto here because it's not, it doesn't need to be precise. Okay, and start slightly off the page about there. And basically, we're creating a background and stamping all over this piece of paper so go along in a line and i've slightly dropped each word down and i'm going to put this curl it into the y there and do the same so you fill in the whole page with the happy word so loop looping this Y piece into the loop of the previous descender. That's it. So if you create the same sort of area where you're stamping, you can create a nice background pattern. There. So keep going, do the whole page. And the good thing about the oxide inks is that they do stamp well. That's it. I'll just come down here and just do the last last bit here. That's it. Even the little bit here you must do as well. So I need to just do that curl there, everywhere there's a space needs to be stamped. Okay. And then we give it a good spritz. Put my water here, give it a good spritz so that the ink starts to wick and that brighter yellow ink starts to bleed out. I think the, this yellow one works quite nicely with this technique. That's it. There. So I'm going to leave that to dry, take it to one side 
and with that we're going to with our card we're going to use the normal smooth dies the squares with rounded corners let's take that out and we're going to use a craft card blank this is just an a4 piece of card craft card that i've scored folded in half and then the stamped piece that we did was a5 as well okay so i've used the three biggest sizes of dies for this and i'm just this is a nice dry one obviously and i've just die cut with the smallest of the three i've just die cut this out on an angle like a diamond in the top section of the card like so so we're going to use this piece to stamp onto and then also that's moved out of there with the piece that's left i'm going to die cut a frame out of it here so i've just taped my dies onto there and then that leaves us with some interesting pieces if i take this off that's it need all the bits there to one side so we're left with like a nice frame piece like this and these areas here corner areas so we'll put that to one side and we'll work on our stamped caption so put my platform out i'm going to use some versamark for this and then the smaller happy with the birthday wishes caption because they kind of go together so i'll place this one here we'll do the birthday wishes first because they will slightly overlap so we'll have to do one before the other so we'll place this further down you can offer this up just to make sure that it's all going to fit so I think that's probably about right. So I'll we'll do the birthday wishes first. Stamp that in our clear embossing ink. That's it. Let's do it another time just so it's good. That's it. And because the happy words actually got quite a nice sort of darker yellow look about it we'll actually do a nice copper embossing powder caption so we'll do it in a nice copper i think that goes nice with the craft card as well there we go so i'll to use that again i'll just Pop it back in my jar and get my heat tool. Sorry about the noise, let's just set this. There it goes. all done there we go pop it back in here change that one over for our happy now to make this look similar to this caption we've just got to make sure that all the main down strokes of our letters follow the ones here so you can copy the the h there and this actually is the same sort of y so you can just make sure, you know, for tilting wise, I think that's about there. And you can copy the two A's there just so they're in the right angle. So I'll probably fit that in about there. I'll give this the same treatment. So I'll just pop some more on. And give it the 
proper look as well. Good thing about these caption hand lettered stamps is that you'll generally find one that fits most shapes, I believe. <laughs> so this one fills this diamond shape quite nicely. Just pop that to one side and let's set that as well. away and a card so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this frame onto our craft card and I'm going to get this scrap piece of paper from last time just like something to glue on when I'm using my glue stick and I'm going off the edges with it because I want to glue every part of this down that's it so I can run over the edges I don't get glue on my mat okay that's it place this right up to the fold line on the left there so we're having no border left that's it Bring in this caption again just to double check that it's going to fit. That's it. Okay, because sometimes they warp slightly when they're going through when they get die cut through the machine. Turn that over and give it a good rub. And then we're going to apply this to our card. Cover the back with glue again. That's it. And place that back in. Put too much glue on that corner. There we go. Good rub as well. And then we're going to discard, so these come out of the corners here. So we're going to lose this frame piece, take that away, and then we'll just stick this triangular corner piece down. And we're just going to put it centrally in this corner area, just to create that bit of design. So I'll take this corner as well, place that in there, like that, and then the other one. So this is just using the nesting dies in just a different way, just to create a different pattern to your card design. You don't have to, you know, use them for mattering and layering all the time. That's it. That there. Shut up a bit. And then all I need to do is to trim my craft card down. That's it. That's it. Just a slight tiny mini bit across the top and then I quite like to mirror the rounded corners and put rounded corners on the card as well there. And underneath And then this one's always a bit tricky because it's two layers. But if you just score it, and then what I do is I then recut it 
with my scalpel blade or craft knife. Just go over it. quite hard to punch out when it's two layers. There, so there's the complete card with a nice fancy background. There. Thank you for watching. Back to the studio. Oh, lovely so there. And here is the card, actually. It's so made there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, don't forget, we are getting quite close to the end of the show now. Don't forget to be checking your baskets out as well. Remember that we have got the event going on as well. So if you're buying three items, you can get four, actually, for the price of three. Or actually, we'll take away the price of the lowest item there. So you need to quote VE4 for three. Just showing you one or two more samples from the one-day special before we move on, because we want to get back to Sue for another wonderful demonstration. Item number 332875 five is the item number if you're going for the one day special so many wonderful samples here think about your planners your albums your scrapbook pages and your cards and everything else as well let's go back to sue because she's lined up ready to show us something else using i believe the one day special again hello from the lettering stamps this time i think we'll make a tea and cake card and maybe you have a candle as well i think we'll use this caption so I'll take these two away and let me show you some of the artwork as well that I drew. Here's some of the tea and cake doodles. And then there's this caption here. And the your day, your way artwork. There, yeah, just as a matter of interest. <laughs> Alright then, let's bring in my stamping platform. And a piece of smooth white card. And we'll start off with the cake. Put that about there, I think. Pick that up and get some black archival ink. And I've got some pieces of masking paper here just to mask some of the areas. I've got a thin piece here that I'd like to mask the top of the cake. This is to insert the candle. And then I'm going to, just with one piece for now, just mask that bottom line of the cake there. Don't want that one for now. Take that away. So, stamp that, and then I'll bring in a spare piece of paper just to take the ink off, and then I'm going to build on this design, place the cake again, so I'm going to add another layer to it, so place it about there, just below that layer. And now I'm going to ink the stamp, mask that bottom line again, and then also the top piece of the cake. So we've just got that lower piece of icing showing. So we'll stamp those. Place that on. And we've got two layers of cake. Do the same again that off, drop this down to create another layer of cake, it's going to be a deep cake, <laughs> mask again that bottom line and the top part of the cake, more ink, print it again, Get the idea? <laughs> so have a nice tall piece of cake. All right, to save me carrying on further, having you watch me do that, I've got a piece here that I've already stamped. So this is my very tall piece of cake. And it's gonna be a rainbow cake. I've done seven layers, so we can do seven rainbow colors on it. And then to go with that, 
I'm going to insert the candle. Let's use the big candle. Place the candle in and our cup of tea. Put that so it's like on the same sort of level. And then I need to think about the so sort of size of the card. So I'm going to cut the card out of one of these indented rectangles with the stitched marks to add a bit of texture. And then I've taken the largest die to get the biggest card we can. So I just need to place that on there just to make sure it's going to be big enough. And the magnets are having fun with the die. Let's take them away. Okay, place it out there just to make sure I've got all the positioning right. And then I'll bring in my caption, which is this one, which is nice because it's got quite a few words. So I'll place that about there, I think. Maybe a little bit higher. Let's go a little bit higher. Move. That's it. Higher with that about there, that should be okay. Take the frame away, and then let's pick all these up. The good thing about the platform is that you can do all this in one go once you've got it all in position. There, and then we can have a go at colouring. Take this away. I'm going to colour this with some alcohol markers. Bring those in. So I'm going to start the top layer with sort of a light red. I'm not going to go too bright, but I'm going to go for a bit of pastel sort of tones on this one and use the chiseled nib to fill in some more of the areas there we go and I've got my pens all in the rainbow colour order which I always say to myself, Roy G. Biv, the first letter of the colours. That's how I remember. <laughs> and for my yellow layer. The thing about alcohol pens is that you get nice, clean, crisp colour without having those um, lines showing where you go with the pen nib blends in nicely. I think it's a nice effect with just black black stamping. I think it looks nice and clean and fresh. Oh, let's go with the smaller end. And you don't have to colour everything in. I'm just going to do the cake, the sponge part of the cake with this. So I think that's just enough just to give it a pop of colour. Last layer. Rainbow cakes were quite popular at one point, weren't they? <laughs> Still look impressive, I think. Right, and then I'm just going to um, like ground the cake and the teacup by just giving it a bit of a, a sort of table surface. Just draw a line. 
with a, just a light grey marker. That's it. Just give that a bit of shadowing. Just so it looks like it's sat on a tabletop. More shadowing. Right, so I need another piece of card for the card base. So I've die cut this with a top fold just by using this die and I've placed it so that the cutting top cutting line is just above the fold so that the fold remains when you put it through your die cutting machine. Still got your fold in there. And then we need to die cut this, position this again, mark it down and then run through that on our die cutting machine and then it comes out like this. And this is the one that I've stuck together on my card base and it just gives quite a different, fresh, interesting design just using the stamps and the little doodle elements. And I've just created another, or grabbed another stamp to put the verse inside. There. And then let me show you this card. This is a card that Jackie's done for me. Using a row of candles. Isn't that brilliant? Terrific idea. It's almost like they're melting and dribbling down. And she's used the birthday wishes caption in black, shiny embossing powder. Stunning. Really nice card. So you can really create, you know, interesting card designs with just using these stamps. There. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Oh, do you know, the more I say these, the more I absolutely love them. I think they're fabulous. Now, both of those cards I've got here as well. So first of all, there's the one from So How Clever to Stack That Cake. Absolutely amazing. And then the card that she just showed you there from Jackie, you can see that then. Doesn't it work well with the embossing powder that's been melted there onto the words and the candles? Such a lovely, lovely effect. Very, very clever indeed. Let's give you a final reminder of all the details of the one day special because, of course, we're getting close to the end of this show. There is another show at four o'clock. That will be the the final call but don't forget to check those baskets out don't forget to quote VE4 for three if you're putting multiple items into your basket as well the cheapest item you will get for free when you're choosing those four different individual items but the one day special itself let's just have a look at this in great detail again because you are saving 21 pounds here we can offer that flexi buy option as well you've got so many different words in some of these words can be put together as well you know you could put happy with the birthday wishes you can sort of break things apart in different Different ways as well love the fact that you've got all those individual elements how clever with that piece of cake I'm going to mention that again because I just hadn't spotted that when I was looking at these think outside the box as we say because there are other ways of working with the stamps and layering up and uh, putting your own twist to things as well so two payments if you want to take that flexi buy option with that saving of 21 pounds so it's a huge saving 54 individual stamps here very useful stamps I've got to say for all sorts of occasions as well three three two 875 is the item number. I'm just going to show you again some more samples because we've got everything from those planner pages like this one here through to your cards. There's tags. You know, if you've got a picture frame with a family picture in, just to be able to put some wording in there would work very well as well. I just think the simplicity of these is just perfect. I, I love the style. Very fresh, very contemporary. You don't need much. And actually, I'm going to take on board something that our floor manager Kirsty said she said I really like this because I think if you're new to card making this is a great way to start because you can work just with the one day special just with the words and the elements there you don't need to have stencils you don't need to have lots of other things as long as you've got some ink and some cardstock then you've got all these other options you really have so do think about that if you're new to paper crafting maybe this is a great way for you to start uh, the words themselves make those focal points you don't need anything else if you don't want to have to use it three three two eight seven five is the item number I've got to just give you a reminder as well that Sue Sue Smith the lady that we could hear in the videos there this is her first, I believe, her first uh, set that she's designed for Elizabeth Crass, and it kind of all happened 
it not kind of accidentally in a way because she just loved what she was seeing Elle's create with the planners and then decided to post something on Elle's Facebook page and Elle saw her work and they got together got chatting and uh, realized you know they could do something together so it's a really lovely story so it's nice to be able to support both Sue and of course Elle's as well so do take advantage of that one day special and of the saving if you're popping any of the dyes into your basket remember that code as well don't forget to check, the, check those baskets out. We'll be back at 4 o'clock. Well, I won't, but of course, the one-day special and the final call will be. I believe it's going to be Alex that's going to be presenting the show with you there. Uh, but to be thinking of those ideas ahead of that as well and do take a look again at the dies we've got on offer on the website because there's a lot to choose from and you saw a lot of them within the demonstration videos there as well so lots of different ways of working with them um i've got another hour coming up though i've got spellbinders to do next so stay with us don't go anywhere bye bye Yes, coming up next, we've got Spellbinders, very different style coming up. And then we've got Stamping with Tracy Hay, don't miss that one. Heartville Creations are back later on this afternoon. Welcome to Hochanda's Celebrate VE with 4 for 3 event. Join us from Thursday the 7th of May at 6pm to Monday the 11th of May at 6pm as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe Day by bringing you some fabulous 4 for 3 offers throughout the bank holiday weekend. Simply order four products from the same live show during the event and receive the cheapest free. Over the weekend, your favourite guests will be showcasing many exciting products, as well as offering you their invaluable expertise. So tune in, reach for the skies, and stock up on your crafty cargo, and help us celebrate VE Day with 4 for 3, from the 7th of May at 6pm. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. 
I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Nextdoor brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Nextdoor and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies and some of the find it media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Yes, good afternoon. It's great to have your company here, Rana Chanda. Now, this is my final hour for this afternoon, and then we've got Alex coming in. Now, we've got Spellbinders dies for you. Don't forget, I've got to remind you at the top of the hour again, we are part, we, we, you know, we missed the part of the Celebrate VE Day. Now, of course, it was a very special day yesterday. We're continuing on the celebrations, and we are offering that four for three for you. So don't forget that quote of VE four for three. If you're buying four items, you're going to get the cheapest item for free, of course. Now, Let's have a look at these dies because we've got some really, really good deals for here. And we had a very busy show this morning um, with Janice, of course, this morning with Spellbinders. It was at 7 o'clock this morning, extremely busy. Uh, and a couple of the items are quite vulnerable, so you need to be quick on them. We will tell you which ones they are as we go down the counter. But busy across, across the board, really. I'm not surprised when we see the prices. 9 99 for the first one. Now, you're saving £7 and half of the stock has gone. Uh, I have got a sample. We've not got so many samples at the back of the counter but we've got some nice pictures to show you as well so lovely set this one because you can see you can use this in various different ways if you wanted to cut into this further you could use it in a different way doubling up there you've got that full side um, full circle there as well you've got that border that goes across the center you can use the pieces that come out of the die cut as well you could paper piece so lots of options here three dies in total just 9.99 take advantage of the seven pounds we've got another image to show you as well that's been sent in using this completely different way as well look at that that is really lovely now it looks to me as though as though it's kind of a gatefold and the decorative area will open up when you take that band off there that will open up so a very clever way of working with that really lovely die use that for wedding invitations actually if you've got weddings to look forward to after the you know after the lockdowns ended that would be absolutely amazing to do that like that a lot very nice lovely sample there now the next one to show you let's have a look at this oh this is decorative let me turn that that way so you can see looks like a little princess crown now you have got more than one die there again in fact you've got three individual dies there so what that will achieve looking at it i hope hopefully we will be able to show you a picture is the three dies there is three dies because you've got the decorative area in the centre, which means you can cut that out of your cardstock or cut into your cardstock there. It's going to cut out that kind of decorative area. And then if you wanted to use the two other dies, then of course you can cut that as out as a, a whole decorative piece. Or just go with one of the outer dies. You could put fancy edges onto things. So you've got options again there. I love sets like this because it gives you the scope. Let me just show you the back because you've got a lovely bit of inspiration there as well. A little bit similar to the previous card that we had sent in. Let me turn that that way up so you can see it properly. Um, oh, actually, that has been used as an invitation look. So again, you've got that gatefold effect there, using the decorative edge and also the cut out of the decorative area as well. Really pretty. 9.99, you're saving two pounds on this one, 915721. And we have got another image, completely different way of using this. That is lovely as well, isn't it? Really lovely. Do you know you can make your pockets for your albums with that one as well? Now I've seen that card. It makes me think you can do very decorative pockets inside your albums as well as your cards. Now the next item, been very busy on this one. Uh, so we're limited stock on this one. And if you're thinking, oh, that's a bit strange, that flower. Well, wait until I show you the back of the packaging and it will all make sense. Because, of course, you can shape those flowers and then lay them together. And you've got the beautiful rosebuds there. 
That is so pretty. That swirl as well is very, very nice. In fact, looking at that there, let me just have a closer look at the back. I don't know if they have done that, but you've got placement for your pearl drops or your individual gems there if you wanted to add those in. You've got the leaves in there as well, which you could cut just the one spray or multiples, and that would give you a really nice, lovely design to put together. £9.99 on that one, £8 saving on that one, 089509. Got another sample to show you. Now, you can see that the flower petals have been used there. Not quite such a tight rosebud there, so you've got different looks depending on how you put them together. Whether you just go for the one flower or do a whole spray, it looks amazing. Love that. What a great saving as well on that one. No wonder it's been busy. Take advantage while we've got the stock, limited stock. Right, the next one. Now that's nice as well. Another decorative one for you. Let's just make sure I've got that the right way up for you. So again there, if I just show you, you have got the individual dies. So you can cut onto the edge of your cardstock. You can cut into your cardstock. You can also cut that fancy edge as well. Now, if you just remember back, and we will show it you again, that image that we've just seen was using this die as well. So the rosebud and this decorative die, and we've another one on the back of the sample there as well. In fact, you could use your rosebuds instead of the salt flowers if you wanted to, if you wanted to replicate that one as well. So let's have another look at that image so you can see where that particular die has been used. There you are. You can see it at the top of the card there. There we go. Nine ninety nine is the price. Two pound saving. Two five four five nine one. While we're looking at that sample, take note of the detailed die at the bottom of the card because it is different to the top. Because we've got that one coming up next. So you've seen the sample ready and waiting there. I've got another sample to show you on the back of the card as well, which is lovely. Do you know these will work horizontally or vertically as well? Same sort of principle here. You've got the inner die, you've got the outer edge as well. Oops, didn't mean to flick that off. You've got three dies because the outer edge comes away into two parts, so it gives you even more options. Let me just show you the back of the packaging again, just so you can see. I'll put that back into place in a second. So you can see the finished sample there. So another way of using that, nice to overlay. Do you know if you want those very elegant cards, those very decorative cards, but you want something that's quite quick, you can achieve them with these dies. But if you want something that you've spent a lot of time on, of course you can add your own flowers and your, your stamps and everything else to go with them as well. 9 99 for that one, you're saving £6 on that one, 112389. Now the next one, we've got the Treasures Collection. Now, let's see how many dies here. Three individual dies in this one. Now, once again, you can see you've got your outer die. You can see that little split at the top there. So you've got that outer in two pieces. So you could cut that decorative area completely out of your card, stop by using both edges, or just use one edge if you want to make a decorative edge to a card, or maybe give a different effect. Another sample that I can show you on the back of the packaging there, you can see exactly what's been done there. Using just one of the outer edges, has cut that fancy edge to the card where it leaves the detail within the card stuck on the main card itself. We've got another sample to show you on a still as well. So let's show you that. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look, offsetting your card stuck with two different colours. That is really pretty. Again, if you're going for that rose, you could use the rose and do a, a, you know the same sort of design there as well. £9.99 for the one I've just shown you, £2 saving, 294318. Now, if you have gone for the rose, well done. You could replicate that one if you're going for that one as well. But if you haven't gone for the rose, you've missed out because it's now sold out. Now we have another die, the one that I've got in front of me, I was going to say what a beautiful die this is, but I can't even talk about it now because it's been busy and that has also sold out before we even got to it. Well done, of course we did have that earlier hour, so don't forget, because of that and it was a very busy show at 7 o'clock this morning, a lot of stock has already gone, so if you see something you like, grab it now. And at these prices, because there's great savings, remember, if you choose your three most favourites while we've got the stock, choose your then your next favourite, because that fourth one, whichever is the cheaper of the items, is going to be your free one. So you can get four for the price of three. £9.99 is the price for our next one. We have got our circles, our etched die by Becca Feacon. £9.99 for this one. That's a really good price. There's a £10 saving on this. That means it's half price. And that's genuine. That is not a, a, you know, a fiddled about price at all. Looking at that, I would tell you straight away, because I know because I've stuck so many dimes myself in the past when I had my shop, 
worth every single penny because you've got the decorative areas, you've got the individual circles there as well. It leaves it open for lots of scope and ways of working with them. Let me just turn that around. Mix them with your other dies, use them individually. Really lovely set that. $9.99 if you want to go for that one. Well, we've got the stocks, 852590. Let's have another look at an image here. This is a very different image, actually. Um, you can see the circle in the center. There is another die that's been used on the outer edge there to create that shape, but the circles are used with the die set that we've just seen. Nice to see different variations. Sometimes you have to really look to be able to see how those dies have been worked. It just shows how versatile they are. Right, the next one, this is nice. I like this one. Very nice indeed. Now, lots of different patterns here and lots of different dies because you've got six individual dies here. The Tiffany, the Tiffany, the tr it's part of the tre Treasures collection. The Lavalier, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what I'm hearing. Uh, 10 99 for this one, £11 is a saving. Again, lots of ways of working with this because you can use them all together, use them individually. There's a lovely sample on the back of the packaging as well for you. What pretty colours they are as well, the green with the gold, very nice. So quite a few of the dyes have been used in that sample, but you can see so many different ways of breaking this one apart and you're getting a lot for your money there. $10.99 saving £11, so it's a half price saving on that one. 339430. Now, the next one. Oh, this is nice as well. Very decorative. Ah, I think it was the outer of this that was used on that previous sample. I can see the shape of it now, so I can show that again. So we've got the outer framework. We've got the decorative areas there as well. We've got lots of dies in this one. In fact, there are seven individual dies so again lots of options works landscape and portrait so that's our landscape that's our portrait oh you could do a mix of both couldn't you as well uh, so let's have a look at that sample that uh, well we've actually got another one here as well let me pick this one up first because i know that will make a little bit more sense you can see straight away how that that particular die set's been used you can see lots of the dies have been used. I'm looking also at the other sample I've got in front of me, and I'm trying to work out whether it is definitely from this set, and I don't think it is somehow. I'm going to show it anyway. You might be able to fathom that out, but I can't see how that's been used from there. I think it's come from a different sample. If anybody can spot something that I'm missing, let me know. Ah, I can see something. I'll tell you what, there's the rosebud and there's the swirl. That one's gone, hasn't it? I don't know why that is here because that's sold out. Okay, don't let me confuse you. Let's show you that other one. Let's show you the sample that we showed you before because it makes a lot of sense. There you can see the outer of this uh, frame there and also the previous set with the circles has been used there as well. But if you want to go for the Vintage Treasures collection, the Nobel Chatelaine is coming up. These names, I don't know. Right, there we are. £12 saving. £12 saving. Let's bring the details up for the last one we've got here, the Antique Square. There we are. I was trying my hardest in that sample to see if it was this one, and obviously it wasn't either, so that's why it threw me. There we are, £9.99 for this one. £10 saving, so another half price saving on this one. 491395. That's the item number. Five individual dies on this one as well. I'm just going to have a close look at this one, actually. I can see, let me point these out to you. Right, okay. We have got an image of a sample as well, but just to point this out to you, we, oh. We've got there the outer frame, but we've also got dies here that do a lot of embossing as well as cutting. So you can see sort of that detail down the edge. So not every bit that you can see there is cut out or will cut out. You've got lots of areas, but that lovely detail that runs down there and across those corners on the second layer are going to emboss, which gives you a really, really elegant look, actually. Now, this has been a popular one as well. I'm not surprised. Look at that sample. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Two thirds of the stock is gone. If you're liking this one, grab it while you can. Nine ninety nine, ten pounds saving. Item number four nine one three nine five. Let's have a look. This image coming up is beautiful. There we are. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the colours that are being used as well. The golds and the pinks together again. Take advantage of this one if you want it because we've sold a lot of the stock of this one as well. 
There we go. Some great bargains, isn't there? There really is. Now, we do have some video tutorials, so we're going to head over now. Uh, we're going to see a lovely tutorial coming up. I'm not sure which items, but we'll soon find out. Hi, Nicole from Spellbinders here. I'm going to be creating a few projects using some beautiful dyes from Becca Feakin's Vintage Treasures and Candlewick Collections. So let's take a look at the dyes we're going to be working with today. We have our topper here. We have our Candlewick Circles. And we have our Noble Chatelaine. Now, the, the really the hero of this one is going to be this guy. So I'm going to focus here, but we will be using just a few dies from these other collections. So I'm going to pull that one out. And then I'm going to focus on, really, for this one, just this little inner piece here. And the rest we're going to use in another demo. So a couple things that I want to point out about this die. This utilizes what we call split rim technology. Well, what does that mean? That means that it's incredibly versatile, first of all, because you can use the die to cut it out as one kind of solid piece, if you will, by connecting the two outer cut lines. Or you could just create an outline kind of topper here, which is what we're going to do today. Or you could just use this bottom one to create kind of a fancy fun edge to the bottom of your card. So again, the split rim technology, like we call it, really allows for optimal versatility with this one die. So as I mentioned, we are going to take away this bottom piece and we're going to create a topper for our card today. Now we're going to create a little note card holder and this is going to be really at the centerpiece of that. So what I have here, I have a basic A2 size card and I'm actually going to turn it around this way and we're going to align this die to go along the top. And I'm going to tape that in place and then I'm going to add in the other piece. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'm going to run this through with just the outer cut line right now. So I'll run this through and I'll make sure you don't fold your card because if you fold your card, you're going to have a shaped card and easily just peels right away. And now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add the detail piece. Now, again, you can do this all at once. You could do it with one pass, but sometimes things shift on me. And so I wanted to make sure. Now we want to decorate the front as well. So I'm going to bring in some of those dies I mentioned earlier. We're going to go ahead and start with the Candlewick circle. So I've got a little piece of cardstock here. And a tip with the Candlewick, the Candlewick basic shapes, is to cut your outside cut line first, and then to come back in and add your detail piece. Now I always like to run detail dies such as this towards closer to the edges of the machine. That's where the pressure is the greatest and that's going to give you really nice clean cuts. The other benefit of doing that is you do get kind of that embossed look by running it along the edges closest to where the pressure is greatest. So this is going to be a focal point to hold our sentiment. Now to add a little bit more detail and a little bit more of a focal point, I'm going to do another die cut using the insert piece that we had originally pulled out from the Noble Chatelaine die set. So now we have these two pieces, which is perfect to host our sentiment. So we're going to be adding a note card into this. This is really going to become our sleeve for this little note card. And that's really cute and really showcases it. But I want to bring in a little extra punch. And for that, I'm going to grab some printed paper. Now you can go through your stash and find any printed paper for this. This beautiful floral, I think, really works well with this die set. So we'll go ahead and tack that down. Now this note card is a little bit smaller than a standard A2. It's five and a quarter this way by four high in this case. So it fits just perfectly into that little, little note card. So that's going to slide in. Now obviously we need a way to close this because otherwise the note card's going to pop out. And yeah, you could tack down these edges, but we don't have a lot of room to play with here. And I am a big fan of belly bands. I just think they're so much fun. So we're going to do one of those for this. So I have a strip of cardstock here, and we're going to use this to secure this. Now remember, we cut out these pieces that are going to act as our focal point on the front. So rather than wrap this around the back and have an edge on the back, we're going to do a little trick here. We're going to turn it over. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue here. You can use, you know, any kind of strong adhesive. And that's cute, but we want to take it up one more notch. So we happen to have this beautiful green ribbon that we're also going to use to adorn this belly band. 
So just like with the cardstock, we're going to add a little bit of glue here and we will wrap it right around. So let me make sure I'm even. And now we know where our focal point is going. Now, big, big fan of dimensions, so we're going to go ahead and pop that up on the front. And we'll do the same here. Now, we're just missing a sentiment. So we can add any sentiment here. For our example, we have opted to add a glimmered sentiment using our hot foil system. So let me bring in the finished project. So there you have it, this charming little note card holder. You can fill out your sentiment here and send that to your loved ones. Now, I mentioned that this die features, this die in particular has this split rim technology, and I wanna show you another example card that uses that in a slightly different way. So here you see that it really is very similar to this one where we only used the top of the die. So remember, we had our detail piece, we have our outside upper cut line, and our outside lower cut line. And for our project that we just completed, we used these top two. Now for this project, which is perfect for an invitation or anything, I, I didn't tack this down, but the idea here is that you would tack it down and you could put any number of messages on that, is that we used, we used this a couple of ways. Number one, these silver pieces, these silver adornments, are cut out with both the outside uh, upper and lower cut line or die, dies in place to create these kind of standalone die cut pieces. But then for this outside blue piece, we did just like what we did on the card we just completed. Took this one away, actually took this one away, and just used this to die cut that edge. Does that make sense? So again, these split rim dies are incredibly versatile and allow you to create a multitude of different types of looks. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Two lovely samples there. Really, really lovely. Now, we have got some great uh, dies to show you. We've had some sellouts already this hour, so let's have a look at those circles, first of all, that we saw being used there. Uh, right, I'm in front of the right one. I'm not, am I? I'm here, this one. See, I'm looking at the samples at the back and the images, and they, they, look, they look so beautiful, it's throwing me out. These are great because you've got a £10 saving here, so half price, 9 99 is the price for this one, 852590. Let me just turn that around. You can see why. I'm looking at the back and thinking, is that the right set? You can see where the circles have been used in the middle there. You can use them on their own, but of course you can use these alongside other dies and stamps and all sorts of things as well. Great savings today. That's all I can say to you, so don't miss out. 852590 is the item number on that one. Remember, if you've got your eye on a number of different different dies. If you're putting three in your basket, get that fourth one, put the code in there, you'll get one of them for free. Uh, whichever's price, uh, the cheapest price, that's the one that you're going to get free. Now we have got more for you. So, oh, the next one, this is very, very decorative. A lot of die for your money here again. Now there's six individual dies here. Do you know, this is a really lovely set because you've got that circle die as the outer frame. So if you just wanted to cut basic circles, you can do. You've got the decorative area there. You've got a Another circle that's, uh, I can't really call it a straight edge with a circle, but you know what I mean. It cuts just a, a regular circle. But then you've got more decorative elements as we go through that die set there as well. So lots of options, lots of different ways you can layer it up. Um, you know, using your foam pads as well, and offsetting setting things and uh, layering up, you can get different dimensions. Really, really lovely. I mean, that is a gorgeous sample, but just a little sentiment in the middle there. We'll just finish it off as well. So lots of ideas we can give you as well, showing you the samples that we've got on screen and also on the back of the packaging 10.99 on this one 11 pound saving so again it's a half price deal 339430 if you know if you add up the savings and you're going for the four for three you're going to be saving an awful lot of money today you really are when you think of it that way right next up now another one that's been popular actually is this one Again, you're getting a lot for your money because seven individual dies in this one. I'm just going to turn it the other way up because it will work both ways. Again, you've got your outer frame. You've got decorative areas there. You've got the smaller areas in the center so you can take out the middle piece if you want. You can leave more solid areas. Just work with the small pieces. You've got many, many options. Let me show you the sample on the back. There we go. Teamed with that gorgeous ribbon and a little bit of a flower there as well. Really pretty. Great, again, for your albums and your um, your gatefold cards and things like that as well. Make those fancy pockets and th things like that. I'm just going to show you this sample while I'm here. Make sure I've got it the right way up. There we are. 
Striking, isn't it, with the black and white? Twelve ninety nine for this one. Twelve pounds saving, so huge saving again. Four zero nine four six two. Now we've got Nicole coming up. We've got another part of that video from Nicole. Let's go over there and see her once again. So for this next demo, I'm going to use a couple of the dies that I used in the previous demo uh, to create a large card. Now, this one is called Noble Chatelaine, and in fact, it is very noble. It is a very large die. It is about just, a, just shy of, of seven inches tall, so this is really fit for a slightly larger card. So we're going to be using it on a five by seven card today, and we're going to be pairing it with Candlewick's, uh, Candlewick Circles, which are, again, a classic um, classic die to have in your crafting arsenal. So first things first, we're going to cut this guy out. Now, this is, this is the die that you're going to want to emboss, so keep that in mind as you prepare to cut it out. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the, the outline first, uh, just to ensure that I have really good placement. So you see there that this is a very good sized die. So we have our outline piece cut, and now we're going to go back through and add the detail. I'm going to add probably more tape than I normally would when I'm running something through. So I'm going to tack this down extra well. Now the other trick to this is to flip it over and it'll make sense in a minute. But that is tacked down very well and it's not really shifted much. So what we're going to do now, and this is why it's so important to add as much tape as we did, is we're going to just slide it right off that cutting and right onto the platform. And that's going to allow us now to bring in our embossing mat and our embossing plate right over the top so that we can run it through and get that added detail that brings it to life. And on this one pass is enough. And now let's see how it looks. Look at that. So you can see how much detail really gets brought to life when you run it through that extra step of embossing. So right up in here, you can see those details. So our next layer, we're gonna be using Candlewick Circles. And again, these really come to life when they're embossed. So we're going to repeat that exact same process for this. I'm going to tack it down. I'm going to run the outline piece. We'll run that through. We'll remove that circle. And then we will add in the detail die. And again, I'm going to add a little extra tape, more than I normally would. Normally, I would just kind of tack it down in one corner. But because we know that we want to emboss this, I'm going to add a couple pieces of tape. This one's a little detailed, so I'm going to go forward and back. And now is the tricky part, right? And then add my mat and my embossing plate on top and give it one more run through. And there you have it. A few little remaining chats, but so take a look at that detail. Again, that's that candle wicking detail that you get with all of these candle wick basic shapes. It's just gorgeous. So that's going to be our second layer. And then we'll bring in a couple of these other dies. These dies will cut up much quicker. So no embossing needed on this one. We're gonna cut this one. So we'll have this piece. This is kind of a fun shape. It's a little different. And then the last one we're gonna bring in is this cute little label. Now for this one, I wanna bring in a little bit of pink and you'll see why when you see the printed paper. Cutting it out on that pearlized, a little bit thicker paper. So you get a lot of that embossed detail just simply by running it through a couple of passes through the cutting step. So the last step is to stamp our sentiment and then we're just going to layer this guy right up. So again, this is a very large die and so we have a five by seven card base here. So it's a little bit um, beyond the A2 standard, but this is going to serve as the foundation. Picked out a gorgeous piece of printed cardstock here. You can see now why we have that pink, right? It all kind of ties it together. So we'll layer that on to the next level. And then using foam squares, we'll just layer these up. So we have our basis, our noble Chatelaine, our big label there. Next layer would be the Candlewick Circle. Have this little diamond shape from inside this die set. This, and then on top we'll add our little banner cut sentiment. Now let me show you the finished project. Here it is. So there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, if you come in close, you can see a lot of that embossed detail that we got by running it through that extra time through the machine. And just a simple little smile sentiment with a few pearls to finish it off. It's just gorgeous. Now I have one other sample using this die. Now, this one's a little different because 
we had the die actually bleed off the edges of the card, which also creates kind of a fun, cool effect. So again, a lot of layers here using that basis, that big, big one as the, as the, as the foundation. Snuck in a little uh, hem stitch rectangles there in the back to act, act as the base and then just built up those layers. And there's some monochromatic tone on tone and it's just absolutely stunning. Again, beautiful samples, especially that tone on tone. I love that. Now let's have another reminder of what we've got left here because we've had some sellouts, of course. Now let's start right at the beginning again with this one. This is our Starburst. You've got the Starburst Valance and the Gatefold die set. Now this is a very clever die set actually because you can see by this sample here, by piecing two bits together, you can get two very different looks. Do you know you could cut into that and make quarters and corners as well if you wanted to do that. But also using the pieces from the dies separately and paper piecing together. There's so many ways of working with it. Great price on it, £7 saving, £9.99. You're getting three individual dies in that set. Item number 238609. Nine. Now it does say about gatefold, we're going to show you another image just to show you exactly how you can get that gatefold effect. There you can see that decorative element at the, at the big front there. Uh, that is the gatefold area, so with a band across it then you can you know, use those as invitations or kind of su surprise cards, put your pretty backgrounds in there as well. Just works very, very well indeed. What a great saving on that one as well. Now, next down. Uh, we've seen this one. This was being used in the demonstration, or it, we may see more of it in the next part of the demonstration. Now, lovely die again. Let me just turn that around so that you can see the individual dies because you're getting three of them. So you've got the outer dies, first of all, and it's split into two, and that's done for a reason. That is so that if you use them both together, you can make that decorative element that will cut completely out of your cardstock, but also you can use those individually, those outer pieces, and put fancy edgings onto things as well. So there are different ways of working with it again three dies in total two pounds saving on that one just 9.99 for those three dies 915721 we have got another image let's have a look this is the first part of the demonstration we saw actually that card there really lovely lovely design like that a lot there you go then we've got more for you because of course we've got savings across the board as well and we are part of that event as well, so remember that code. If you're going for four items, make sure you put VE4 for three because you're only going to pay for three. Uh, the next one is this one here. Let me show you this, and I'll show you the back of the packaging because it's got a lovely sample again. Again, individual dies there. So you've got the outer and you've got the inner. So really pretty. Let me just show you this. How lovely is that? Just gives you that decorative edge there. Really pretty, absolutely gorgeous. Nine ninety nine is the price on this one. Two pounds saving. Two five four five nine one. Then moving on, we've got another lovely die set for you, and there are more pieces than you can see because I knocked one off of the board. So let's just hold that into place so you can see what you're getting. Three individual dies again. You've got two different outer cutting borders and that decorative area again. And we have got an image to show you now. The image that we're going to show you is actually using this one and the one that we showed you beforehand. So just remember that, okay? So you're seeing two different dies there. The one that we're showing you the details for at the moment is the die that's been used at the bottom, the bottom of the card. The one at the top was the previous uh, item number. 112389 is the one at the side of the screen. That's the bottom element that you're seeing in that sample. Bottom of the screen, actually, we brought back up the other die set for you if you do want to go for both of them. 999 again, six pounds saving. 112389 is the Candlewick exquisite topper die that we're looking at there. Lovely stuff. Right, now then, moving on, another lovely decorative die, and again, giving you those options because you've got the outer cutting dies. Again, they're split into two, so it means you can cut out the whole piece as a decorative element, or you can make those beautiful, fancy edges to your cards as well. Layering as well is a good option with this one, putting your different card colours underneath, uh, offsetting bits and pieces, using your gems to bring out the detail as well. Once again, you can create some beautiful, elegant cards or projects with this one. 9.99 for that one, two pound is the saving, 294.318, and we have another image, really like this, that is really, really pretty. Very simple to do, but very elegant. I like that a lot. Colors are gorgeous as well, those soft pinks. Now the next one, uh, lovely set. We saw this in demonstration. We've seen it being used. A great set, this one, because you're getting an awful lot for your money here. Seven dies in total. You've got the 
full circles if you want them. You've got the decorative elements as well. You can put these together, use them separately. Get your different size borders as well, just by the size of the dies that you're actually using. So lots of ways of creating so many different versions. $9.99 for this one. £10 saving on this one. Take advantage. 852-590. That's the item number you need. And you can see the circles have been used in the centre of that demonstration there. Another one that you've been liking as well is the next one coming up. Again, you're getting an awful lot for your money here. So this one, six individual dies. Decorative elements again, plainer elements, but together they make something very special. Do you know what you could use as for cutting out detail into your boxes as well? Just think about putting sort of those lacy effects on the tops of your boxes, put some acetate underneath. Beautiful. Make your cards and your boxes to match. Now we are ten ninety nine again for this one, eleven pound saving, so it's another half price, three three nine four three zero. Now another one that's been popular, we've seen this being used in demonstration as well. Busy on this one. Now 80% of the stock has gone on this one. Don't miss out. $12.99 is the price. You are saving £12, so almost half price again. Seven individual dies on this one. Use it vertically, horizontally, whichever you like. Landscape, portrait, whichever way you want to uh, say that. You can see lots of detail in there as well. Do you know, I'd be keeping all those little pop-outs there as well and using them as my own sort of little gems for decoration. Areas you can paper piece if you want to as well. Great stencils, I haven't even mentioned that. £12.99 for this one, £12 saving, 409462. Well, let's have a look at another image for you there. Beautiful. Now, the centre has used one of the circles from one of the previous sets as well there, but the outer there is from that die set that we've got the details on the screen for. So an awful lot for your money. Lovely stuff. Now then, we've got another one, and one of my favourites, actually. I like this a lot. I love this because it's square. I like to make things that are square. Uh, you've got lots of dies. You're getting five individual dies. But also, you've got those beautiful embossed areas here as well. So well worth bringing out that detail with your dies. So lots of areas that are going to be cut, so very decorative. But the fact that you've got the embossed areas as well just makes it extra special. Really lovely. Nine ninety nine, great price on that. Again, half price, ten pounds saving on this one. Four nine one three nine five. Love that. Now then, we have got some items that we didn't show you earlier on. So let's have a look at these. These are good. We've got some lovely little cards somewhere. I'm going to grab one. I think there's one behind me actually. Uh, now these are your cut and emboss folders. So let me just show you what that means, and I will show you the sample. So if you can see here. Now, you've got the embossing folder that gives you all the detail, but where those white bits are, that's where they're going to cut. Now, one tip for you, if you haven't ever seen these before, don't pick out those bits of foam. Don't think, oh, somebody's used that, and there's some bits of paper in there. They are bits of foam that release the cut area, so they're important, so don't go pulling them out. Uh, I know that. I speak from experience from when I did a workshop, and I had bought in some cut and emboss folders, and my class were all picking the bits of foam out and ruining them on the first day. £10.98 is going to get you both of these, so you can see the two there. I'm just going to grab that card that's behind me, actually. So let's bring this in, using just one of those folders. Isn't that pretty? I think that is beautiful. You can see the embossed area there. You can see the little bits of cut out as well. Very pretty indeed. You can still add some further, further detail if you want. 816325 is the item number. £10.98 is the price. And you are getting both of those. You can see the detail that you can achieve from them. Really lovely. Right, next we've got some stamps for you as well. Now, there's two different sets here, so let's have a look at these individually. We've got the Peony Blossom set, first of all, or is it Peony and Blossoms? Peony's Blossoms, that's all it does say on the front there, I can see it. Four individual stamps, let me turn these around. You can see they're already mounted for you, red rubber, nice cushioning on there as well. like the fact that you can see the print on there so you can see where you're going with them as well. Not too difficult to colour in, that's what I like about these. So if you're not brilliant with your pencils, then these are going to be great. There you can see a little uh, sample on the back there for you, very pretty indeed. Great price at 10.99. Remember you're getting four stamps there and they are already, already mounted for you. 679924 is the item number. 
Then we have another set for you. We've got little flowers. Actually, these go hand in hand, really. These would look nice together. You could mix them, but of course, use them individually as well. You've got one that would work very nicely into the corner there. You could create a whole wreath if you wanted to. Um, decoupage these up. So, nice set again. Red rubber, once again, already mounted. There you can see how they've been used. So if you're popping your dies in, perhaps you've got three favourite dies, why not pop one of the stamps in as your fourth item, perhaps, and then you can use them together and create something really beautiful. 10.99 is the price. 671-321 is the item number. We have got time to go back to Nicole. We're going to see more from her. Let's head over there right now. Now for my next demo, I'm going to be using a single die from the Vintage Treasures collection, and this is Tiffany Lavalier. Now this has a lot going on, and it is perfect for layering, and so I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful card, literally just layering up the dies in this set. So let's go ahead and get started with the base piece. So I'm going to remove these two right here, and I will slide these over. Now this one here is an outside cut line, which I will show you. And then this one creates a really cool effect um, just when you run it through the die cutting machine, but also if you choose to emboss it. We're not embossing it on this one, just so I can show you a kind of a cool technique you can do without embossing. So I'm going to go ahead and run these through. I'm going to tape them down together, and we will run them through the machine. And we are using a little bit of a heavier cardstock. This is a kind of a brushed gold cardstock that's a little bit heavier weight and so you'll see the cool effect that this die creates on it so let's take a look obviously outside cut line so look at that that is just run through the die cutting so that isn't even embossing and if you wanted to take it a step further and run it through and emboss it you would get even kind of deeper little divots here but this is quite striking just run through the die cutting machine so this will be the platform for us we're going to set this aside again now this one has an outside cut line and then these are also uh, cut lines this inner piece does not cut, but you could always bring in the other die to do that, but we're not gonna do that for now. For this layer, we're gonna keep that middle empty. Because I am going to emboss, I'm going to die cut the outer first, and then I will run it through a second time with the inner piece. The trick again, to when you know you're going to be embossing, is I tape it down. I'm gonna tape it down in a couple places to make sure that it stays in position. It doesn't shift on me when I take it out. I'm going to run it through, kind of upside down, if you will. We're gonna slide it off. We'll add our embossing mat, our embossing plate. This is a step you don't have to do, but the level of detail you will get will take your projects to the next level. Okay, so now we have our beautiful medallion. And again, that extra step we took to get this level of detail on the embossing, beautiful. Okay, so we've got two of our layers done, making good progress here, and now we're gonna bring in the third. Now for the third, this is the inner piece here. So this is two dies. Now you can see I've already taped it together. I'm gonna to do the same thing with this. So now is the easy part. Now the cutting is done, we're gonna just layer it up. So this is a six by six inch square. I'm gonna put in some foam squares down. So we'll add our gold layer here. Then we have this beautiful peach toned printed paper. And then we'll just layer up all of our beautiful die cuts. So. We'll start with our circular base and then add our next layering piece here. And then for your last layer, there's a couple ways you can do it. Now you could line it up just like this, but we want to shake things up a little bit. We're going to give it a little rotation. Now I'm going to use a white glue to adhere this because there's some fine little areas in here and I want to make sure it gets tacked down really nicely. So now we have a beautiful base on which to add a sentiment and some embellishments. So let me bring in the finished card. Now we pulled this stamped sentiment from Becca's new stamp and die set, which is called All Occasion Sentiments. It's from her flourished fretwork line, but you could really add anything here. You could add a die cut uh, sentiment. You could add a glimmered sentiment. Hot foil would be beautiful here as well. So for this one though, we've added this that we've embossed in gold and we've added some beautiful gold pearls. And now we have this gorgeous card that you can give to your true friend. Oh, I do like Nicole's style and the colours she chooses are gorgeous. Right, let's just remind you of uh, a couple of items. In fact, I was going to remind you of something, but we've had another seller. I'm going to bring it in. It is this one here. That one has now gone well done to those that got it. Antiquity Square, that has now gone. So I'm going to just put that one there. There we are. Well done, but you've got a really lovely set of dies there. Now, just going to give you a reminder about the embossing folders as well. Now, a lot of you are asking how these work, so we have got a video to show you. 
just before we go to the video, very quickly, I'm going to show you the second folder because I only showed you one of them uh, because these are completely different. So if I open that up, you can see you have got what you would expect seeing in an embossing folder, but you've also got those little areas that look white. They're little bits of white foam that act as a... Um, a retraction point, so to speak. So they're going to release the cutout pieces, but we need to see the video for it to make complete sense. I love cutting emboss folders. I think they're brilliant. They really are. They give you another another look to your card. So let's go over. It's not Nicole this time. I can see we've got somebody else waiting to say hello. Hi there. Kim from Spellbinders here, and I'm super happy to be here to create several projects using some fantastic Spellbinders products. First of all, we've got our cut and emboss folders. This one that I'm going to be using for project one is called Floral Reflections. Super awesome. We can cut and emboss all in one pass. So I'll be using that in just a minute. And then I'm also going to be using Stephanie Lowe's Darling Little Flower Stamp Set, one stamp that I already have on my block, ready to go. So we'll do the stamping first. I love Stephanie Lowe's stamps. They have so much detail already built in. All you have to do is add a little bit of color and you are good to go. And because they are the rubber stamp with a cling back on it, they give beautiful impressions every single time. Now to color them, I'm bringing in the Jane Davenport Magic Wand pencils. They are so beautiful. And what I absolutely love about Jane's pencils that is that she already gives you a range of colors. For example, the flowers I'm going to be uh, coloring today are three shades of this peach, and how wonderful that she already has it all figured out for us. Gives us the different shades of all the colors. Now some coloring tips, again, because the pencils have the three shades already built in, you simply want to start with your lightest shade, and I'm going to do this in the center of your flowers. And coloring, really, I'm not even a coloring expert, but again, so easy to do this. I just kind of use light pressure, and I'm starting out with the lightest color in the center of my flowers. And then super simple, you just take your next darker shade and then you fan out from there. Now I'm kind of going out to the edges of my blossom. And you can kind of blend as you go a little bit. And last but not least, you take your darkest shade and go along the edge. Now what I'm going on the edge of my flower, now for the leaves I would come in and I would just basically color the leaf with this lighter green. And then to add my dimension, take your darker green so carry on, relax, enjoy yourself, and then we'll come back with some detail shears and just trim along the outside edge. When I am doing what I call detail cutting or fussy cutting, I like to turn my paper instead of turning my scissors, and then I do leave a little bit of a white edge of paper. So you wanna do that all the way around your stamped images. So this is again, a cut and emboss folder, and it is called Floral Reflections. So I'm just gonna grab a pretty peachy tone cardstock because that's going to match my flowers. And I'm not kidding when I say this is easy. All you need is one cutting plate, even, and you put this directly down on your card base. Now, normally for die cutting, you would not do that. You would have a bottom plate, right? So fun, so beautiful. So really, to finish my card, I don't need much of anything. I do have a card base and a slightly darker kind of peachy coral color here. So when I pop this embossed panel on top, you can see that that color kind of shines through your little die cuts there. And then I went ahead and I'll bring the finished project in, but I went ahead and did a glimmer sentiment, and this is from... Becca Feacon's Elegant Affirmations, and I just trimmed it in just a little tiny square and a white cardstock. And check it out. I put a few little um, gold, gold dots, so you can use any kind of little embellishments or enamel dots that you have, but I'll put this down so you can get a nice close look. Isn't it beautiful? So again, the coloring, super simple, super easy. I just put one of the larger bunch on top, the smaller bunch on the bottom. Really let that embossing folder shine through. And you have an absolutely lovely project that took no time at all. Do you know another lovely project there? And I, I've got I got to tell you again, I absolutely love the cut and emboss folders. So grab those while you can as well, because you're getting both of these. Really good price as well. Both of them there, different designs, uh, really pretty. Ten pounds and ninety-eight pence is the price. Eight one six three two five. Brand new. We didn't show you those first trip down the counter, so if you were watching from the beginning, you have only seen those in the second half. Lovely demonstration there. Now the stamps as well. If you want to go for those, because you saw those. Also in the demonstration there, there's two different sets actually. Now first of all we've got the Peonies Blossoms. There we go, 10.99 for those. They are red rubber, they're already cushioned for you. Let me just show you from the side. Really lovely cushioning on there. 679924 is the item number. And of course the set that we saw being used there, uh, the little blossoms there. 
uh, coming up next as well we've got a different item number for those so make sure you if you're going for one make sure you go for the set that you want most there we are 10.99 is for the peonies blossoms and then we've now got the little flowers so you kind of got that one that you can work into a wreath or around a corner that you saw being used by, I believe it was Kim in that video, wasn't it? 671321 is the item number, 1099 again. If you can go for both of those, a nice combination to work with there as well. Now we are going to go back to Kim. Uh, first of all, I don't know if we've got another announcement. We've got another sellout. This one's gone. Those who got it, well done. That's gone as well. Let's go back to Kim because hopefully she's got something we've still got left. Hello again. For card number two, we're also using a beautiful embossing folder. This is the cut and emboss folder called Floral Splash. So pretty. And we're also pairing it with another of Stephanie Lowe's stamps. This is called Peony Blossoms. It's so sweet. Absolutely love it. We're going to do a little bit different technique with the stamping here, but let's go ahead and emboss this guy first. So again, we put this cardstock right inside. We grab our platform. The folder goes straight on the platform. Add one cutting plate. I thought it might be fun to try a little bit darker cardstock to see the full effect of the embossing. Oh yes, I love it. And I have a crisp white card base. We're just going to go ahead and adhere that to your card base. And then again, that shows that really pretty uh, die cutting detail. Now for my stamping, like I said, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this stamp. First part of this will be a little bit hard to see. I'm going to be stamping it with a clear sticky ink or a pigment ink. I'm actually going to stamp this blossom twice. I want one above my sentiment and one below and I'm not going to be helpful either right away because I'm going to use white powder which you might be able to see a little bit but you would go ahead and do your heat embossing and I actually have one that's already done you would just use your heat gun these are Jane Davenport's mermaid markers and they come in such beautiful colors I'm going to take the little bit more tealy one that's called siren I'm going to add a little bit of water to my clear sheet here just so I can dilute a little bit of the color. Sometimes I like to grab a little bit of water because these are so saturated. And I'm just gonna come in and I'm just gonna paint right on top of that embossing and now you'll be able to see the actual design come through. And I'm actually going right over the edges because I'm gonna cut these out a little bit later. So you can just have fun and it's almost like being a kid again. Following the outline of my petals, which I know I can see a little bit better than you can. A smaller flower here. And of course I'll come in with my bluish green color and do my leaves. Now what's also fun about the markers too is that, you know, you're going to have different variations of color. If I wanted, I could squeeze a little bit of extra color out from the tip and get that really dark color and maybe do a little bit darker right in the middle, kind of blend in. So you can see how easy it would be to shade your flower and add that darker center. So beautiful. And when it dries, it's absolutely lovely. Like I said, I do go a little bit outside the edges because I am going to cut these out. So that gives me a really nice line to follow along. So just have fun. Come back through, color it in until you have it just the look you want. Then you're going to want to let it dry a few minutes. And then we'll come back and cut them out. So now you just want to grab your little detail shears. And of course, it's best if you let it dry completely. And then you just want to come in and again do a little bit of detail cutting, fussy cutting. It's actually quite relaxing. And these are such fun, whimsical flowers that they are really very forgiving. Okay, so again, very simple. You want to repeat that same thing with all of your little flower bundles. And then when we bring them into our card base that we've embossed, you're just going to go ahead and kind of layer these up. I did die cut a simple white circle and then I just added my flowers all the way around in my circle. And then I added a little glimmer sentiment. So let me go ahead and show you the finished card. So here we go. So again, add a simple glimmer sentiment in the middle. You can use any sentiment you want. A stamped one would be absolutely adorable too. And again, I've used a little bit of foam adhesive or foam squares to pop up some of my flowers as they kind of circle around my sentiment there. And then I let the cut and emboss folder really be the star of the show for the entire background of the card. So, so fun. That card really came together beautifully. I hope that you love it as much as I do. And I know that you will definitely have fun with the cut and emboss folders along with Stephanie's flowers.
another gorgeous sample nicole and kim well done well done amazing work there uh, let's just give you uh, one or two more reminders we've not got much left on the counter actually we've had a lot of sellouts uh, you've still got a few minutes to get well in fact these are staying on the website aren't they have we got another show today Ross, we haven't. We've had two. We've had the two, but you can, of course, catch everything on uh, Rewind. We have had a lot of sellouts. We've had another very busy hour. You can get the earlier show as well if you want that inspiration from things that are sold out or to see what we've got left as well. So you can continue to buy, but don't forget to check those baskets out. Don't forget about the event as well. Um, if you're going for three, choose a fourth make sure you get that free item because whatever's at the lowest price point that one you're not going to pay for uh, details on the screen for the starburst i've just got the sample here or one of the samples to show you it is also used as a gatefold card which is really beautiful there's so many different ways of working with this particular set 9.99 seven pounds saving on that two three eight six zero nine you'll find that one there plus everything else that we've got left as well so do go and have a look there's some great bargains to be had lots of good savings a lot of the items that you will send they have are on there have already gone so if you do click on something it won't allow you to put it into your basket then you know it's sold out but take into account the savings you're making take into account the four for three as well if you are buying more than uh, more than one item if you're putting those three in then you're getting four great savings across the board the cut and emboss embossing folders as well brilliant buy there at a great price of just ten pounds and ninety eight pence you'll find other things on the website such as your seven day savings as well if you're not a freedom member think about joining the club so much to find on there search by brand as well and you'll see much more than we've just shown you there well it's time for me to say goodbye Alex is coming up next we've got a fabulous hour coming up with Tracy Hayes products don't miss that see you soon bye bye Yes, we are stamping with Tracy Hay. Busy show earlier, lots of sellouts on that. Heartfelt Creations coming up a little bit later. And then we're back for the final call with Elizabeth Craft Designs. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. I'm Ali Reeve, I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. 
In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer shows on Achanda. Welcome to Hochanda's Celebrate VE with 4 for 3 event. Join us from Thursday the 7th of May at 6pm to Monday the 11th of May at 6pm as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe Day by bringing you some fabulous 4 for 3 offers throughout the bank holiday weekend. Simply order 4 products from the same live show during the event and receive the cheapest free. Over the weekend, your favourite guests will be showcasing many exciting products, as well as offering you their invaluable expertise. So tune in, reach for the skies, and stock up on your crafty cargo, and help us celebrate VE Day with 4 for 3, from the 7th of May at 6pm. Hello, good afternoon, and you know what, I think that's exactly what you've been doing, because this wonderful show, Tracy Hayes show, beautiful, beautiful stamps, all designed by her set, her fair hand. Uh, we had lots of sellouts earlier, so I think you have been taking advantage of the um, four for three offer. Uh, you need to put the quote in, VE four for three, when you're buying four products or more, to be honest, and you get the third one for free, the cheapest one for free. Now. Right, so our lovely Lottie has been on the phone to Tracy and we've managed to get a little bit more stock. Now we cannot get any more stock of Turn the Page, that's it, it's gone. However, uh, we've got some more stock of the other sellouts, but that's it, once they've gone, they've gone, okay? We won't be up for today, we won't be able to get any more. But without further ado, I am delighted because we've got Tracy on the phone. Are you there, Tracy? Hi Alex, how are you? Hello, lovely. Oh, may I just ask the tech people if we can turn the uh, mic up in the studio? Thank you. So I can hear you, Tracy. I can hear you better. Whereabouts in the country are you, Tracy? We're down in Dorset. Oh, I bet it's lovely down there at the moment, isn't it? It's lovely and sunny, yes. Perfect weather for birthing alpacas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I understand you actually have alpacas, is that right? We do, yes. Amazing. And in fact, that's some of the inspiration on your stamps. It is, yeah. So um, there's not very many cute alpacas out there. So um, I started to, I've drawn for a long time since I was young, but when we got the alpacas, it was a good excuse to um, start drawing cute characters. Absolutely. And I was saying just at the top of the hour, you draw, you design every single one of your stamps by your fair hand. Yes, absolutely. And I loved, because obviously we've been in touch, I love the fact that, you know, you, where your inspiration comes from, you're saying about wombats because you went out to Australia. Yes, yeah, so the inspiration can literally come from anywhere. And I like to do something a bit different, so different types of animals, like you've got the wombats on one set. Um, on the mummy set, there's tapirs that we like as well here. So, yeah, there's lots of, um, lots of different inspiration. 
Plus, the other thing that I love that you do is like you, you add extra elements for us. We're just having a look at the stamps now and like you'll put glasses for them to wear and all sorts of little extras. Yeah, it's nice to have a bit of added um, variety so that it's not just one stamp. You can use it in different ways or change the look of it um, to make it as versatile as possible. Lovely. Well, I'm just about, I think you might be probably about 10 seconds behind as we're chatting, but I'm just about to start showing some samples. And I'm sh I, th I mean, this sample, uh, hopefully you'll see it in a second, is absolutely adorable. It's the elephant. You've encapsulated it. I don't know how you've done this in glass, I think. It's, it's layers of um, acrylic. Ah, it's fantastic. And it's so fun. And I love his glasses. He's amazing. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. It's very cute. Now, I am looking at, you have actually done every single sample that's behind here. Gosh, did it take you a long time or it doesn't really matter about time because you enjoy yourself so much? It, it does take a long time and I, when I'm under pressure, obviously it's not so enjoyable, but I could literally probably make cards or samples for a year straight and still have ideas and different things that I want to do with them. Oh, it's wonderful. Look at these beautiful samples. They are absolutely stunning. And what I'll do, Tracy, is in between sort of every single demo that we're going to see, I'll try and show as many samples as I possibly can because you've really gone to town. And I always think inspiring other people at home is absolutely the key because we're all in it together, aren't we, Tracy? Absolutely. Yeah. No, that would be really good. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Um, now, I'm also just going to just pop this one sample down because we're doing a giveaway in this hour. And so for anybody that purchases during this hour any of your lovely stamps or paper pads, uh, they will be in a chance with winning this fantastic canvas and we will announce the winner towards the end of the show. Yes. There yeah, you go. That's, that's one of the demos. Oh, oh, is it? Amazing, amazing. So we're going to see this in action. Well, thank you very much, Tracy. Are you going to, after the show now, are you going to go and sit in the garden if you've got a garden? No, I might need to watch the show. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, watch the show. And then after that, just chill out, just chill out. Yeah, yeah, then we will be, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Tracy, for um, joining us. Thank you. Take care. Bye. OK, let's then go through the options of what we have on the show. Oh, Shall we start here? Is this a good one? Lovely. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so this one is your first class cuties. Now, it did sell out, but it's back on extended delivery from the 18th of May. And again, you can see, look at their little faces, their little eyes. And you've got all of these extras in terms of foliage and florals. So that is your first option. Next, we have mwah. There you go. Um, now, this one is limited and it's already on extended delivery and we were saying once this has gone today, this has gone. You've also got lots of um, sentiments going on here. L lovely fonts, love you, you've got proud, um, really nice, this fabulous at the bottom. Um, and as you can see, he's a wonderful little elephant we've got going on there. And then coming down to the bottom, okay, right, so this one. Oh, hang on. I've got to see which one this is. Bear with me. It's on the top. Uh, First Class Cuties 2, this one. Now, this one is also on extended delivery as well. Uh, it's the 31st of May this one's going to be coming from. because we've, we've got to give Tracy a little bit of time to obviously make some more stamps. Uh, again, you've got some wonderful sentiments, but aren't they adorable? Look at their little faces. Then moving along to the next one, where you can see we've got some uh, glasses, little glasses there. This one is the catitude, so you've got all different types of cats. You've got lions, cats, tigers. This is also on extended delivery from the 18th of May. <laughs> well, there's the nerd one down there, nerd sentiment, I like in that one. Moving along, uh, this one is uh, Mummy, that's the one. Oh, look, this has got a... Oh, has it sold out? Oh, it's sold out while we were literally chatting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we is it that one? I'm on no, it's this. This one. This one's gone. Sars. There's uh, going to be a hole, but we'll fix it in a minute. Right, then the next one. This one is Funny Farm. This one is also on extended delivery. Uh, look, you've got all these such cute animals. They're adorable. And again, lots more sent sentiments. And then last but not least, coming along to this next one, uh, let's just see, this one is called Beautiful Chaos. Marvellous. 
Um, this one is also on extended delivery, um, but there's really nice. So basically, Beautiful Chaos uh, and Moi, we have had those on before, but all of the others, sorry, that looks really wrong, doesn't it? All of the others um, are brand new today. I know we should look, I'll put a sample there. That's a very good idea. The, fixed, all fixed. Righty ho. Now, £14.95. Do check out your baskets because if you do want the four for three, it, it works out at £44.85. Uh, make sure you pop the code in. It's on the screen, VE4 for three. And of course, if you're making a purchase, remember you can win this canvas. You're in with a possibility of winning the canvas. 627784. Next up, we've got some A6 samples for you, uh, or um, gorgeous stamps here. Okie dokie. So, shall we run through from the top? Should we start with this one? Is that one all right, our director? Lovely. We're going to come to it in just a sec. Uh, but yeah, these are your A6 stamps. Uh, so, this first one is... Uh, oh, where's the... Yeah, that's it. It's BU. That's the first one. Now, this one is limited stock. Oh, and he's ador he or she is adorable as well. Really nice. Next one, we've got the P.S. I love you. Oh, look at those. Oh, so sweet. Oh, right. This one has technically sold out and we can't get any more. No, oh, no, that's it for today. Uh, all in baskets. So if you want this one, do make sure you're checking out. Shall I take it off? All right. Let's take this one off. <laughs> Another hole. <laughs> I'm going put, to put this one there. Okay. No words is the next one. Uh, lots of lovely scripts. I love that because, um, and it, the script in the heart as well. Really cute. Now, this one is, on ex is limited and it's on extended delivery. Okay. Then coming down. Can't believe how many sellouts we're having. It's amazing. This one is hot dog. Um, our, our floor manager really loves this one because we love sausage dogs. They are so gorgeous. Half the stock's gone of that one. Uh, then moving along. Now, this is my favourite. I really like the robots. This one is called Out of This World. This one is also limited stock. I can see why we couldn't keep up in the previous hour. Amazing. And then moving along. Which one's this one? This one is Lil Wombat's cute ah this is uh this is the the stamp set that basically tracy's used for the canvas which is marvelous half the stock gone on this one and then moving along uh oh yes it must be you love it oh no sorry sorry this is it must be love that's the one that's the one that one is limited stock um again gorgeous images and then this one is dotty about you lovely this one is also limited right let's show you some samples this is fantastic as we were saying tracy's done all the samples there's so many look he's been shrink plastic because you know i love that i love shrink plastics one of my favorite things um i'll try and get a good variety of them now this is nice because look at that and with the inky background and just look at the colors and just you're falling in love with this beautiful beautiful little design here uh proud enough said uh, in dd and again look at him i love his little boots he's wearing uh, here's another one from the out of this world. You are on another planet. Well, yes, a lot of people say that about me. Yes, they, 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 they really do. Um, what else? Let me just have a little dig around. Because even down to some home decor, of course, for these beautiful images, they are stunning. Uh, let's bring this one in. Excellent. Um, have I got this? Stuff? I thought this was the wrong way. Um, here he is. His lovely wombat. He's gorgeous. Look at this. I love this. That is fantastic. There's so many wonderful designs here and samples. Just trying to get a few different ones. Bring this one in. Uh, and as I said, in between each of the um, demos, I'll try and fit in as many beautiful samples as I can. Each one, very good value, just $9.95. And you've got a lot of, um, you've got a lot of images on each stamp set. Uh, if you want the four for three, it's 29.85. That's a really good deal because then, right, that would work out. I, w I would like to say I have worked this out, but I didn't. Lottie told me it would work out at seven pounds and forty-six pence per stamp set. That's using that code, which is down there at the bottom of the screen. 
Now, we've also got some beautiful paper pads, again, designed by Tracy. Uh, now, I'd best be quick here because I know we've got lots of demos to fit in. Right, this is uh, the Rainbow's Rule. Uh, let's have a little flick through. Gorgeous paper pads here. Look at this. Wonderful for your matting and layering, aren't they? Okay, uh, Rainbow's Rule, very limited stock. They are gorgeous, aren't they? And, of course, lots of space for nice sentiments. Oh, that's lovely. And you get sentiments there. You could chop those up. Right, that's Rainbow's Rule. This look decidedly wobbly then. Next one is Craft a Rainbow. Uh, this one is limited stock. Yes, because it's got that nice craft card feel. Love the colours to this. Um, it's, it's got more of a glossy feel than actual craft card, but it's really lovely to work with. Look at all those colours. Next one. So this one is Craft a Rainbow Pastel. This one is also limited. Marvellous. Yes, you've got those lovely, that craft card feel. Well, look. And then you've got all those nice pastel -y colours going on. V ooh, very nice indeed. Marvellous. Next one. This is all going to go horribly wrong. Uh, I'm trying to be quick so we get to the demos as well. So, um, Right, this one is your denim blush. This is... Oh, I can't choose. I really like... The, oh, that's rich, isn't it? Half the stock gone. Now, you're getting two on the pick and mix. Um, but it is still four for three, so you could still go for, th uh, for four of them using that VE four for three code. Uh, and then you get eight lovely books, paper pads. Nice. Uh, this is Rainbow's Rule. Now, oh, I haven't already shown this, have I? Oh, we've got two out. Oh, yes, that is. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm being rubbish. Sorry, this is Rainbow's Rule again. That's why I was like, oh, it is different. It is different. Right, there we go. Oh, it's gone. Can't show you that. Next one is a vintage rainbow. Now, this is a new today, this one. Now, this is going to be dispatched from the 18th of May. Just so you know, this is really pretty, isn't it? Oh, I can't decide, can't decide. Look at the dog watching the television. That's brilliant. Okay, oh, it's lovely, that one. Right, so that's Vintage Rainbow, new today. Will it stand up? I'm wasting time. Right, I'll fix it in a minute. Okay, Animal Magic. Uh, this is also a new today. This is a limited stock. Fabulous. Look at this. And I have to say, the, pa the paper pad has a really nice weight and feel to it. It's lovely. Uh, 200 GSM they are. 30 sheets, 10 designs. Next one, in the navy. You know you want to sing that. Yeah. This one is limited stock. A lot of you are doing a brilliant job of keeping up with all of this. This is busy. <laughs> <laughs> Lottie's just said her brain's going to explode, bless her. This one's really nice, right? That is in the Navy. And then, last but not least, alpaca pie. Fabulous. Oh, it's too cute. Too cute. Oh, I really like it. Okay, I think this might be my favourite favourite. Okay, right. Best get on with the demos then. This is demo one part two coming up if you want part one it was at 9 a.m this morning uh, here we go okay then what i'm going to do is set those things down, bring back the canvas and i like to add a little bit of splattering just to add an extra bit of interest so i'm going to use a black posca pen and just literally tap it create some black splatters you can do as much or as little as you want it's a good job there's no camera on my face at the moment because I've probably got them all over my face the splatters so um, let's just try I'm gonna use a white one but obviously the white you'd only see on on the rainbow part so you only need to do a small amount on there so I'm happy with that okay then what we're going to do is we're going to create a little puddle of gold at the end of the rainbow so for this you could use 
glue, anything that's kind of a runny consistency. I've got some glossy accents here. This is actually a little bit old, so it's um, not totally clear. So it's a perfect way to use it because you're not wasting it. Um, but because it's gonna be covered in glitter, you're not actually gonna see um, the fact that it's it's miscolored. I'm just gonna let's get a pin because it looks like it's blocked. Should have checked that before. So all I'm going to do is just freehand, just create, again, it doesn't have to be accurate. None of my crafting is particularly, particularly accurate. And then you just literally fill in the space. This does use quite a lot of this, so you might not want to use your best um, glue or, or gloss gel or, or whatever. So anything you've got to hand that will stick the glitter is, is fine. So I'm going to just fill all that in. And I'm also just going to create, so I'm going to actually create some, I want there to be some drips. I just think it adds to the effect. So you could do as big drips or as small ones as you like. And I'm also going to create what is a, um, to resemble a splatter. So if you imagine the wombat's gonna be sat in the glitter, it would be nice just to have. So if I do, if you, if you press your, it down and then just drag it a little bit, it creates like a, a splatter shape. So you do that and then drag, level up here, drag, and we have to have odd numbers, crafty rule. So there we go, that's, created that and I'm going to bring my piece of paper back in again and my glitter and this is going to look really bad because you feel like you've wasted a whole tub of glitter by covering it like that. Now I'm just going to let that sit just for a second. If you tap it too vigorously then obviously where the glossy accents is really wet it's going to kind of drip down your page. So while I just give that a minute, what I'm gonna do is just show you the sentiments. So I've picked three sentiments. Two are from this little wombat set. One says, be you unless you can be a wombat, then always be a wombat. And I've got, let the good times roll. It's quite f effective for, a, for that wombat. And then from the Dotty About You set, which is also on the show, I've picked live with no regrets, love without limits. So these are going to be my sentiments and I've just white embossed those onto black card and just cut them out. Now hopefully, if I tap this away, you will see that we're left with a gold glittery splatter. So then our little guy is going to come here and be rolling in the glitter. So we'll just pop some glue on him and he can be in here. So it looks like he's slid down the rainbow. Just hold that for a second. If you wanted to, you could actually go back in with your glossy accents and um, just add some glitter so that he's almost got it around his his face as well you could be splattered in the glitter and then my little bug with his glittery wings is just going to go in the top corner here just to tie that together okay then i'll just choose where i want my sentiments to go so we'll have be you unless you can be a wombat here One I think we'll put up here and I'm getting low on glue. And we've got let the good times roll. There. And there we have it. So you can see 
the glitter there. Perfect. Okay, thank you. And don't forget, you could be in with a chance of winning that particular canvas that we've just seen. All you need to do is make a purchase during this hour for the stamps on all paper pads, of course, on this show. Uh, and uh, we'll announce the winner of this fabulous canvas. You'll be in with a chance of winning. We'll announce the winner towards the end of the show. So, lots and lots of samples then. Now, we are super busy. Please check out. We've already... Um, sort of chatted to Tracy, asked her if we can get some more, but for today, that's it. Once they've gone, they've gone. Now, I've, um, lots of samples. Now, sadly, some of the stickers, bless you, because I know you went to a lot of trouble, Tracy. Some of the stickers have fallen off the backs of some of the samples, but I've picked some samples that um, have still got the stickers on. So this is, um, I believe, a combination of your... Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. First class cuties one and two. Look at them. They, I mean, I would recommend if you were going to get them, get both because they work perfectly in tandem. But just look at these designs. They're beautiful. All of the um, all of the samples that you're seeing have been done by Tracy. She's worked immensely hard. But then again, it's not work, is it? Because it's like it's fun when you're crafting. Uh, this is uh, beautiful chaos and the sentiment is from moi so that's all oh right okay beautiful chaos has now sold out even though it was on extended delivery and so has moi shall i take them off oh it's fine all right keep showing samples okay lovely all right uh, so then we've got a lovely sample from catitude he's cool you've got nerd and intellectual badass love it and now this catitude the stamp set is on extended delivery 18th of May. Um, this sample, this has um, a, a piece from moi, which we know is sold out now, but it's also got um, dotty definitions on here. But again, it's still nice to see the samples of even the ones that have sold out because uh, you've got lots of inspiration. Then we've got the elephant from moi and the wreath from mummy. Uh, so we've still got that one, I believe. Oh, I was just about to say, we've still got that. No, we haven't. Mummy has gone. <laughs> <laughs> we can have nothing left. Uh, this one, uh, the uh, it's beautiful chaos and the elephant from moi is gorgeous. Here's another one from moi. The sentiment is from moi and beautiful chaos. There, lovely. Uh, this one is the little wombat, and he's just adorable. I think these are brilliant samples. Absolutely brilliant. Here is a sample from our funny farm. Right, <laughs> thank goodness. Right, we've still got a little bit of funny farm in stock. Uh, here's one with our catitude and the vintage rainbow paper that we have on the show. Right, catitude is still in stock. Um, one more. Do we still have funny farm? Did you say? Yes, here's another one from Funny Farm. Marvellous. £14.95, a 627784. Now, if you want to go for the four for three, it works out at 44.85 for your four stamp sets that are absolutely jam-packed. Right, moving along then. Uh, we've got some samples from uh, this collection. Um, right, so here we've got... Okay, right, all of these options are now limited stock. <laughs> Lottie said, now I'll let you show samples in peace. <laughs> Love that. Um, right, so we've got no words on this one. And, of course, using the papers. Oh, he's so adorable. So beautiful. Um, I'm just trying to see where I put them. Where did I put them? Uh, this one, I believe, is from our... He's at the, um, BU, our gorgeous little sample there. I do hope I'm getting this all right. Um, and then we've got our lovely little character here. Oh, I'm trying to see. He is from... Mm, hang on. I'll find out. But anyway, we'll, we'll have a little look. She's on it. Uh, this one I, I know is uh, it Moose Be Love, our gorgeous sample here. Um, then we've got a sample from the Out of This World coming into play. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely. I love that one. It's so fun, isn't it? Loads of samples um, and loads of inspiration. Look at all of these gorgeous designs. Aren't they fabulous? Oh, this is pretty. Gosh, this one could be a wedding invitation, don't you think? That's beautiful. <laughs> Look 
at this hot dog. <laughs> that was from the hot dog collection. I love that. Wonderful. Uh, one more then. That's from our dog set as well. Nine ninety. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. No. Oh yes, yeah, silly sausage. He is. Oh yeah. Right. Nine ninety five for. Um, those really limited for every single option be quick we cannot get any more today three five seven two seven four uh, without further ado then here's Tracy with another demo hi so for this demo I'm going to be using our first class cuties and first class cuties 2 stamp set and also the new vintage rainbow paper pad although this technique actually works really well with any of our paper pads so I just wanted to explain a little bit first of all about how I've designed these or, or why I've designed them. So the idea being that it was just the heads of the animals so that they could be used with the foliage to create a wreath around the outside of the animals or they can be used for to create your own kind of postage stamp style makes. So the first class cuties has actually got first, you are class and first class which relates to the stamp idea. It's really easy to create but just by having a solid colour background. And then there's lots of companies around that do kind of postage stamp style dies. So you can just imagine the little character in there and then you can stamp the first in the corner to make it look like a postage stamp. So that was the idea behind that. And then the foliage in each of the sets. So in first class cuties, they're quite open images so you could colour those in. So if you're into colouring, that's a good one. Or if you're not into colouring, there's lots of solid stamps in the first class cuties too, which means that you can create Im images like this so I've just used a um, just drawn around a circle there and then just stamped them in different shades of green the, the different bits of foliage from this set there's also in this set um, the opportunity to layer up some of the the stamps so you can stamp for example this one in a color and then over stamp it with this one which is the outline that corresponds with it so there's lots of um, variability in these sets and they're quite versatile so Again, I've got my stamp platform out. This time I'm using the bigger stamp platform because I want to put my patterned paper in there. And I've chosen this particular paper. You'll see that I've just cut it down slightly just so that it will fit on a card blank when I'm done. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. And for this demo, I'm going to use the donkey, which is out of the First Class Cuties 2 set. So I'm just gonna pop him in the middle of the, the paper there. And I'm gonna stamp him using a pale ink I've chosen the Distress Ink Antique Linen, but any pale ink will do. This is just literally so that you can get an outline. So you can't see it very well, but it just means that I can then go in with my white gesso and just start filling in the area with, with white gesso. So I'm just literally going over everything. Don't take your paper out of the platform. So leave the platform, leave the paper in there and just literally fill in. So just give it a, some water in there. So just literally fill in and just, it doesn't need to be really smooth because you're gonna be going over this. It's just to, to sort of blank out the, the background of the paper a little bit so that you can see the detail of the of the donkey afterwards. You can see I'm not being very accurate. So just literally. Going over the whole thing. Like this. And again, this works for a lot of stamps. The ones that work best with this technique are ones that have got quite a lot of open space for coloring. Um, there's quite a few that lend themselves to that out of our range. On the previous show, I actually used um, an elephant out of Keep Sleeping, which I think is on the website. That worked really nicely for the technique as well. I've had lots of requests to to show this demo again, this, this style of demo, um, over stamping and, and so on. So literally I'm just popping all of that detail in I'm just trying to make it, I'm trying to leave some of the lines so that you can actually see where the outline is, um, which is useful when you come to the next part of your demo, of the, of the make, so let's just pop that to one side. 
I'm just going to dry that off. Excuse the noise here for a moment. So just be careful heating on the on the stamp platform like that because it's not really meant for a lot of heat. So just a, a quick waft off to dry that. So then I'm going to be using the Distress crayons and I've picked pumice stone and hickory smoke. So I'm going to start with the palest one and I'm just literally just putting some colour around the outside like this. Try and you can see if you're if you look carefully you can actually see some of the detail of your your stamp lines so it makes it easier to follow so you can just be really rough like this and then I'm just using um, just slightly making my finger damp so that when I rub it just kind of smooths out those colors And you can add as much colour or as little as you want. You can see the white gesso just enables the grey to sit nicely on the paper. But just blend that in as much, much as we can. And it's really important not to move your paper out of the stamp platform. Although having said that, you do by putting it back in this place and leaving the stamp in here, you know that you're going to go in the right place anyway. So I tend to just leave it in just to be on the safe side. So now I'm just going in with the darker colour and try and get his mane there. Just put a bit of the detail in like so. I'm just going to also go back in with a slightly lighter one just to make it slightly, slightly more coloured. Okay, and then again, just I'm using a wipe just to make my finger slightly damp. Obviously, you don't want to, these papers do take a certain amount of um, moisture, but if you get it too wet, it's going to warp and, and not look as good. So just kind of try and be fairly gentle and just rub that in. Now, you're probably thinking, what on earth is that? It, you can't tell what it is and it doesn't look very attractive. It looks quite messy, but you'll see in a moment. I'm just gonna go in with a bit, bit of pink where his cheeks would be. So just, again, just blend that in. This is spun sugar. I'm just gonna also make his mane just slightly darker here and here. And just around the edge there. You could spend a lot more time than I am perfecting this and just adding more and more layers to the mix. Oh, just a bit more under his chin, just to give him a bit more depth. Just again, smudge that. Okay. So... I'm happy with that, I think that's good. I'm just gonna again use my heat tool just to dry that off a little bit. Okay, then making sure that your paper is still in the same spot, you can then go in with your black ink. Again, I'm using Versafine Claire. Just ink it up. Stamp it down. And there you have your donkey with his detail back in again. Now, if you want to at this point, you could go back in and just add a little bit extra shading or something like that, but I kind of like that look, so that's all good. Let's get rid of that. I'm actually just gonna dry that off a little bit so I don't smudge the ink. Ordinarily, I would heat emboss just to make sure that's totally unsmudgeable. But we'll just try heating that. OK, 
Okay, then I, what I've done is I've stamped some of the flowers and leaves from the first class cutie set. So this is the one that you colour in. And I've just got a few of those here and I'm just going to pick which ones I think might look nice with this little donk. Maybe go for that one. Maybe so place, put everything in its place first just to see if you like how it looks. I don't like it to be too symmetrical. So that's quite nice. I'm also just gonna, when I think about it, go in with a white gel pen just to put, just to make the white really, I don't think that's actually worked very well. Let's try again. And then I can take my glue and just and I'm just gluing one end of this foliage just to make sure. do is mount that onto a black card. So I've just left a, a small amount of black at the top and the bottom there. And there you go. Brilliant stuff, right? I've got to be really quick. And we've had so many sellouts, I cannot tell you. Like, we've lost another four paper pads, I think. So I'm going to really, really quickly flick through what we've got left because we've got another demo to fit in. This is alpaca pie, and I just think they are so adorable. Look at these. Jam-packed, that page is, with alpacas. Of course, inspiration taken because Tracy actually has oodles of alpacas that she looks after. But it's really cute. I love this paper pad. Right, so that's your first paper pad. Next up then, we have got... Uh, this is the Animal Magic really nice uh, this is a new today but it is limited stock this one super lovely gorgeous quality of papers aren't they how am i doing for time our director 30 seconds wait okay <laughs> i've got to fit this in uh next one we've got vintage rainbow again i'll just have a really really quick three oh it's gone oh that's gone there you go that saved time not flicking through uh, and then we've got have we still got denim blush Denim blush, excellent. This one is super limited. Look at those rich colours. They are fantastic. Right, that's all we have there. It's amazing. It's sold out. Please check out your baskets. Don't miss out. Right, we're going to go over and join Tracy once more. Okay, so for this demo, I'm going to be using our beautiful Chaos stamp set. This has been on her channel before, but sold out. And Catitude, which is part of the newest release. Now, Beautiful Chaos is a really good set for mixed media makes and it also works really well as backgrounds for our cute characters. So a really versatile set and some nice words on there as well. And then the Catitude set has got the tiger, the lion, the cat, um, some big eyes that you can kind of use with the cat stamps, which I'll show you how to do later. And also the glasses here, so some small glasses and some big ones, and then some great words that go really well with the cat theme. So, I'm going to start by using the mandala from our beautiful chaos set. We're going to use the stamp platform because I'm using watercolour cards, so it's obviously quite textured, so I want to make sure that I get a perfect impression. So I use an anti-static bag first to make sure that I haven't got any fingerprints or anything that are going to attract the embossing powder. And then use the sticky ink. Mine's very well loved, so it's a bit dirty. I just ink up the stamp there, stamp it down, 
and then obviously because you're using the stamp platform and then go back in i'm just going to go back in a second time just to make sure i've got all that definition i've got a detailed stamp so i want to make sure i've got it all so let's stamp that down that looks good okay and i'll just pop that to one side while i get the embossing powder so this is white embossing powder I'm just going to cover that. I have my embossing powders in containers like they're just, just the clear and the white because I use those a lot. So it means it's easier in theory to make less mess, but actually you can see that I've still managed to spill it everywhere. So let's heat that up. Do that changing there as it heats up. So you don't need to wash it, you can just watch it move, move on to the next part. You can see where it's going shiny. Careful not to overheat it. Okay. So it's pretty difficult to see white on white, but you'll see in a minute when it when it's got the colour over the top. So I'm going to create a rainbow, surprise, surprise. It's kind of my my thing. Um, so I've got picked raspberry, dried marigold, mustard seed, twisted citron, mowed lawn, salty ocean, blueprint sketch, and wilted violet. Those are the distress inks that I've chosen. And I've just scribbled each of them onto the glass mat there. I'm just going to use some water and just literally pick up the colour and just pop it on there, add some more water. I like to just add the water around the edge as well so it looks like it's just fading away. You can add some more just to make sure you've got the definition there. And then while it's still wet, move on to the next color so that they kind of blend together. So this is the dried marigold. Just dabbing some of the water off so it's not too wet. So there's the orange, and then we've got the mustard seed, so the yellow. And most rainbows obviously have sev seven colours, but mine has got eight today. Twisted citron. So just add some of that in there. Again, add water around the edge so that it fades away. You can go back in with this a second time if you find that it's not as vibrant as you'd like. And we've got the mowed lawn. Just add a bit of water to make sure that's properly blended in. So you don't have to be careful here at all. And then the salty ocean. really make sure that they overlap and blend in with each other as well it kind of really adds to the effect and then we've got the blueprint sketch and the wilted violet you can see I'm really not being careful at all I'm just kind of slapping it on and there's lots of water there and so on I'm just gonna go back in with that blue really make sure we get that Right, so I'm going to put some more blue on there because it doesn't look very blue to me. So let's just pop a bit more of that down. Let's pick some more of that up and really make the blue pop. with that so I'm just going to give it a bit of a dry off but it's not too wet now I'm going to pop that to one side while I do my character so you can 
can see there the, the white of the beautiful chaos coming through. So then I'm going to use the tiger from the Catitude set. And I just want to explain how this kind of works. So you can just stamp your tiger as you would normally. Like this, using the stamp platform. So there he is. That's great. You can leave him like that if you want to, or you could add some glasses. So you could take your, I'll just give him small glasses. So you could just gotta be careful here. I'll probably smudge the ink a little bit. Let's take the, actually I'm gonna do the glasses afterwards. Let's just stamp another one because I'm gonna show you how to use the eyes as well. So let's have, another piece of card and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to ink up the stamp but I'm actually going to use a wipe to just wipe away the ink from where the eyes are I don't know if you can see that so just to wipe out the the eyes and I'm going to stamp again so there you can see a tiger with no eyes and in fact I'm just going to Wiped a bit of a stripe off there, so I'm just gonna make sure I've got that back in again. Oops, no, I still didn't get it. Let's go there. there okay, so it's a tiger with no eyes, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the eyes in on this one. So all you do is you just line them up. And I use the nose as a guide, so, so that they're fairly equal, although it doesn't actually matter if they're not exact. I'm just popping the big eyes instead. And then when you stamp, you might need to do this a couple of times because it's, it's quite solid. Make them really pop there. There you go. So now you have a tiger with big eyes. And you can do the same with the lion or the cat from the set. So I'm going to pop him back on again and then with the glasses you just line them up where you'd like them and then stamp them in. Oops, just get that a bit more. There you go, there's the tiger with glasses on. So there's lots of different ways you can change up these, these sets and you can do those same effects with any of the cats on the set so you could have the lion with big eyes or the lion with glasses or or whatever so let's just come back to the background just going to pop that to one side and with the background i'm just gonna i'm not sure if it's actually properly dry let's just really dry that off work let's just see if, obviously if it's at all wet then the the Posca pen is just gonna run I'm hoping that that's just about gonna work and then I'm going to pop let's just take so th these this stamp is really good for the background, so you could add any image you want. So that's from the PS I Love You set. Um, but here's a tiger that I've already coloured, so he sits quite nicely on there. So I think what I'm going to do is add a sentiment. And I'm going to add, I'm going to stamp the sentiment straight onto the card. So because it's watercolour card, I want to make sure that, and it's textured, so I don't want to mess up the stamping. So. That's again why I'm using the stamp platform. And I'm gonna use the sentiment that says, stay positive and let's just have a look. So if we have him sat there, then I think probably just popping that there would work really well. So. Let's go in again. See that's not quite perfect. That's good. 
one side. And then I'm just going to pop some foam, foam pads on the back of the tiger. Just coloured him with watercolours. And then all I would do is just mount that on a black card. And there we have a lovely stay positive card. Oh, that was really lovely. So nice. I'm so pleased we got all the demos in. Look at this. This is all that's left. This is it. Right, we've had so many sellouts. Uh, yes, these are the last four stamp sets um, of the A5, no, yes, A5 collection that we've got. Uh, but I must, before we go, announce the winner of the canvas. Randomly selected, we have got the winner, Angela Evans. Congratulations, this will be winging its way to you. Um, Look out for an email from Tracy asking for your address uh, and then uh, we can send this out to you. Uh, so yes, really, really lovely busy show. We've got, I think, a few paper pads left and a few, as I said, A5 stamps. I'm not even sure if we've got any A6 stamps left. Do check out, um, use your four for three, which you could actually with these because these are the four A5 ones that are left. And it works out at 44.85 if you're using that promo code that's at the bottom of the screen. Right, uh, I'll be back with you in five minutes' time. Grab a cup of tea and I'll see you in three. Uh, next up then, we have got some lovely demos from Nikki uh, from Heartfelt Creations. Then we've got the one day special final call and then dovetailed London fabrics. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery which means the more you spend with us the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, of sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it 
or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see? You could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, member's badge and a member's newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Good afternoon. Uh, yes, we are in the middle of our VE event. I was just saying to, um, actually, it's we're all girls at the moment, aren't we, uh, in the studio. Um, I was just saying that um, as I walked back yesterday, people were still out celebrating, socially distancing, of course, but it was really nice. It was a lovely atmosphere in the, in the village. Uh, but we are in the middle of our VE event. Basically, if you put four items into your basket and make sure that you quote that code there when you check out, which is VE4 for three, the um, most inexpensive item out of those four you'll get for free. That's basically what we're doing for you. Uh, right, we've got lots of gorgeous heartfelt designs on the show. It was on at 11 o'clock if you want to catch up on Rewind. Um, we're going to start up. We're basically, these are back by popular demand, shall we say. We've got the ticket and tag dies. Now, you've got nine dies in total in here. Um, you can see they're going to be very, very useful for you. We are nearly a quarter of the stock gone. Actually, um, if I turn that around, you can see the designs. And I've got a board as well. Um, when you get this home, it'll tell you the size of the dies, which I always think is really quite handy. But if you're visual like me, I have got the board. Now, if you collect the heartfelt paper pads, basically, you'll always get a couple of sheets in the uh, like the back of the paper pads um, like your your toppers and your tags so these tag dies will work with your books that you've already got in your crafty stash I don't know if we've got any paper pads on the website but um, if you've already got some they work brilliantly I love the little tickets look at that and the little tags you've also got the reinforcers at the top nice little scalloped um, border die for you as well uh, so that is uh, 19.99, and your item number is 127599. Then we move on to the album tags and the accents die set. Um, these are going to be wonderful for memory books and for your journals and your scrapbooking. You might want to combine them with a one-day special, something like that. Um, so we've got some uh, a nice board to show you and some samples. We're nearly a third of the stock gone on this collection of dice. You've got some nice little corners. I really like this. I just love the shape of it. It's very pleasing to the eye. And then you've got the scalloped matching outer piece. And this is a little bit of a different border as well, isn't it? Very nice. 
Um, this always reminds me of a t the top of a clipboard, these, these shapes. I'm liking those. And again, let's show you some samples. See, isn't this so pretty on the bag? There you go. There's that centerpiece. Works really well, doesn't it? And, of course, really nice for a sentiment to pop in there. Look, I um, hope you're on the mend, but you can see that lovely design. And I've got one more here using, again, that central panel. It's really good. 19 99 and you're getting 12 dies in this collection. Item number is 251918. Then we have got the ornamental tags. I really like this. You've got 11 dies in total. And this one is a quarter of the stock gone. And let's show you this one, this board. It's really pretty. This reminds me of um, oh, what am I? Yeah, oh yeah, a sheriff badge, but also, you know, like the, the old fashioned plaques that you get on the wall. Oh, yeah. The shield thanking you, Lottie. I couldn't think of the word. But that just reminds me of, of um, a shield if you will. Uh, then you've got lots of nice detail here. A gift for you. Best wishes. Um, I've got, this is really pretty. There you go, that's got that shield shape on the front. That's really nice. Nice for your toppers, that. Isn't that a sweet basket? It was gorgeous. And here's another one that's got that sentiment <clears throat> in the middle. A gift for you. It's 19.99. Again, you get 11 dies, 602.959. Oh, yes, I must just say, everything's on extended delivery from America. Uh, it's nine days extended delivery, so it'll be being shipped out on the 18th of May. Moving along, we have got the arrows and banners. Again, this is another really good one for your scrapbooking. Also handy for stamping your sentiments in there. Now, I don't know if I've got any samples of this one, but they are... They are quite self-explanatory, really. You've got seven dies, and they're just really useful. I think they're a lot bigger than you, you expect, actually, because you can see the, the outline of the big one. Um, I haven't got, now let's see. Ah, yes, size is on the back. So the biggest one here is 6.5 inches by 2.75 inches. That's the biggest one. Lovely. Uh, 1999. 013002 is the item number. Now you have been liking this one and I have to say this is probably my one of my favorites on the show because it's the booklet frames and you can create the most divine well booklets as it says. Um, they are so beautiful, so pretty. I really like the ornate detail around here. Uh, stock wise we are over half the stock gone but that but when you see what you can do with them I mean, they're just glorious, aren't they? Uh, of course, you've got the three different sizes in there. Oh, so pretty. I love them. They're just, I mean, gosh, they're a thing of beauty, aren't they? I'm just thinking about, like, wedding invitations and uh, all sorts of things. You know, apparently people are doing Zoom weddings at the moment. Apparently that's the latest thing. Yeah, well... We live in strange times, but hey, we go, we roll with it, whatever we can do. Uh, 24 pounds and 99 pence, 703023. Uh, then we've also, now if you're getting those, I would recommend you go for the booklet basics as well. They do work absolutely hand in hand. I've got the board here. You also get, I guess it's the spine really, um, but you've got five different sizes of your basics plus that centerpiece we're a third of the stock gone and you can see how well they work with the lacy ones with the booklet frames you see you've you can you can uh, layer them up so beautifully there are your basics like so they're hardly basic though really if you if you know what i mean because you can just do so much with them i mean just look at that sample it's incredible and we've got one more with the basic there you go it's tucked behind 1999 you get six dies and it's 207379 next then we've got the eyelet lace frames again these are a real decent size uh, the large frame is 4.75 by 6.75 inches plus you get the slightly smaller ones but i mean just check out what you can do with these aren't they pretty so cutting into the card really nice and ornate and then that is the smaller um eyelet lace frame in the center that's beautiful here's another sample with them on 
absolutely stunning. They just finish finish off the card or the creation that you're making. Twenty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence. Zero six eight five three seven. Next, then we've got the intricate swirl frames. Um, these again are really good sizes. Um, Twenty-three ninety-nine, and the largest one is four point seven five again by six point seven five, and. Here we are. This is combining the two sets of frames. You can see the outer frame, and then there's the inny bit, if you will. I haven't got that. No, it is the right way up. Um, here again is a version of that outer frame. I'll tell you why I'm pausing. It's because I wonder whether she's chopped it down a little, because, as you can see, this is square, but this is rectangle. So that's why I was pausing. I'm sure there's ways that you can, um, you know, curve it in half oh I think I remember her making this one actually that lovely tea set but here in the back you can um, you can see that wonderful die uh, 2399 135179 then we have got our leafy borders now I don't think I've got samples for this these next couple but you've got your leafy borders and I do like this sort of the semi no it's not a semi it's like a quarter of a circle Oh, a quarter mandala. Nice. That's going to be useful. I really think that's really pretty. Uh, oh, they're mitred, actually, as Lottie is saying. Nice, nice. Okay, £23.99. pence. Two zero three five seven six is the price. Then we've got our eyelet rectangles. Again, they're just so useful to have your nesting dies, aren't they? Uh, the largest one is five by seven inches, if you're wanting to know. I have to say, I like the colours on the packaging. I'd actually want to make a card that colour. I really like that. Uh, 23.99 is the price. 157.698. I like this one. This is your decorative oval. It's very pretty indeed. Nice. And I do have a sample with this on. See, it just really finishes a card off. It really does. Look at that in the background. Very nice. This is teaming it with the first set of dies that we've shown you on the uh, at the start of the show 19 pounds and 99 pence a good size isn't it in fact does it have the size on the packaging six by 4.5 inches and your item number is 092125 then we move on to the swirly accent spray 19.99 and i believe you're getting 12 dies because of course you get your innie and your outie now i've got a board here just ignore these two because they're on the next they're in the next set of uh, dies but that top two there they're in this set and so are your gorgeous corners they're very nice and swirly and then here is the sample you can see how well they work with the booklet dies as well they just finish it off don't they really nice 1999 588797 uh, and the last one then we've got our swirly border accent die well, you've got a couple of dies in there. Again, they're a lot larger than the packaging. I can pick the board up, and you'll see it, then it's, it's um, these two just here. And lovely. I do have, yes, I have got a couple of samples. So it's these two here. Marvellous. And then you can see how, because what you can do is cut into them. You don't have to use the full swirl can see there's some at the sides and then we've also got some of those wonderful swirls there as well. 19.99 and you're getting um, six dies in total, 259.909. Okay, right, so that is absolutely everything. If you've got four items you've popped into your basket, this is how you work the code. Here it is, here's the website. Uh, so you add the voucher code, there's the little thing. Then your voucher code is VE for the number four, then the letter, the letter for, no, the word for <laughs> in capitals, and then the number three. Uh, and you apply the code, and there you go. And now you've got 19.99 off because with the four for three offer, you get the uh, you get the um, most inexpensive item for free. Basically, there you go. Uh, right, we're now going to head over to Nikki. Oh, I can see. I think she's working with those lovely booklet dies. Uh, let's see what she produces. So for this demo, I'm going to show you how beautiful and intricate the booklet frame dies are. 
in the booklet framelit dies, you are actually getting three dies in total that are going to create absolutely gorgeous decorative like book dies. So I've got some here. So I'll show you on the board here. You can see how decorative they are. You've got three sizes in total. And then if you use those along with your booklet basics, which are these ones here, you can create even more stunning cards with these. So you've got five different size pages in total, and then you've got your centerpiece there that goes down the spine of your book. So if I just show you one here, this is the kind of thing that you can create. You can layer it up. You can use just two of them. You can use just one of them, or you can use like I've done, and I've used two of the decorative and then all three or just one of the, no, I'm not, sorry, I've used two of those booklet basics there and use that part there down the spine of my card. So I'm just going to show you how beautiful these actually die cut out. So I've got some cream card that I'm going to use my basics with and the size I'm going to go for on this one it's going to be the small and then I'm going to use my smallest of the decorative ones to cut out in my gold. Now these are decorative dies so depending on your die cutting machine you may have to put them through several times maybe turn them a little as well. It all depends on the machine you've got so I'm just going to pop this one down on here. And just put just one piece on there on my cream so I'm going to take my die cutting machine I would probably suggest you use an A4 die cutting machine for the larger ones of the booklet frame dies on the decorative ones because they are quite big and they only just fit on these so you wouldn't have the ability to actually turn it around just if that hasn't quite caught in places because it all depends on where the pressure is on your actual individual die cutting machine so i'm just bringing that through and then i'm just going to lift it up and have a look to see if that's die cut out all of mine just got a tiny piece at that top so i'm just going to take that through once more and bring that through the back there I think that's actually cut out beautifully. So I'll just pop that down. Just clean my base because I am going to do some more die cutting in a minute. So put that down. And as you can see, that just falls out of these dies. So we all know that heartfelt creations bring us lots of stamps and dies that coordinate with papers but every now and again they bring us these gorgeous decorative dies that we can use in so so many different ways and they really do take your crafting to another level as you can see i'm just popping through all those bits that haven't quite come out so you'll just need a pokey tool for that Really pretty dies these are, something a little bit different if you want to create something very special for maybe Mother's Day or Christmas cards. These make absolutely gorgeous Christmas cards depending on what colour you die cut them out in. And of course you can die cut them out in pattern paper too. So there's my smaller one. So I'm just going to go ahead and die cut out that one there. So this is from the basics, the booklet basics die set. This one will only need to go through once because it isn't a decorative die. So just take that through your die cutting machine. And that gives me my last page that I'm going to pop into my book so there's lots of different ways that when you're actually putting 
your book together if you want to make it into a three-dimensional card you're going to need two of those larger ones but what I've done is I've just glued them at the top and that creates a card that I can actually stand up or you can make like a stand for it so I've done that on here I've created like a stand for the back and that's just going to stand up once I've finished I'm just going to open that up and now I'm just going to put these on my card so I'm starting off with this one and I'm scoring it now there's lots of different ways that you can put this on you can leave those flapping you can glue them like that so they kind of curl those pages or you can just add some foam tape so I'm just going to add a bit of foam tape on each of these and I'm going to go ahead and do all of these whilst I'm here. So just fold again, depending on the thickness of your card, you might need to use a bone folder and a scoreboard. And then finally that small one. I'm going to do it in exactly the same way and just add a small piece of foam tape just on the edges of those pages of my book. Then I've got these decorative book clip dies that I've already gone ahead and die cut out. So I'm going to do exactly the same with these, just fold them and then just add my foam tape to the back of them and this is going to add dimension to your book once it's finished so just need a piece of foam tape on each end of those dies that i've just die cut out and then we can start putting it together so there's my base that's going to be flat i'm going to take my tape off of these and then I'm going to put some glue down the spine of my page and just making sure I do it the right way so you want the point at the bottom and then I'm just going to lay that flat pushing up slightly so that it just lifts off the page and then I'm going to go in with my next decorative part take that foam tape backing off and glue just down that spine just a tiny piece of glue you can use a glue gun if you want to and then i'm just going to pop that down as you can see now you can see how you're creating a really gorgeous dimensional book and it's up to you when you stop it depends on how many layers you want to use I'm going to use all of my layers just to show you how gorgeous these look when they're put together. I think anyone would love to actually receive one of these. Just make sure that sticks down the middle. And then finally, I've got my smaller last page from the booklet basics. going to pop that down there and there you can see just look at the dimension on that now absolutely stunning and because I've created that back I can stand that up as you can see there you can see where that's standing up and I've not had to cut out a second part but obviously if you wanted to make more of a card you're going to need two of those larger ones and then you can just decorate it up. You can put some flowers on there if you want to. Maybe just one flower. And this is one of the tags that I've used. So this tag is from the ticket and tag dies that we've got on the show today. You can see there, look, I've added a pearl, but there's the die. And this was just die cut from your paper pad. So I can just pop that on there. And that's going to make a really pretty card for any occasion. 
gorgeous. I absolutely love those booklet frames. They are fabulous, aren't they? Just something a little bit different. Right, so I'm going to do another recap for you and then we will see another one of Nikki's demos. So we're starting with our tickets and our tags. Um, now, the, I was saying earlier that um, with these tickets and tags, you will find, if you've already got some of the Heartfelt Creations wonderful 12 by 12 paper pads, they um, normally put in the back a couple of pages that actually have the designs of, of tickets and tags which fit these dies absolutely perfectly. Um, so as you can see, that's the nice large size of the tag. I do love a good ticket. I don't know why. It's, I, I think it's because it always reminds me of... Um, Oh, one day I'll get to go back up the pier. Oh, sorry, but it just it always reminds me of Brighton Pier because I am a, still a big kid and I will still go up there and play, you know, and get the play lots of different games and get the tickets out. But that's why it's nostalgia for me, nostalgia. But I really like them. You've also got the reinforcers there um, and you've got that, that nice border with the uh, scalloped edge. Also, it's quite nice to have like a, the little top of the tag with another scalloped edge. Maybe you can pop it in a, use, you know, cut it in a different colour. Uh, 19 99 and you get nine dies in total for those. 127599 is the item number. Then we've got our album tags and accent die set. Um, again, really wonderful for your scrapbooking and your art journals, etc. They are a lot larger than the size of the packet or what the, the designs on the packet. So uh, the largest one here, I believe, is, let's have a little look, uh, 4.25 by 6.25. And you've got a lot of extras. I've got another board to show you. I mean, these are quite large tags, aren't they? And then you've got that lovely central focal point. You've got a couple of corners. Um, and also with this one, which almost looks a little bit like a ticket as well, you've also got some holes that cut. You can maybe string some ribbon or some thread through. Um, and then that's got a really nice decorative edge as well. And then we've got some samples showing you. I think these are mainly that, that uh, focal point that we've seen with that nice little scalloped edge. But it's a really nice decorative shape, I think. Uh, we've got this gorgeous sample. And then even on... The bag, doesn't it look fantastic on a bag? It looks really good. 19.99 and you've got 12 dies. Item number is 251918. Then we've got uh, ornamental tags. Um, I really like these. This is the one with what, what we've decided is the shield. And here it is. You've got a lot of dies. Um, 11 in here. And uh, like I said, we've got that shield that you can mat and layer. You've got some more panels that you can stamp sentiments into. You do even get some sentiments because you've got a gift for you, best wishes. Uh, this is another one you could stamp some sentiments in. Very nice indeed. Here is a sample with the gift for you on. And then I've got another one with that lovely little shield. That's fabulous. 1999 602 959. Then we move on to our arrows and banners. Um, as I said, I don't think I've got any, I haven't seen any samples for these, but it, they're quite self-explanatory. The largest one is 6.5 inches by 2.75. So, I mean, you can see in the packaging, look how large that's going to be. So again, uh, bigger than the uh, photos on there. 1999, uh, you're getting seven dies and it's 013002. Then we move on to my favourites, because these are the booklet frames, and these are the ones that Nikki has just demonstrated with. I do love the colours they put on the packaging. We are 70% of the stock gone, but they make the most divine booklet uh, cards. They really do. Look at that ornate panel around the edge. And then, gosh, look at what you can be making. They're absolutely stunning. And of course, you can shape them. Um, like you can see here, you can start to round them slightly. Oh, here, that's a good example of that. You can start to round them slightly, so they really do look like the pages of a book. Stunning. Oh, yeah, and you can make, make them stand up. In fact, that's very similar, I think, to the one that Nikki was just doing. And uh, for those dies, it's 24.99. I mean, they're quite sizable. 24.99.703023. Then we move on. I thoroughly recommend, if you're going for the first one, go for this one, which is your booklet base. It's because they do marry together perfectly. And here's an example of the board, so you can see the sizes. A legacy. And then some of the samples. You see what I mean? They team brilliantly. 
those basics with the ornate ones. Absolutely stunning. These samples are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 1999-207379. Then we move on to our eyelet lace frames. Again, very sizable dies. You've got three here. And then when you see the samples, they really finish off a card fantastically. Look all the way around, gorgeous. And then there's this one. And of course you've got the center piece as well that go fantastically together. 2399-068-537. Then moving along, we've got the intricate swirl frames. And I can show you some samples for this. I, I'm sure I remember Nikki making this live on air, this particular card, because I remember this um, one day special. It's lovely. And here's another example. Lovely touch, finishing touches. 2399-135179. Then we move on to our frame a card and leafy borders. Uh, with the mitered edge and you've got that quarter of a circle that you could fan around you could make it one You know big piece to be honest 23.99 then item number is two zero three five seven six Then we move on to our eyelet rectangle and basics die set everybody needs nesting dies They're just the standard aren't they? Um, I was wondering I'm just wondering have they got yeah, so some of them I don't know if I can Mm -mm. Some of them have got. Can I get the packaging? Ah, good. Some of them have got a bit of a scalloped edge, which is I just thought was worth showing. Two of them have nice little scalloped edge, and again, you've got lots of nesting dies. Uh, your largest, I think, is five by seven inches. Excellent. Um, oh yes, nice. You use Lottie's saying use them for your card blanks as well because you know if you don't lay one edge you know what i'm trying to say over the edge of the card yeah you you know you know you know at home what i'm talking about uh 23.99 item number is 1536 no, i'm going to do that in a minute 698 then moving along we've got the decorative oval which i think is really pretty really useful die and a little bit different and i've got a sample to show you here in the gold it looks really effective in the gold how it catches the light very pretty uh, do you know what, there's something about that that reminds me of a Fabergé egg? Yeah, there's something about the pattern, the design. Uh, 1999-092-125. Then we've got our swirly accents, uh, 12 dies in total. I think we've got, yeah, because you get the innies and the outies as well. Okay, good. Um, and then on this board, it's because we've got a couple from the other set. Here we go, that's the top two there, and then also you're getting these two corners because these are coming up next. 1999-588-797. And then we've got our swirly border accent die set. There's six of these. And I've got a couple of samples to show you. Because you don't have to use the full flourish. You can snip into them. They've got good snip ability. And you can see, there you go, nice elements there. They just finish it off, don't they? Lovely. 1999-259-909. Now, do need a, oh yes, do need a quick mention. You've only got 16 hours left of the seven day savers where you're saving over 60%. Right, so we have got the uh, leather, 100% leather, woodland leather. I'm intrigued about the blue, I have to say is you get some blue pieces and some green pieces, but it's 100% leather. I always think, um, oh yes, making journals, lovely book covers. You can die cut them if you've got, you know, your steel rule dies. Uh, then we've also got, which I find really nice, these, this is printed vellum, with lots of different images on there. And you're getting 56 sheets for 9 99 That is a lot, that is good. Then the next one, we've got, ah, Catherine's lovely vintage chic. Uh, you've got oodles of elements for you. I mean, it's like a comprehensive kit um, for you to make lots of lovely items there. Love the colourways that she chooses. Really good discount. Uh, we've taken it to £24.97. pence. I love the colours she chooses. She's got good taste, our Catherine. Then we've got the Shimmer and Shine card for 9 99 I think it ranges from 130 to 300 GSM. You get the white, the cream and the lovely electric blue. Next up, 
I tell you what, this will keep you busy. If you're going to make, like, so many different teddies, you've got 96 pieces in total. Uh, what's that? That's four, is that 48, then, eyes, if we're thinking about it? Yeah, 48 pairs of eyes. So that's 48 toys you can be making. And then we've got the rotary cutter for $14.99. Uh, it's got a folding mat, and I think it comes with... Um, Yes, excellent, a spare blade and the mat. That's a nut for $14.99. That's a good little starter kit, isn't it, for someone getting into it? And then we've got Pentart, lots of lovely goodies in there. You've got some pendants, uh, you're getting some hobby glue, acrylic paint, 3D varnish, so you can fill the, um, what are they called again? Bezels. But I think so. Pendants, let's say pendants. And then you've got some gorgeous glitter powders as well that you could you could pop those in there with a little bit of resin. Nice. Okay then, without further ado, how are we doing time? Lovely. Without further ado, we're going to see another little demo from Nikki. So I just want to show you how all of those ticket and tag dies, the album tag and accents die set, the ornamental tags all work with your papers. So here you have one of those dies and as you can see oh it's the smaller one because you have got your matting layers in here as well these are going to cut out all of those elements on the back pages of your papers it doesn't matter what paper it is this is the cottage garden but i've also got the french cottage here and i can use these in exactly the same way they all fit perfectly rather than fussy cutting them out maybe you're not very good at cutting I know I'm not you've got your circle there that's going to fit over this one if I just lay a few of these over you'll be able to see how they actually work so if you've often wondered how we all cut all of myself and the design team cut these out perfectly this is how we use all of these dies that we've got on the show today to cut out these tags and sentiments. You've got your small one there, look. So there's no fussy cutting at all. There's other elements within your paper pad that you're going to find that these work with as well. But of course, you can use them on their own. So when you use them on your own, their own, so you've got this one here, which if I just take you through some of what we've got here so I've die cut these out and I do believe these are the album tag and accents die set there you have that element so you can cut it out of your paper pad but you can also cut it out of your decorative papers your plain papers to create just an accent on your card so you can put your sentiment on there or maybe make a beautiful floral arrangement on there as well so I'm just going to show you how you can use these to make a card. So I'm also using the, I think, let me have a look, because I know we've got this on the show. This is your decorative oval. Okay, look how pretty that is. I've also got another one here that I've put a backing on as well, just so that you can see how all of these dies that we've got on the show today all coordinate beautifully together this is a really really pretty oval so I'm going to be using my oval just going to take some card so this is some papers from the Asta collection we don't have any papers on the show today this is a special show that we've got lots of different dies on just wanted to show you how you can use all of these now it's just choosing now which one I put on I was going to put the green one but I think I'm going to go with the gold one so I'm just going to decoupage that up just using a few pieces of foam paper so mixing and matching your cardstock that you've got your papers that you have in your collection and just using some decorative dies so there's that one that I just showed you that die cuts out from your paper pad, but also you can layer it up because you've got that really nice mat you can mat and layer that up as well. So I'm going to pop that in the center and then I'm just going to add a sentiment. My sentiment's just going to come over the edge slightly on there. So again, this is from your Aster collection. And just pop that there. In actual fact, I wanted that that side. And then 
just add a few flowers. These are from, again, my Aster collection. And as you can see, using your decorative dies, using those tags and your accents and all those dies that we've got on the show, you can create a beautiful card. So I'm just going to glue these down. I know we don't have the papers on the show today, but I just wanted to show you how you can use lots of the dies that we've got on the show and create a really pretty, gorgeous card. Just lift that up. So that's using your decorative oval and your die from your, I think it's from the ornamental tag um, die set, but it may be the album tag accents set. I'm not quite sure, but just take a look at what we've got on the show. Gorgeous. Right now, if you are just joining us, let's take you through what we've got on the show. We've got some back by popular demands from Heartfelt Creations, um, and you'll find them so useful for your crafting stash. Um, so we had a really busy uh, show earlier. This is what we've got left, and we're going to start off with our ticket and tags dies. Again, they're a lot bigger than you sort of see on the packaging. So, uh, Nikki has kindly done us some boards. If you've got paper pads, um, the paper pads normally have two pages in the back with tag designs and ticket designs. These dies will work in tandem with them. That's what they've been created for. A really nice large size of uh, die there. And you've got some reinforcers. There's the lovely tickets. A uh, little top of a tag that you can change up the colour and then you've got your borders that are going to be so useful you could stamp in little sentiments all the way across that would be quite nice and your scalloped edge on, on that border uh, so this one is 19.99, and you get nine dies in there uh, then we've got our album tags and accent dies um, which are so good for your journaling and uh, whatnot memory books and you've got some beautiful shapes there i think that one is my favorite and uh, i've got a board to show you but they're very useful you can see the very large tags lovely and then the board here not the um very ornate centerpiece i'm going to call it nice it'll fit a nice little sentiment in there you've got your corners uh this is almost like a ticket in itself this reminds me of a clipboard so if you cut those out in mirror card that would look really nice i think uh, and then you've got this ornate little border there even down to the diddy tag it's cute <clears throat> excuse me and here again are some samples lovely design in the center I think doing gift bags is wonderful. I'm currently making gift boxes at home. Um, and then we've got this other sample too. Marvellous. 19.99, you get 12 dies there. 251918. Then we go on to our ornamental tags. 11 dies in this. And again, a really nice set because you've also got sentiments in here. I have another board with our shield. I'd like to make that into a badge. I think that would make a really funky little badge. Do you know, I'm just thinking, sorry, this is where my mind goes and I pause and people are like, uh, hello. Um, I wonder whether these thinner dies would cut, um, would cut magnetic sheets. Maybe if the magnetic sheets were thin enough. I'm just thinking because it would be a really nice little magnet. Um, uh, Lottie's saying, well, uh, yeah, it depends on the pressure of your machine. Maybe if you've got a certain electric one that might work I don't know maybe you might have to run it through a couple of times I was just thinking because I think that's a nice it's just a nice shape to have on the fridge you know when you go well we can eventually go on holiday but you know when you go on holiday and you start collecting all the different you know um, magnets and things I've seen them shaped like that anyway I digress <laughs> uh, actually while we're all not going anywhere you could make your own pretend you've been to wherever in the world <laughs> Uh, uh, right, uh, we've also got a gift for you, best wishes, uh, you could pop a sentiment in this one, marvellous, and again I've got some samples, uh, we've got the gift for you here, nice, and then uh, we've got that one that's um, like a shield, I like that a lot, 1999, item number is 602959, then we've got our arrows and our banners, um, again, a lot bigger than they are on the packaging. The largest one is uh, six, 
6.5 by 2.75 inches and lovely for your stamp sentiments i mean ju even just making a card like this with all your different colors of cardstock i think it's really pretty like a nice little rainbow card rainbows very appropriate at the moment 1999 then we move on to our this one's a bit of a star of the show to be honest um <clears throat> busiest item on the show these booklet frames because they just make something look a little bit different we're approaching limited stock here's the board uh, so you can see those three different sizes i mean that one is really quite sizable and then of course you can mat and layer them and we've got some samples here again i like what she's done um, what nikki's done is you you can stand it up um, and then it becomes one of my one of your mantelpiece pleasers you can curve the books the pages around maybe with a bit of foam pads or 3d glue gel and then i mean look how ornate it is it's really pretty oh and actually i don't think i showed you this sample look at this on a plaque that's gorgeous that really works uh 24.99 item number is 703023 and then I know I'm saying this again, but if you um, are just joining us, try and go for this one as well because they work in tandem fantastically. This is the board, so you can see all of the different dies. You're getting six dies in total. You've got your five booklet pages and then you've got that centerpiece. And then with your samples, you can see how the basics work really gone. Uh, just while you're looking at samples, to let you know, we're nearly half the stock gone. Maybe you missed out on these the first time they were around. It's really good to stock up now. Oh, and use your code uh, VE4 for three, and you'll get the um, and get the four for three offer if you're putting four items into your basket. You'll get the cheapest item for free. 1999-207-379. Then we come along to the eyelet lace frames. Very pretty, a really nice size. Uh, the big one is 4.75 by 6.75 inches. And here we go. There's our gorgeous panel. Look at that, really pretty. And there's another one. 2399-068537. Then we have our intricate swell frame. Largest one here is 4.75 by 6.75. Lovely jubbly. Um, that is 2399. I've got a few quick samples. There we go. And this one, 23.99. Item number is 135179. Then we've got our framer card and leafy borders. Um, I guess that saves on money, doesn't it? If it, rather than having one whole circle die, then you can cre still create a circle. Because um, it would probably be more expensive if you had that complete circle, because obviously you're paying, paying for the metal. So you'll still be able to create a full circle. 23.99, item number is 203576. Then we come on to a bit of a, a staple because we've got our eyelet rectangle basics um, and you, you've got quite a few dies in this one this one will fit the five by seven card fronts uh, it's 23.99 then we come along to our lovely oval that was in the de uh, the demo and i really like this because it it is very nice and decorative something a little bit different i would say and then the sample we've got here, it's really nice in the gold cardstock. Just a couple more then, and then we can see the final demo. Uh, this one is the Swirly Accent Spray. You've got 12 dies here. Nice. And then I've got some, uh, I've got a sample with this on. Nice at the side there. They work really well with the booklet frame dies, don't they? And this one is 19.99, uh, 588797. And then finally, we've got our swirly border accent die set. You've got six dies because you get the outer ones as well. And then just to show you, I've got the board. So it's these two we're looking at. All the other ones were from that previous one. So it's these two. Again, you can see how much snippability they have got. 1999 uh, 2599909. Now you can shop by brand. Go to the website and you'll see there's a little tab where it says by brand. Or of course you can do it this way. You can just search in the search bar. 
uh, and then it will come up for you and you can see there you go you can go to brands you can do it that way and then go to heartfelt creations and we've got so many lovely items oh we do still have some paper pads on the show that's nice or on the website oh I really like those um, the 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 roses the stamens that's it I really like those they're so handy to have uh, so there's lots of collections on there for you to peruse Okay, right, I must just stress so the four for three offer is only for items that we've got on this particular show while we're running. And that is when you go on the home page. Lovely jubbly. Do give us a call, 01733 or of course, you can check out on the website at hachanda.com. Right, we're going to see um, Nikki's final uh, video she sent in. Here we go. For this demo, I really wanted to show you how you can use all of those ticket and tag dies, your album tag and accents, your ornamental tags. Obviously, the first thing you think about is oh, mini albums. I can create these and I can use them in my mini albums on my scrapbook pages. But you can also make cards with them. You can use your larger tags here for your main card. And create cards with it but you can also create something like this okay so this is a gift box that I created using I think it was the patchwork collection going back about a year ago but I want to make one using the cottage garden collection so what I've used is I've cut out two backgrounds with the larger tag die as you can see there is two different sizes so you're going to need two in white, so I'm going to cut that out. Then I'm using this one. So in your papers, you have got, and I just have that here. I'm not sure where it's gone. Oh, there it is. Look, it's on the back there. In your papers, you have got that back page, like this one, full of lots of different tags and sentiments on there and all of those dies that I've just discussed with you all fit on here so you can see the one that I'm using here is this image here okay but of course you can use your own pattern papers you can make your own tags and sentiments you don't have to use the ones from the papers so I'm going to go through and die cut those out so as I say you need two of the large one so just take my die cutting machine and I'm going to pop that on. So these are quite large, but they will fit on your A5 die cutting machine. So I just need to take that through once because this isn't a decorative die. It, it's just going to go through. There. So I only need to take that through once. And there you can see you've got that tag. So, of course, if you wanted to create a card with this, you would cut it out. You could glue it at the top or you could just cut it, um, die cut it across the spine of your card and that will create your tag. Then I need to die cut these out. So I'm just going to put these onto my plate. And I'm going to pop that through my die cutting machine. It will both fit on my A5 plate. And then when you take these out, you'll see how they mat and layer together. So with all of the tags and um, tickets that you've got in here, a lot of them do actually coordinate together so you can mat and layer these up so with that large tag that I've just done as I said you need to two I've cut out with the smaller die some paper from that cottage garden and I'm going to layer that up just with some wet glue and you get that really nice mat and layer on there so I need to do that with both parts to create my box so again I'm just going to add some wet glue and just pop that on there and do the same 
with my tag but with this one I'm just going to add some foam tape on there and pop that on there and that creates my tag so I've already gone ahead and made a box and basically I'm just going to really show you quickly how to create this and make this into like a tag gift box so I'm going to pop that down that side and I'm going to do exactly the same with this side and then once that's dry you can either pop a hole through your tags or you can put a magnet on there or tie it through but there you have a gift box using those tags and accents and then on the front you can add that part so they all mix and match together so as I say what I wanted to show you is you know these aren't just for your mini albums or your scrapbooking you can create gorgeous gift boxes just like this one cool and I really like that gift box we've got it here it's really nice I like having the finished samples in the studio um, when they've been made that's really lovely um, alrighty then so we've got our uh, tickets and tags that's our first one we've only got about a minute so we'll see how far we get but they're very very useful in fact I'll probably just show you the boards there we are so you can see the size of them uh, nice and large they will fit the paper pads that we've got on the website there's a couple of pages at the back um, and they match up perfectly and then you've got border dies little tickets very nice 1999 item number is 127599 then we've got the album tags and your accents die set uh, you've got 12 dies in this collection and again I can show you the board with all of those lovely dies 12 as I said in total very nice I really like this one I know I keep going to this one but it's just very pleasing to the eye 1999 uh, then we've got the ornamental tags and I've got the board uh, with that lovely little shield on I really like it I like this a lot 1999 uh, 602 do check out your baskets if you've got anything that you've got your eye on we've had lots of sellouts and things during the day today so um, and enjoy whatever crafty goodies you're going for don't forget as, as well to use your VE for three code um, during whichever show you like the look of any items and then you'll get the cheapest free right I'm gonna run over to the other side of the studio now bye well it's final call for the one day special um, so it's your last chance to get it with a really good deal then we've got dovetailed London fabrics and the launch of the art isolation ODS Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Addicts. 
We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made of the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etched that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hello, good e Are we evening? No, we're still afternoon, aren't we, at four o'clock? Now, this is your final call to get your beautiful one-day special. Um, the, it's the wonderful brush lettering that's been designed by Sue Smith, and she's now collaborating with Els. Uh, there's a nice story behind how they got together, actually, and I think we may be speaking to Sue a little bit later on, um, and so I, I can ask her all about that. Um, right, take a look then. These are the hand-lettered complete stamp collection. And also I was chatting to um, Sue and she was saying that she picked up her hand-lettering skills working as a caption artist for a greeting company in the 90s. And then she's been going ever since. Now with the One Day Special, you have got 54 glorious stamps, not just beautiful brush-lettered um, sentiments, but also you've got your little lovely extras to doodle with. You can see you've got some presents on there and some stars. Um, and then, of course, you've got, you've got the, the um, sentiments to cover lots of different occasions. There's also one, I really like it, that says about positive vibes, you know, um, which, in fact, I think we'll come to. Uh, we've got dream big, all those sorts of things. Um, be brave, do good, stay you. Here's the vibes one. Positive vibes only, I agree. And you've got some little candles on there, which are really pretty. And then the next one that we'll come to, uh, this one, uh, you've got the celebrate. Lovely. Again, they're nice focal points, aren't they? You've got the popping cork and the glass of bubbles. Uh, today is the day. You've got some bunting, which I also really like. And that, that was actually Sue's first demo yesterday. When we launched, she did a nice VE day one which is very apt and then um, you've got this I like that you got this hello dream big happy birthday to you and again those lovely little workers and samples wise let's have a look 
Um, a lot of these samples have been done by Jackie and Janet, I think that's right. And I think, if I got this right, Janet is Sue's mum. I think that's right. I hope it's not, if it's the other way around, I'm in trouble, but I think it's all right. She's been helping out. Right, here we go. And then we've got their wonderful best wishes. This one's by Jackie. That first one was by Janet. Um, so lots of gorgeous samples. They, what we were saying is these can either be like a, a real focal point or they can also be a complimentary verse inside the card. Um, they're very inspirational, obviously. Uh, you could even use some of these with a, making a background, just a background. I love that. It's really clever. And we've got this one, happy birthday to you. Um, Marvellous. Oh, in fact, we may be seeing this as a demo, quite possibly. We'll see. And then we've got this gorgeous card. Aren't they wonderful? They're just, and the style of them are absolutely beautiful. And they're also part of your essentials. So whether you're a card crafter or whether you like to make your journals or your scrapbook um, and all of those, then um, these are brilliant for you to use. £58.95. Again, I'm going to stress you've only got this hour to get that £21 saving, which is a really good deal. Or you can spread the cost two payments of £29.48, 332875. And now, without further ado, we're going to see the demo from Sue. Hello. From the lettering stamps this time, I think we'll make a tea and cake card. And maybe you have a candle as well. I think we use this caption. So I'll take these two away and let me show you some of the artwork as well that I drew. Here's some of the tea and cake doodles. And then there's this caption here. And the Your Day, Your Way artwork. Yeah, just as a matter of interest. <laughs> right then, let's bring in my stamping platform and a piece of smooth white card and we'll start off with the cake put that about there I think pick that up and get some black archival ink and I've got some pieces of masking paper here just to mask some of the areas. I've got a thin piece here that I'd like to mask the top of the cake. This is to insert the candle. And then I'm going to, just with one piece for now, just mask that bottom line of the cake there. Don't want that on for now. Take that away. Stamp that and then I'll bring in a spare piece of paper just to take the ink off and then I'm going to build on this design, place the cake again, so I'm going to add another layer to it, so place it about there, just below that layer. And now I'm going to ink the stamp, mask that bottom line again, and then also the top piece of the cake. So we've just got that lower piece of icing showing. So we'll stamp those. Place that on. And we've got two layers of cake. Do the same again that off, drop this down to create another layer of cake, it's going to be a deep cake, <laughs> mask again that bottom line and the top part of the cake, more ink, paint it again, Get the idea? <laughs> so I have a nice tall piece of cake. Alright, to save me carrying on further, having you 
watch me do that. I've got a piece here that I've already stamped. So this is my very tall piece of cake. And it's going to be a rainbow cake. I've done seven layers so we can do seven rainbow colours on it. And then to go with that, I'm going to insert the candle. Let's use the big candle. Place the candle in and our cup of tea. Put that so it's like on the same sort of level. And then I need to think about the sort of size of the card. So I'm going to cut the card out of one of these indented rectangles with the stitched marks to add a bit of texture. And then I've taken the largest die to get the biggest card we can. So I just need to place that on there just to make sure it's going to be big enough. And the magnets are having fun with the die. Let's take them away. Okay, place it out there just to make sure I've got all the positioning right. And then I'll bring in my caption this one which is nice because it's got quite a few words so I'll place that about there I think maybe a little bit higher let's go a little bit higher move that's it a bit higher with that about there that should be okay take the frame away And then let's pick all these up. A good thing about the platform is that you can do all this in one go. Once you've got it all in position. There. Beautiful. Maybe just a little bit more on the lettering. There, and then we can have a go at colouring. Let's take this away. I'm going to colour this with some alcohol markers. Bring those in. So I'm going to start the top layer with sort of a light red. I'm not going to go too bright, but I'm going to go for a bit of pastel sort of tones. one. I'll use the chiselled nib to fill in some more of the areas. There we go. And I've got my pens all in the rainbow colour order, which I always say to myself, Roy G. Biv first letter of the colours. That's how I remember. <laughs> for my yellow layer. The thing about alcohol pens is that you get nice clean crisp colour without having those um, lines showing where you go with the pen nib blends in nicely. I think it's a nice effect with just black black stamping. I think it looks nice and clean and fresh. Oh, let's go with the smaller end. And you don't have to colour everything in. I'm just going to do the cake, the sponge part of the cake with this. So I think that's just enough just to give it a pop of colour. Last layer. Rainbow cakes were quite popular at one point, weren't they? <laughs> Still look impressive, I think. 
Right, and then I'm just going to um, like ground the cake in the teacup by just giving it a bit of a, a sort of table surface. Just draw a line with a, just a light grey marker. That's it. Just give that a bit of shadowing. So it looks like it's sat on a tabletop. More shadowing. There. Okay. Right, so I need another piece of card for the card base. So I've die cut this with a top fold just by using this die and I've placed it so that the cutting top cutting line is just above the fold so that the fold remains when you put it through your die cutting machine still got your fold in there and then we need to die cut this position this again mark it down and then run through that on our die cutting machine and then it comes out like this and this is the one that I've stuck together on my card base and it just gives quite a different fresh interesting design just using the stamps and the little doodle elements and I've just created another or grabbed another stamp to put the verse inside there and then let me show you this card this is a card that Jackie's done for me using a row of candles. Isn't that brilliant? Terrific idea. It's almost like they're melting and dribbling down and she's used the birthday wishes caption in black shiny embossing powder. Stunning, really nice card. So you can really create, you know, interesting card designs with just using these stamps. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Marvellous. And I've got the two finished samples here in the studio. Uh, wonderful. I love the rainbow cake. And as she was saying, isn't it clever with the, um, with the, like the candles sort of dripping down? I really like that. Uh, one day special now. If you've got anything in your basket, do make sure you're checking out because the clock is ticking down. You've only got 45 minutes to get your one day special with a £21 saving. And I think that you'll enjoy using them so much for your journals, for your scrapbooking. Uh, Sir Adam has just entered the building. <laughs> I haven't seen him for ages, it feels like. Right, let's look at more samples. Here we got, we've got the birthday wishes. Love this. I love that you got this. I think that's just fabulous, isn't it? Oh, by the way, if you do just want one set, they're 15 99 each. Um, but obviously your best value is if you go for the one day special because you'll get that 21 pounds off. That's nice with a little bit of drop shadow going on here. And very nice. Uh, your day, your way. Indeed, especially if it's your birthday. Look, we've got a great page here. I'd like to know. In fact, we can ask Sue. Sue, what what were you doing here? Are you there? Hello. Hi. Yes, I am. Hello. How have you? How's your day been today? Lovely and relaxing. <laughs> oh, good. That's good. Now, I don't know if you're um, behind maybe by about 10 seconds, but I'm holding up a little page from one of your journals. And I was just saying, I'm very intrigued whether you're at some sort of festival or something like this. I can't actually see the TV. I've um, oh, turned it off right. in case of feedback or whatever. Oh, uh, not a the problem neon? then. Um, you've, got, you've got some stripes, striped makeup on and I think a glow stick round your neck. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a neon themed page and it was actually a, a work Christmas party. Oh, sounds great. I'd like to go there. Um, amazing. Now, for, for anybody who may be... Oh, sorry, I just got a bit of feedback. For anybody who maybe um, didn't get a chance to see the launch last night, we had a little bit of a chat, didn't we? And we were talking about how your collaboration came about with Els. Do you want to just tell us the story again? Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, okay, being um, a, like a craft um, designer and um, doing lots of commissions, I, I don't actually 
have much time to craft mm-hmm. and buy products myself. But when I saw Elsie's first planner range, I absolutely adored it. Yeah. And it's just my bag, so I purchased it all. And then I wanted to use it, so I started using it, and I uploaded what I was making on her Facebook page. And I used the planner box packaging, and Elle um, saw that and really liked that idea. It's, it's the first page in the planner that you have there, actually. Oh, hang on, I'll find it. Thank yeah, you. It's, it's got a tag in it that I took out because I didn't want to lose it, but basically it's that page from 2018. Right. And um, Elle's, yeah, Elle's really liked it, and she wanted to use my planner for samples for the second range of planner dies. So I let her do that, and then I met with her so that I can get, get my planner back. Yeah. <laughs> and she found out about all my hand lettering and liked what I was doing, and then she gave me this awesome opportunity to design some hand lettered stamps for her. So it's taken off from there, and I'm so grateful and amazing. Oh, bless you, Sue. Well, I think your your hand lettering is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful, and it's so nice that we've got it in one day special form. Thank you so much for taking the time to have a chat, and hopefully we'll see you again soon, Sue. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. All right. Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye. Um, lovely. It's so nice to hear the story, isn't it? And now they're in stamp form. Uh, 58 95 going for your one-day special, or, of course, you can spread the cost to Flexi by payments of 29 48 Right then, moving along, we've got options of nested dies for you, and here they are. Uh, these ones are your, like, indented ones. Uh, you've got the square and the rectangle, and they're very, very nice. You, we saw them, actually, during the video as well. Um, you've got lots and lots of dies to play with. Well, I think they, they look posh, basically. I really like them. Um, this set, in fact, the next sets you're going to see are all under the same item number. Uh, moving along, then, we have got... Um, these are the indented but then this time with a stitch detail and you get your uh, rectangles and squares once more I was saying yesterday I even love the detail down to the colors of the packaging I just love that and then moving along this time we've sort of got the is it like a soft cut co soft corners rounded corners I would call them um, and here you have got the rectangles and the squares in this option and then last but not least <coughs> you've got the rounded corners but this option has the stitch detail so it just depends on what you fancy going for 18 pounds and 98 pence you've got nine pounds saving on each of those they're under the same item number which is six seven nine six zero three then we move on to our fish tails fitted fish tails <coughs> Uh, this is your sort of, um, not plain, I don't like that word, but it, it, basically the other one you're going to see has got a stitched design. Um, there's a nice little sample actually of this. I think this is really pretty. Um, and it's again uh, rainbow themed, which is gorgeous. See, just that as a card is wonderful. 1099 527045. Then we've got the stitched detail of the fishtails and uh, well actually I can bring that in can't I you can see that bit of stitch detail going on there on the card and this option again you've got five dies 10.99 five four six five one four uh, then moving on we've got uh, rectangles and squares now of this I think there are other options on the website um, so you can have a little look I might be wrong with that though um, so you've got uh, some indented uh, and you've got the stitch detail too. Um, 1898, item number is 657716. On the website, ah, right, you have got some others. Um, what are the other ones? I'm trying to think. Ah, oh, there they go. Uh, you've got some of the squares. There's the four different options. There's the rounded and there is the um, rounded squares. 1898657716. Then we move on to, uh, we've got some ovals. Uh, again, one is stitched and one is without the stitch detail. And there you go. <coughs> 21.99 and it's eight pounds off. 036658. And last but not least, we have got the circles. You never have too many nesting dies. My collection's growing quite nicely now. 
uh, stitched and non-stitched for twenty-one ninety-nine, eight pounds off, zero nine zero three two one. Do give us a call on the usual number which is on the screen or you can check out at hachanda.com. And now we're going to see another demo from Sue. Hello, welcome to my craft room. I've got the five hand-lettered stamp sets here. And as well as having general birthday sort of captions, we've also got some inspirational captions as well. So I'm going to use this one to create a piece of artwork this time. And I also like some of these little elements, hearts, the starbursts, some more hearts. So I'll use those as well, incorporate them using a simple technique. So I'll take those two sets away and we'll work with these, these three. So I'm going to grab this one. Be brave, do good, stay you. And I'll take my stamping platform. And I'm going to use a piece of pale lilac card, eight by eight coloured card. And I'll pop that in the middle, I think. Go for that in the middle. There. I've also got here to show you, actually, some of my original artwork of when I drew the captions out. So this one starts off quite big and it ends up being that size. <laughs> so, and there's this one here, just as a matter of interest. Okay, right, let's take some of these nice little elements as well. So you can take these and I think we'll place them around the caption. I've got a nice big swirl, I can have that down there. Some various different hearts and then this one we've got stars I love stars let's put some of these hearts like on an angle as well another star down here and then this one we've got these little starbursty things that's it Pop them. There's quite a few of them, so we can pop them all in and around the design. Like that, another little diddy heart. Want something else down there? Have I used them all up? Yes, I have. Unless I just move them around slightly. I quite like them in sort of groups, groups as well. I think that'll be good. I like that. Close the lid and see if I can pick them all up. Yes, that's good. So I'm going to tap on the top of these lightly with some Versafine clear embossing ink. Make sure they get a good coating. And they stick really well. Sometimes this ink can pick up some of these little stamps if they're not stuck down very well. But they're such a good quality, these stamps. I'm so impressed with them. They are fantastic quality. One of the best I've used, to be honest. I mean, I've used these for quite a while. Um, well, not quite a while, but quite a few different jobs. And they've, uh, they clean up beautifully. I just clean them in liquid soap, a bit of liquid soap on my hand and clean them that way and rinse them well, and air dry them and they just, they're just like new again. Brilliant quality. I think that's good. It's all well covered, put that to one side and give it some heat. Yeah. Sorry about the noise. Got quite a bit to do here. Yeah, it's starting to go now.
shows up more weights once it's done. That's it. There you go. Good thing about the platform as well is that you can do all of this in one go. Actually, just missed a bit there. what you get for rushing I think okay and now we can apply some ink to this got here seedless preserves so I left my magnet behind seedless preserves we're going with this normal distress ink I'm just gonna go plonk it right in the middle don't worry about it not blending out first because we want the depth of the colour here and just continue moving round so that you create a darker background that shows up the lettering. It's almost like a resist technique. That's it. Pull the ink out, out to incorporate all the little doodle designs as well so take your time blend it all right out to the edges as well while I'm doing this actually I'll bring in my planner and I'll show you how I've incorporated some of the captions into planners as well that's a page that I did quite a while ago now with the packaging that I got with the first planner range that I bought. So this page here I've incorporated the today is the day and that lovely hello again. You see it, see it all right. And they are highlighted on the lettering with a yellow paint pen to match the colour theme of the page. So you can incorporate these captions in artwork as well. I'll show you this page too. This one I've done with the packaging that Els um, sent me the stamps, the, the sample set of stamps for me to test and to use. Beautiful stamps here, the other kind of stamps, postage stamps on there. So I thought, oh they're lovely, I don't want to put them in the bin, let's make a planner page out of it. And here I've just put got my um my address and used the happy and the envelope as well. And a while ago I did this um marbling so you don't don't throw anything away. You can always use it for your planner pages pockets and things. This is a um, piece of my hand lettering that I did and then this is the same caption that I've put on a little tag in silver embossing there and then you've got the positive vibes only that's a good one to use for artwork as well. And this is again bits of leftover painting and things that I've incorporated in tags. I've basically done this, I'm just blending out around the edge a bit more just to get that a bit softer. It's almost like a cloud now, I quite like that. Okay, and then there's a bit more of my hand lettering as well. Okay, let's move this to one side. We have here. I'm just going to buff over it with a bit of kitchen towel just to make the clear embossing come up a bit brighter like that. And then if I get my other stamping block here and let's put some ink on there. I want to just do a scrap piece. Spray it with water. Just to ink up a scrap piece of paper, the same lilac paper as 
it just keep blotting soaks up quite well just keep blotting it and then you'll get some scrap pieces like this and basically I've just got um, a butterfly punch that I just want to punch out some butterflies let's have a third that's it and I've also got the similar one that's tiny diddy one putting it in the that's it press a few of these that's it get the idea let's take those out thick and they can go onto the artwork so I've got three big butterflies fill up some of the gaps with these just creates a bit of dimension, a bit more movement and then these little diddy ones as well put some of those in and around and this could be framed up and look nice in a little girl's bedroom or somewhere we could use like you know blues and other colours for doesn't look quite so girly. Okay, and then we've got to give it some gems. Let's put on some gems. So we'll have some bigger ones in and around. Oh, no, let's put that one there. It's working threes again. Let's have three big ones. Then I'll put some medium sized ones on the butterfly's body. that another one on there and then I have these lovely little diddy ones lucky I've got all purple purple ones put them on the little butterflies bodies there and you can go to town with this you know add all sorts of other little embellishments that you've got different color schemes Add more gems if you like. Okay, um, now let me show you this one that I've done earlier. I've actually cut this out of the planner die. Ooh, <laughs> that's flown back into the shot. I used um, cut, cut, I could probably do the same again with that one. Cut it out with the planner die and added the some heart reinforcements and I, I don't know if you can see this but I actually made a bit of an error I cut it because I wanted it yeah I cut it upside down so sometimes when you use a die cutting machine the other way you get all the um, the little um, indent bits and texture from the cutting plate so it ended up being a strip down here and I thought oh no I've ruined it but I actually liked the texture I don't know if you can see that so I actually um, ran it through again without a die just to get that texture all over. Happy accident really, I quite liked that. So I've done that on like an, a diagonal sort of look to go into my planner. So there you go, you can use the captions for all sorts of other things. Thank you for watching. Back to the studio. And we have got the finished samples here again from Sue that she was doing. I love that, I have to say, love the composition of it. I think that's fabulous. And then we've got this one as well. Marvellous. So we've got so many lovely samples. Now what would you like, more samples or should we see the stamps? Let's see the stamps, cool. Um, right, so if we want to start uh, up here, we've got some brilliant brush lettered designs. And uh, this one is called Your Day. Um, you can get them individually, but as we've been saying, um, it's much better value if you go, or you get such a good saving if you go for the collection. So there you go, you've got birthday wishes on there as well as your way, your day, I like that one. And then we move on to, we've got Just For You. This is, that's what it's called, it's called For You. Um, wish Big, um, Best Wishes, there's Birthday Happiness and some little presents. And then coming down, 
Uh, this is the one that's got You Got This. I like that. And it's called Hello, officially, if you're looking on the website. B uh, dream big. And you've got your happy birthday to you. And next up, then, we've got uh, the Have the Best Day. It's got that nice popping champagne cork. The Celebrate. And um, it's got the flute there with a bit of bubbly in. And today is the day. And a little bit of bunting. And then last but not least, we've got Be Brave do good and stay you. It's lovely. This one is called birthday and you've got those nice little candles there and positive vibes only. Uh, £58.95 is the price or of course you can spread that cost on flexi buy but you've got 25-ish, in fact less than that, about 20-ish minutes uh, to get <coughs> your one day special discount. You can also spread the cost two payments of 29.48. 332.875 is your item number. We've got one more demo that we can squeeze in from Sue. Let's take a look. Hello again. Right, from the five sets of hand letter stamps, I'm going to now make a card using the Celebrate caption. I like that one. And I also like some of these birthday icons, images. And the candle so I'm going to use those as well probably not going to use this one so I'll put this one to one side and I am also going to use the Elizabeth Craft Design soft finish card stock this time and I'm going to use this as my card base and I've got the 300 GSM one here if I just cut this in half I will get a nice square card base so I'll just measure this up about there has a nice gentle bobbly textured surface so I'll cut this in half and I've got two card blanks then but I'll just use the one okay get rid of one of them Bring in my stamping platform. I'll pop it this way. Okay, and then also I'm going to use these fishtail banners, the normal fitted ones without the stitched marks. And I've got here the three smaller ones. Those, I'll take those and I'll cut these with my that's it, die cutting machine on the same card. So I'll get these here. Okay. Go for five, because five's a good number. Three or fives, different sizes. I've got two larger ones. Let's see if I can fit these on. Two larger ones, two medium ones, and one thin one. I'm not going to have enough magnets to hold everything down so I'll grab some craft tape just to pop on there that's it okay let's get our stamps so I like this present the gift so I'll place these towards the bottom this one I like the candle we go for the smaller one place that one on the bottom as well and let's have some champagne let go in the medium one right there and then we'll have some cake cake with the champagne there and celebrate with a balloon let's have a party balloon as well Make sure they're all in place. That needs to go around that way. That's it, straighten them up. And then the celebrate word. Let's take that and put that on the bottom, right at the bottom of the card. I use these magnets to centralise it. Just do it by eye, that's enough. We tilt it a little bit more. Okay good to go i'm going to stamp these in blank black ink i've got the archival ink here 
light lit up all over. I'm using the platform as well because of the finished surface of the cardstock is bobbly. Sometimes the ink doesn't protrude straight through all the bobbles. Let's see how we go. Press down on all of them, make sure they're well covered. There. So I've missed a bit on the glass, the present, the middle of the celebrate word. Probably because of my desktop is wooden, so it's not totally level. Move it in different places, that might help. A bit more. There, and there. It's worth it, I think, because this cardstock is nice and it takes watercolours and water and inks really well. I might be having trouble because I'm right on the edge of the platform as well, which isn't the best. Press down, nearly there. Sorry about this. Let's get it well covered and then we can colour. Add some colour to our little banners and images. That should do it. Right, maybe just a bit more on the there. Okay. Get the idea. Take these off. Should let the ink dry a little bit before we add our water. That should be okay. This to one side. I'm going to actually use colouring pencils this time, watercolouring pencils. Let's have a piece of spare card to put on the background. Right, bring in some water as well. There we go. So I'm just going to scribble some colour. I picked out um, a selection of colours. Scribble some colour on the top. Pick the colour up with the water. And I think I'm just going to drag it down. Any old how. If I pick it up, it might actually dribble down. That might be quite nice as well. I think that will do. Just like that. Cake will have the red. Satisfying to do this. I do like water and colour, watercolour pencils. Just to create kind of an ombre effect in a random sort of way. Put that one dry. I have to have yellow for the champagne. Pick up some yellow, such vibrant colours as well. Nice. Okay. And then for this little, I'm going to go for blue. See the texture of the card as well when I've coloured, coloured it in. Yeah. One. All right. Which colour haven't I used? Orange. And the orange one for the balloon. So bring that colour down. More water. Right. And then also I'm going to just pick up some of the colour, spare colour I've got at the top, and just colour in the images a little bit as well. Just gone into that shine of the balloon and I didn't want to. I want to go round it there. Don't have to be precise. Pick up some yellow and put that in the glass. Pick up some maroon, put that on the present. Just to bring that colour down, give it some more colour. Again, you don't have to colour all the design, just areas of it. 
makes it look sort of fresher then and shiny. And then the candle. It's a traditional looking candle. Red and blue stripes. Red and blue, white and blue stripes. Okay, leave them to dry. And then we'll score this. Fold our card in half. Out there and there. Square card with a top fold. So, crease down the fold. Okay. Take this away. And then what I'm going to do is to place these banners on. Hopefully they're almost dry. Let's see what level we would like them to be. Uh, balloons a bit higher like it's floating up in the air the champagne in the middle there cake cake on the end a bit higher and the candle a bit lower on the cake about there so I've missed out some of the colour bring some more of that colour down it to match the others. This red as well, bring some more back down. Okay, and then you can mark the tops of these where they can be cut off. There. And then you can cut them off. Actually, I'll wait for them to dry before I cut them off. And then you can apply them with foam pads. And you're good to go. Here's one I've made earlier. And this time, I, instead of doing it haphazardly, I try to ombre it across and blend it down. There, just a quick, simple design using the hand-lettered stamp collection. Thank you for joining me. Back to the studio. Gorgeous. And here again, we have got the finished sample in the studio. Um, really pretty, really gorgeous, clean, simple, elegant design, don't you think? That is lovely. You have now pretty much bang on 10 minutes remaining to get your one day special. You've got 54 gorgeous stamps and sentiments in here for you to play with. What's nice is that some of them are large enough where they become a real focal point for a card, but of course then you can use them for the verses inside a card. You could even use the, some of the sentiments to make a background in itself if you wanted. You're also noticing that you've got um, the extras. So for example, there's a little cupcake, little tea, uh, uh, cup and saucer, there's a balloon to use. Um, so you've got lots of little extra elements. There you go, there's the cupcake and that nice slice of cake there. I bet a lot of you um, were at home yesterday celebrating VE Day with a nice slice of cake and a cup of tea. That's what we like. And then we've got the uh, Just For You and it's got Wish Big on it. There's the little presents that are really, really cute. And on this one we've got Birthday, birthday Happiness. Yes, indeed, lovely. And then coming down to the bottom, so this is your final look. Remember, the price is going back up in 10 minutes' time, and it's a lovely saving of £21. Uh, I love that you got this. And there's the little envelope, too, and the dream big. And a few little extras there. And then the middle one we've got. This one's got the uh, popping cork. There's a bit of confetti. There's your celebrate and a, a nice glass of cool bubbly and some streamers and hearts. And then the sentiments that today is the day. Uh, that one's a really good one for a wedding, Lottie's saying. And a bit of bunting there. And the last one, remember, 54 stamps, great price. Positive vibes only. I really like that one. Now, individually, they're 15 
So do check out your one-day special to get that £21 saving. Let's see, lots of samples. Now, these samples, I think, these first set, um, are from all of the demos that we've see, seen throughout the course of the 24 hours. They're so pretty, aren't they? So whether you're going to use them in your journals, for your scrapbooking, uh, obviously for your card making, we've got a nice journal page here. That's the one. I love that it was a... Um, like glow in the dark work party that's brilliant i <laughs> love that um this is so this is what i mean about making a nice background out of them they don't just have to be a focal point that that's really fab oh and that one was actually a demo that sue did i'm just looking on the back of the card um gorgeous as that focal point uh birthday happiness is lovely and this just her handwriting is just exquisite i mean it's a real art form um, doing your brush lettering. Here's another one. This must be from the same party, I reckon. <laughs> Love it. This is another demo that uh, Sue did. I'm pretty sure we saw this at the 8 o'clock show last night. Um, we've got an <laughs> added little moustache. That's cute, isn't it? That's a good one for uh, the gents out there. And here's another one with the celebrate. See how useful those little extra workers are. That's a really lovely background. Here's another page out of the journal wish big and then you've got the dream big nice different textures of course um, that you can create with your stamps don't have to just use inks you can sort of stamp into maybe a little bit of texture paste and just make sure that you do um, clean your stamps uh, you don't want you don't want to ruin them with that and then that's nice that was another demo I'm sure with the inky background again the envelopes also make a great background. So you see those extras you're getting, they really work well. We've got have the best day today. I love that stamped in the, uh, stamped in the silver and embossed. Uh, your day, your way. Again, just so elegant, so clean and simple. This one's got a nice little bit of a drop shadow to it, which I think really makes it pop. And I do like monochrome. I think that's, um, you know, it's also really quite striking. Happy birthday to you, we've got on here. That one's by Jackie. Um, so lots and lots of inspiration for you. Um, do get your one day special because also creating, you know, elements of home decor is really good. In fact, there's one down here. Let's pick this up. See this, I mean, gosh, making to sell. How good does that look? I mean, it looks so professional, doesn't it? Yeah, imagine what you could make to sell and what, what you could get if you're making to sell with it. Final time then, this is it's now or never to check out your baskets for the one day special and of course all the other um, nested dies that we've got on there. 332875 is the item number. Do call us on the usual number which is 01733602000 or you can check out on the website at hachanda.com and I now hand over to Sir Adam. Oh. Um, Adam's just said he's been promoted. What were you previously? Oh, just a commoner, he's saying. Right, coming up next, we've got some fantastic fabrics and Adam's going to take you through the evening. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. 
As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on our channel? Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. We sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies, and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Yes, a very good early evening to you. Now, this whole hour is going to be about if you don't think you can do something, just listen to this story. Uh, Aduka started off as a barista many years ago, turned designer, and she started learning her course, her trade, while she was on maternity in 2016 2017. She took a range of short courses in texture over the course of a year from a local adult learning centre. These courses included things like clothes making, tailoring, pattern cutting. She then went on to find these beautiful fabrics and create her own wares. Where at parties and events people would gather around and go, well where did you get that from? Where did you get these amazing prints from? From then on she's just gone from strength to strength to strength. With a book, Sewing with African Printouts, out in the summer, She's also featured on Kirsty Allsop's Handmade Christmas back in 2019 as well. And all of this made from her own fair hands while she was on maternity. If that doesn't say to you, if that doesn't say to you, well, I can't sew, 
That is a story and a half. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do it. Well, good evening. How are you, first of all? Uh, I've had a little week off. Yes, lovely little week off in the sun. Obviously, not been anywhere in the garden. I won't go into why I had the week off. I'm meant to be going to Skeggy with supermarkets, so I won't go into that now. We'll do that later. We've got four hours together this evening as well. Um, do join in throughout the four hours. I'm going nowhere. Don't you go anywhere either with me. Uh, stay with me for four hours. There's not much on the TV these days, is there, to be fair? You don't want to watch In For A Penny, In For A Grand. That's Stephen Mulhern. Oh, you don't want to be watching him. Uh, stay here with me, uh, Chanda. The next four hours, I'll be taking you through to nine o'clock. Uh, eight o'clock, I'll be taking you through this evening as well. All uh, right, before we go any further, I watched her from afar on the studio last time. She this is her second live airing. Uh, we've got, I think, the lady herself, the genius behind this. Uh, Adaka, my love, are you there? I am. Hello. How are you? I'm lovely. How are you? I'm good, thank you. All, yeah. I'm quite nervous. I've been off for a week. It's like I've never done this before. <laughs> um, very nervous. Uh, first of all, um, I gave a, a synopsis, as it were, of your background and your history of how you became how this all became, and you became to the wonderful world of a chanda. Um, yes. When I was doing my research yesterday and the day before, I was very taken aback when I saw the name Kirsty Allsop thrown in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was on the um, Kirsty Allsop's Handmade Christmas uh, late last year. Oh, she's a good. Oh, she's a good. One. That must mean you know you know your thing. You know a you know a <laughs> stitch or two. Uh, for those people that have just joined us, maybe just flicked on again. What got you into the world? That's what I was really intrigued. From a barista all the way to the wonderful world of sewing. Was it just you were on maternity and looking for something to do? <laughs> so um, I I had been a barrister. I was on maternity leave, and I was just thinking about something else that I could do that um, might be more suitable for sort of having a young family. Um, and I was watching Sewing Bee, actually. I was watching Sewing Bee a few years ago now, um, and I thought, oh, I don't really understand what's going on, but this looks really interesting. And then, by coincidence, I saw an advert at my local adult learning center for textile classes. So I thought, well, okay. I suppose my interest had been sparked from watching the bee, so I thought, well, why not just give it a go and see if I like it? And I absolutely loved it. And it just sort of started from there. It is amazing. It's absolutely phenomenal. For some, and to look at the prints as well, I'm loving, I love the prints that you've bought us. We're just looking at some of the finished samples. Uh, we've got patterns for these on the show as well. But the prints and the textures that you've bought us, they feel amazing. Now, it's going to be one of those questions that everyone's going to ask. First of all, uh, the material, is it easy to work with? Very easy to work with. So they're all 100% cotton. Um, you can treat them as you would any medium weight cotton. Um, yeah, they are fab to work with. They're easy to sew with. They don't um, flip, um, move around too much. They're not too sort of slippery. And yeah, they're great to work with. They are absolutely, they are beautiful fabrics as well. And you're getting an awful lot of fabric uh, for your money as well for £14.99. Um, the fabric themselves though, obviously it says the, the wax uh, printable fabric. Has it got that waxy layer? Is it, it are we sewing with wax? Is it going to mess up my needles with my machine and stuff like this? Because obviously no, the minute you start no. seeing wax. No, no, not at all. Um, so the wax just describes the method of the printing. So... Similar to batik, it's a wax resist method of printing onto cotton. So effectively, the way that you would turn the white sheet of cotton into sort of these beautiful, intricate designs, but there isn't actually wax on it, sort of not at all. It's literally just a medium weight cotton fabric with no wax. That's good to know, because <laughs> if... But as you look at them, though, I've got them in the studio, and I was, I was looking at the purple one, and as I hold it up in, to me in the studio, it has got that uh, sort of waxy sheen to it. I mean, so I, I think that's just um, from the factory. I think that's, that, that's sort of just um, the finish. Um, but what you would do when you buy your fabric, um, pre-wash it in the machine, um, press with your iron, and it will resemble kind of any other cotton that you have on your bed sheets or wherever else. 
Oh, oh Maxie. While I've got you on the line as well, then I, I, will, I will let you go, because it's, it's five o'clock. You must have tea on at some point. Um, I don't want you to burn it. Uh, but the patterns that we've got on the show as well, once again, I'm going to sit on the plants and play devil's advocate, as it were. Everyone says patterns. Oh, yeah, it's all well and good having a pattern, but they're going to be really, really hard. I'm never going to be able to create a pattern. Your patterns are slightly different, aren't they? Because you've built these with a beginner in mind. Exactly. Um, these are perfect for the absolute beginner. What I was really conscious about was having patterns that allowed the fabric to really sing. Um, there, are so, there are patterns that have so many pieces that by the time you sort of cut, 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 cut and cut, all the sort of the beautiful design of the fabric has almost been cut away. The beauty about these patterns is that they have for the most part, um, very few pieces, either two pieces or three if you include the pocket, which means that you can literally go to town on kind of your placement of the design on the pattern, or should I say the fabric, and as I say, really um, allowing the fabrics to sing. They are, it is beautiful, and so they're so, so easy. Right then, I'm going to let you go, my love. It's lovely talking you. to you. I hope Thank to work you. with you in person soon. Uh, uh, Oh, yes, I thought you said that. Yeah, I'd love to work with you and stay safe. And uh, I'll see you at Chandler Towers very, very soon. Take care. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Oh, she's ever such a good egg. And all. We've waved from afar from the other side of the studio. Right, let's do details and then we'll get to your patterns themselves. Once again, remember we've got your deal as well. Four for three, as it were. Uh, so it, maybe you want to fill your boots. One, two, three, four. You'd only be paying for three of them. You know, it's worth going for as well. The code's at the bottom of the screen as well. VE4 for three. Right, let's go through your colours. Let's start. This is your Rabina leaves is what we're looking at here. So this is Rabina leaves. I love the material that you get here. You're getting two yards as well, which is, which is a lot of fabric, really, uh, in, in weight's worth, as it was. And it's good quality fabric as well. Uh, good quality fabric that you're getting. Two yards of it all in all. Uh, for example, I'll show you this in a skirt. Oh, a 47-inch width as well. That's it on a skirt. Uh, beautiful little skirt as well. But you can see how stunning it is as well. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it is nice. It really is. Look at that for a statement piece. A statement piece. That, a little, a little cold shoulder cami. Oh, listen to me. Oh, I'm like Gok Wan, in I, eh? A little off the shoulder. A key, keyhole detail, maybe, around the front, around the back. Bright skirt. You'll be, you'll be away with that. Little keyhole detail. Uh, then, sparkles and stripes up next let's go for a bit of sparkles and stripes so this is your sparkles and stripes that we're talking now now once again sort of that firework theme that we're talking about in this which is beautiful uh, lends itself to so many things maybe you you don't make clothes maybe you're thinking ah, clothes are not for me but I, I've got a project in mind I've got a little throw I want to make, a little cushion you're going to put together. You're going to use it on your MDF as well. You use it how you see fit, but they are absolutely beautiful. And then once again, you can make your little holiday tops if you wanted to as well. Look, look at that. Hey, little round neck, little bit of statement jewellery. Oh, pair of, oh, a pair of black trousers. Little elastic, just in case you have a big dinner. You can't go wrong, can you? That's nice. It's a little statement element that you've got there. So you've got your tops in there as well. If you want to go for your tops, it's entirely up to you. Up next, snowdrops on purple. Oh, and whiskers on kittens. Um, snowdrops on purple and whiskers on kittens. <laughs> right. I've sang that every time I've said that name in my head. Um, but this is your snowdrops on purple. Uh, they go for the flowers. Now, when I first saw it, I thought snowflakes. But then I thought, oh no, it is actually snowdrops as well. So don't be deceived with this. It is beautiful. There's tiny little flowers that's in there, them tiny little elements. Um, I can see like a, my little mould, I can see the dress now as well. Uh, like a little... A little dress like this, like, like an all-in-one like pin it's like a little pinafore dress, as it were. We've got the patterns for all these as well. Uh, we've got the patterns for all of these if you want them. But once again, a nice little floaty dress, a nice little dress to go to go on holiday with, to sit round that pool. Maybe you're just gonna pop it on after after a little shower or a bath. You know, one of them sort of outfits. In the summer, you don't want much on, do you? 
Ah, curse, give me the nod. She don't want much on. Just a bathrobe. That's all she has. Oh, scares the postman. Now, uh, up next, oh, look at this. Netting on blue is what we've got next as well. Kirsty's with us for all four hours. And uh, <laughs> oh, then we've got Shana there as well. Oh, you're swapping later? Oh! Oh, you're doing the last three? Oh, we're all, oh, we've got a full team here today as well. Uh, then we've got our Jimmy and Katie in my ear as well. Oh, oh. Jimmy goes astray, our Katie will pull us back. She runs a tight ship. As it were. Right then, very busy on these as well, is what we're on. And last but no means least, let's move my goggles. Uh, candles and fireworks on this one. Uh, so, oh, I'm loving this. Look at this. So there's your candles and your fireworks. Very New Year's esque. I like this little New Year's dress if you were going to wear it as well. Nice little bonfire I can see in the garden. Little barbecue little number as well. Uh, maybe you want it in a skirt. Once again, this is what I love uh, about this company as well. Absolutely beautiful. You can do so much with it. And just look at that skirt. Doesn't that add something different? And I suppose if you change it, sorry Jim, I am moving, but if you moved it around... Oh, God, you <laughs> I'd lay off the cakes, love. But, no, because I wanted to move the dress around so you could see the different pattern. Because obviously you could go for the large chandelier. Yeah, that's easy, Kirsty. Uh, you can go for that large chandelier if you wanted to down the front. But you could also... Just go for your fireworks. So you can use the elements on it as well. Oh, I do. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, something very fancy. Sorry, love. We've not, I've not even took you for a drink. Um, look at me already. Oh, I think I've pulled. Uh, but very busy. £14.99. 789 116 is your item number for your fabric. £14. Same item number, but you go for what you want to go for. Remember, four for three. So if you want to go for four of these, you would only pay for three of them. Okay, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but try and get the best value for money. What you may also want to go for, though, is one of the patterns that we were talking about on the show. Now, we've got the patterns on the show as well. Now, the first thing that everyone says a pattern is the size. Now, don't worry. The skirt goes from an 8 to an 18. These are the sizes you're going to get in this pattern. So there's a lot in there. Uh, we'll talk about the tops as we go. We'll do each one as we go. Same item number again, uh, but this is just, well, this same item number, but this one's for the skirt, okay? So the, for the skirt, 599201 is your item number. If you want to jump ahead to me, shop ahead on the web, it's entirely up to you. Uh, this is the skirt itself. A beautiful floating skirt. You can't go wrong with them for the sheer fact all the patterns are designed with fewer pieces as possible, okay? So it possibly shows off the fabric and it shows off all the best bits. So you're not going to get bits and bobs everywhere. The patterns are very, very simple to use. The patterns as well... Oh, I don't know what I've done to that skirt. She's got a big kink in that, isn't she? Look at that. A bit of a... Oh. Uh, but the skirt itself, very few pieces, comes in a... Well, once again, it comes in an 8 to an 18, but absolutely beautiful. It's got you yeah, fewer sizes. Let me show you one of the patterns. I've got one here. This is not for the skirt, though. This is for the top. But we've got... We'll, we'll, move, we'll move down. We'll move down. They're all exactly the same. Exactly the same. Same item number. 599206. Now, the top that I showed you goes from an 8... Oh, my God. Look at that. I'm loving these tops. It goes from an 8 all the way up to a size 26. Okay. So once again, how do I know what size I am, Adam? Do I have to do a lot of measurements? I know, for example, I'm a size 10. Uh, how does this all work? Well, let me show you. Calm down, Doris. Now, what we've got is we've got different colourways. Okay, on the pattern, this is not your pattern. So you go from each of these lines is a different size. Okay, so you've got your, your pinks in there, your purples. So you will then follow the lines accordingly. I wonder if I can open this out. Let's do it because I've got to fold it back up. So, oh, we got here. We got a lot of VTs to get in as well. Uh, look how many pieces. Look at that. And that is it. That is your top. That's all you need. There's two two pieces. Well, I ask you. Come on now. Anyone could do this. Have a little go. Have a little go. Went from a barrister to a now a, a world famous sewer. Uh, so, um, 
I, I can't fold that up, so I just threw it out. Uh, very good. So we've got the top. We've also got your dress as well. They all come with full instructions. Uh, everything in there, 8 to 26 with here as well. You get full instructions with all of your garments, so you know everything that you're going to do. Very, very busy. Now, if you're thinking, Adam, I'd like the skirt and the top together. The top, we've already seen. You also want the skirt as well. So the two that are on their mannequins there. So you can get both patterns... For the skirt and for the top, is that for that skirt or the actual skirt? It's, oh, it's that. I was going to say, Jim. Ah, Jim, he doesn't know he's wearing between a skirt and a dress. It's been a while, bless him. Oh, them days you've not been in them clubs for years, have you, Jim, eh? Them eyelashes must be getting worn. Uh, you can get both of these now, the top and the skirt, for £29.96. So that's patterns for both of them. OK, so you're going to get both patterns. 472163 is your item number. You'll get both of the patterns. Remember, all those sizes as well. So that's one item. Or maybe you want to go for... Into, obviously, you're saving money if you go for your tops and your patterns. But maybe you go for all three of your patterns... So you buy one for you, one for a friend, another one for a friend, and you throw in a piece of fabric. You throw in the fabric, the fabric's going to be free. You can't go wrong, it's entirely up to you. Let's show you, though, how easy these are to make. Let's look, let's take the skirt, for example. We'll take the skirt, and let's show you. Check out your baskets while you're watching this, because I know the minute we show you this and how easy it is, the phone's going to go crazy, crazy, crazy busy. Uh, have a little look at this. Hi everyone, my name is Adaki Parker and I'm the owner of Dovetailed. I sell African wax print fabrics and I also design sewing patterns that I sell. I am so excited to be on Hachanda again today. I was previously on the show on the 17th of March, so if you want to have a look at that first show, then um, do have a look. It was the 17th of March at 4 o'clock. Um, I will be showing you today some beautiful African wax print fabrics and some sewing patterns that I design and sell. Um, these fabrics are made from 100% cotton and they are printed on both sides of the fabric. They are printed using the wax resist method of printing onto cotton, similar to batik. Um, that method of printing really makes for excellent colour penetration. This, in in, this as a result means that the fabrics are colour fast. Um, when you first receive your fabric, I would uh, put it in the machine, um, wash it at 40 degrees with detergent. Um, I would perhaps not wash it with other um, garments other sort of laundry initially, I'd probably just wash it on its own. And um, after it's been washed, dry it in the normal way and then give it a good press before cutting out. Um, the reason, I mean, there are two reasons for doing this. The first reason is that it's generally good practice to wash and press your fabric before um, cutting and sewing. Um, the second reason is because these fabrics are wax printed, they do have a kind of a stiffer finish to them. Um, and you will find once you've washed and pressed that that kind of stiffer waxy finish um, has softened up, that the fabric has softened up and you will be left with a beautiful medium weight cotton that is really um, a complete joy to sew with. Um, the sewing patterns really came about because at various shows that I um, would attend, people would always ask me, what can they make with the fabric? They love the fabric, fabric's gorgeous, but what can I make with it? So that got me thinking, and I um, thought about designing a range of sewing patterns, and I have um, started that, so I've got three so far with more to come. I'm going to be showing you today... Um, parts of the sewing process of all three of the garments. Um, so one is a skirt pattern called Althea, the second is a top pattern called Priscilla, and the third is a dress pattern called Megan. Now with um, the skirt pattern, I have um, cut that um, today for you in um, one of my um, fabrics that is on sale called Candles and Fireworks. It's an absolute stunner. So I'm going to be showing you today how to sew 
that skirt which I have cut up in um, candles and fireworks. What I'll also be um, sewing today is the top pattern. I actually started this on the first show, but there wasn't enough time to finish it, unfortunately. So I am going to be showing you more steps from that top and hopefully finish that with you today. The third pattern I'm going to be sewing, as I said, is the Megan. Again, I started that um, at the first show and I'm going to um, finish that today. So I hope you um, will enjoy watching that. And um, without further ado, let me start the sewing. I'm going to be showing you first the Althea skirt. So I'm about to demonstrate the sewing of the Althea skirt. The Althea skirt has inseam pockets. Um, when you have cut them out, there'll be four pocket pieces. And um, what you will do if you have one i would overlock all of the raw edges of the pocket in this way so i've done that already and i'm just going to neaten off snip away these um, loose threads from the overlocker one of the things you will have to um add to your uh, pocket pieces are called notches and what these notches do is that they simply are a marker effectively for where you will line up this pocket piece with the side seam of the skirt If you do not have an overlocker, then um, you can use your over edge foot to do this, or you can use a zigzag stitch just to neaten the raw edges. It's not fatal if you don't, because this fabric is quite um, structured, but you will find after repeated washing that the raw edges will begin to fray if they haven't been overlocked. And I've also um, done the same with the skirt I have overlocked the side seams of the skirt you won't need to um, finish off the um, hem yet or the waistband we'll look at those later okay so I'm about to um, stitch one of the pocket pieces to the side seam of um, either the front or the back of the skirt. I'm going to start stitching one inch before um, the pocket piece and I will um, stop stitching about one inch after. I um, will be using what is roughly a quarter of an inch seam allowance and in fact it lines up pretty neatly with um, the inside edge of this overlock stitch. Make sure that the um, pocket piece and um, the uh, back or front skirt piece are right sides together. I'm then going to, um, I'll just show you what it looks like. So that's it from the front. And then this is how it looks from the wrong side. So I'm going to repeat that for the three other pocket pieces. So I've now sewn all four pocket pieces um, to the front and back, left and right of the um, skirt and I'm now going to press the seams. When we say we're pressing the seams, you will lay 
the seam um, right side down onto the ironing board and you'll literally open it up using the tip of your iron, run the tip of your iron along the seam. Having done that on the wrong side, you'll then flip it over and repeat that along the top right side of that same seam. What that does is um, doing that as it were throughout the garment, um, the sewing of the garment just gives your um, clothes a really kind of professional finish. It means there's no bulking at the seams and everything will look really flat and it will lay really smooth. Little hidden secret, a skirt with a pocket, did you know? Oh, I see. I thought I'd keep something back. I thought I'd hold it back a little. Yes, the skirt does come with a pocket as well. So you're getting the pocket in there. If you don't want the pocket, you haven't got to do the pockets if you don't want to as well. Uh, your pockets are... Look. Oh, you've got that waft. You know, when it's warm. Oh. Give, you could do a good spin. This is a spinny fabric. But let's go through the colourways because we we'll want to get back to the second version of that demo as well. Uh, you've got your Rubina stripes, your Rubina leaves that are here as well. You've got your Rubina leaves that are here. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the colour depth that's in there. The texture, that beautiful red and gold that's in there. You've got the shine that's in there, but the shine... Obviously, we think as I think as is directed from the uh, straight from the factory. As is, that's why we've got that shine on it. Now, remember, if you're going to sparkles and stripes are next, but if you're going to make uh, clothes out of it, wash it first to get rid of the shrinkage. If you're going to make a bag, just leave it as normal, go crack straight on. Uh, but what a beautiful bag this would make! Look at this for a bag. Same item number for all your materials. Seven eight nine one one six is your item number. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Up next is your snowdrops on purple. Oh, look at that. Snowdrops on purple. Um, when we come back after the VT, we'll open one of these out as well, so you can see how much material you're actually getting. Uh, up next... I'm oh, sorry, Jim. <laughs> next, next is... Uh, ne I'm new to this. Uh, netting on blue is what we're looking at next as well. So this is your netting on blue. And then last but no means least, we've got your candles and your fireworks. I'm going to open it up. We're going to do it now before we end the fabric. Uh, oh, it's huge. Look at that. You're getting, what are you getting? You're getting two candelabras in there as well, full candelabras. You've got the little bulbs in the middle. I'm loving the bulbs in the middle as well. Look at that. Something very, something very theatrical about this as well, I feel. Very, very theatrical. Uh, I, would I would like that in a canvas. You imagine that on a canvas, stretched taut, just on a canvas, it would be beautiful. Uh, right then, we've seen the, oh, we've seen the first half, uh, we've seen the first half of our skirt being made, so we know how to do the pocket, we know how to sew the pocket in, but how do we do the whole skirt? Have you noticed as well, no zips, no fastenings, they've kept it very, very simple, just a little bit of elastic and you can't go wrong. You can do this when you get them home. So I've now pressed the seams of um, those pocket pieces and side seams. Um, this is the front of my skirt. It's um, lying right side up. And I've got here the back of the skirt and that's lying right side down. So I'm going to join those together at the waist area of the skirt because what I'm now going to do is I'm going to sew the front and the back together at the side seams and to do, and to do that simply um, line up the side seams when you get to a point um, slightly below this overlocked edge here on the pocket you will leave your needle down pivot the fabric so that you can then stitch along here I've come off the screen so that you can then stitch along here down the bag we're now closing this pocket bag come back in to the side seam and then stitch all the way down to the end 
So I'll do that and then I'll show it again. So I'm starting now. I'm going to um, stitch using a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance along the side seam. I'm going to reduce that seam allowance to about one centimetre um, when I'm stitching the pocket bag closed. As I say, I'll come just a bit further below than the um, stitched line here, this overlocked line here. Turn the fabric or turn the garment so that the um, top of the pocket piece is facing downwards towards you and then you'll stitch down here. As, and you you can see you probably can't see but I have in any event reduced that seam allowance to about one centimeter sort of curved area let me um, use some pins Again, it's a one centimetre seam allowance that you'll be using. Use some more pins. now sewing around the bottom of the bag snip threads as you go Now you're coming back to the side seam. If I do some pinning here, that will make that a bit clearer. And you're going to, once you've come out of the pocket bag and you've stitched the pocket bag together, you'll then come onto the side seam and stitch that side of the skirt closed. Note that you wouldn't sew down here because if you do then you'd simply sew the pocket closed so continue sewing around that pocket bag across that seam Stop, few stitches past that seam. As we resume um, closing this seam, again, our seam allowance will be one and a half centimetres or five eighths of an inch. And then you'll just stitch all the way down to the end of the skirt. Again, it's right side to right side. And 
then back stitch at the end. You'll then do the same. <clears throat> you'll then do the same on the other side. Once you've done that, you'll again want to press the seams and then um, we will move on to the waistband. Okay, so as I have pressed the side seams, I'll now move on to the waistband. Uh, with the waistband, what you want to do is to create a casing um, through which you will thread the elastic. So in order to do that, um, you have the uh, skirt facing wrong side up. You will then um, turn the raw edge towards you and towards the wrong side using a quarter of an inch. So use your seam gauge to measure a quarter of an inch. That's roughly a quarter of an inch. And you'll do that um, around the circumference of the uh, waist area. You'll then, having done that, turn the um, waist band casing over um, roughly one eighth of an inch. The reason it's one eighth of an inch is because the elastic is one inch and I find if you only turn it over one inch then you are kind of fighting to get the elastic through whereas if you turn it over one inch and just a bit or an eighth that just gives you that extra bit of ease. So you will um, turn it under a quarter of an inch and then turn it under again again to the wrong side one inch and a bit um, I'm going to do that on my um, ironing board um, using my iron and my seam gauge and then I will come back and show you how to thread the elastic okay so I have um, pinned the casing so I've turned it under a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then I turned it under again one inch and one eighth of a seam allowance um, or rather width I should say to um, create this casing. Here is my elastic. I've cut that to my waist circumference and that's what you'll do. So rather than but by, by all means do look at the dress sizing measurements but this um, elastic needs to be your waist circumference so measure that and then cut the elastic to that if you're buying elastic for this you won't need more than a meter um, that would be more than enough for your waist circumference okay so we're going to sew um, from the wrong side I get my skirt lined up I'm going to be using um, roughly a one eighth of an inch seam allowance because I really want to get as close to this open edge as possible.
so I've literally tried my best to stitch as close to this edge as I possibly can. Some machines come with something called an edge foot. That foot allows you to line up um, the, the um, sewing machine foot with this edge here and then the needle will literally stitch um, millimeters from the other side of it. So they're really useful. As you're getting back to where you started, remember to leave a two inch gap, minimum two, two inch gap. Again, cutting your loose threads. All right, you can stop about here, back stitch, plenty of room. Okay, so I'll remove this pin and I've got this gap here and into this gap will go my elastic. You'll need one of these safety pins. Pin the safety pin through the elastic at one side and then begin to feed it through. Take your time no rush and be careful to make sure that the elastic doesn't twist as it's being pulled through let me move those out of the way okay I'll speed up a bit now Yes, indeed. We will go back for our third and final part. If you're liking the patterns and how they're making all these, you can do this as well. The patterns, the details are on your screen. 599201 is your item number. These will they turn into £17.99. Choose which pattern you would like. Maybe you want all three. You can go for all three or there's a two-pack as well. Check the website. Right then, let's get straight back to see a finished skirt. So when you've pulled the elastic through, um and you've now brought it out the other side, the other end, um, you'll have two ends of elastic that you'll now need to sew together. What I like to do is just by overlapping them slightly, perhaps just half an inch or um, half a centimetre, uh, forgive me, um, one centimetre or so, one and a half centimetres, that sort of um, width. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch because um, it's quite a strong stitch. And I'm going to go back and forth across um, that overlapping um, elastic just to really secure it in place. And I'm going to do that now using, as I say, a zigzag stitch. some of these pins out of the way. I'll just take that out and make sure I've got it. I think I do, which is fine. I'll make another zigzag line slightly further across. I'll go back on myself and come back again. That should do it. That's nice and strong. Whoops, trying to snip. <laughs> and then you will um, allow that elastic to then be hidden fully within the casing. There you go. Just try to evenly um, spread the gathers so that it doesn't bunch too much on one side with no gathering at another bit. Okay, that looks fine. Feels evenly gathered. 
So then what you will do is close this gap here, a bit fiddly. Just take your time. Pins will help. You just want to make sure that you encase the um, elastic without necessarily sewing the elastic to the casing. Not the end of the world if you do, but try not to. Again, you'll try to get as close to the raw edge of that casing as you can. stitch stitch at the end okay and there you have integrated elasticated waistband I'm just neatening off some of these loose threads okay and then I will um, turn the skirt right side out now Looking lovely. It's got pockets. Woo. So finally, finally, um, you will want to hem the skirt. A very similar technique to how we created the casing for the waistband. So this skirt is right side up. So you will turn under this. Um, hem by about uh, a half an inch and then turn it under again another half an inch and you will make a stitch from the right side across the um, whole circumference of the hem using a one centimeter seam allowance and you have made your hem I'll just go and do that and then I'll come back okay so I have um, made the hem I've turned under to the wrong side um, half an inch and then turned under again another half an inch thereby closing or rather um, encasing the raw edge of the hem. Now from the right side I'm going to um, stitch this hem closed the whole way round using a one centimeter seam allowance.
to the end, back stitch. And that's it. Snip the ends. And you finished your skirt. So that was the Althea skirt that we stitched. A very simple sew. We added pockets, inseam pockets here. We added elastic to create an elasticated waistband. And then we hemmed the bottom of the skirt. Really easy, a really simple sew. You can make this in wax print or you can make it in any of your favourite fabrics. Well, look at that. Well, how long have we been on? 53 minutes since the top of the hour. A completed skirt. This said skirt that is next to me. Yes, if you could only see us during that, trying to dress. Well, I say us, me, trying to dress this mannequin. I know it don't go, but we wanted to show you all the options that you've got. So you, these are all the fabrics. Everything that we're here now, these are all the fabrics that you can now get. Okay, these are all the patterns. The details are on the screen. 789116 is your item number. You're getting two yards. Pick your favourite, jump to the website, tap the app, give the call signs going, right? I want that red one. The red one with the yellow bits of corn. They'll know what you mean. With a very busy hour, check out your baskets as well. Uh, I don't want you to miss out on these. Uh, thank you to the beautiful demonstrations. There were so many more that we couldn't fit in. We, uh, we needed a two-hour show to show you everything. Remember, you can watch everything back on the app as well. Um, stay with me. And one hour down, another three to go. I'll see you on the other side of this. Yes, indeed. The next three hours look a little bit like this. A brand new one day special is about to launch. And guess who we've got on Skype? Oh, it's only Lou with us. Hi, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. Join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craftscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils, which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent 
and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer shows on Achanda. Chanda's Celebrate VE with 4 for 3 event. Join us from Thursday the 7th of May at 6pm to Monday the 11th of May at 6pm as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe Day by bringing you some fabulous 4 for 3 offers throughout the bank holiday weekend. Simply order 4 products from the same live show during the event and receive the cheapest free. Over the weekend, your favourite guests will be showcasing many exciting products, as well as offering you their invaluable expertise. So tune in, reach for the skies, and stock up on your crafty cargo, and help us celebrate VE Day with 4 for 3, from the 7th of May at 6pm. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Janice. That gives you the spiel of what's going on then. So four for three is what we're going to do. But it is a brand new one day special. It's six o'clock, which can only mean one thing. Your 24 hour deal is now open. The doors to the sweet shops are now open. Now, everything you see in front of me is your one day special. Now, if you were to go for all of this, if you went out and bought it all individually, it would cost you £210.90. Oh, I know, Mrs., but I can do better than that. Our usual price is £170.90. And 90 pence but because it's a one-day special we've lowered it again to 149 pounds and 90 pence which gives you two flexible payments now of 74 pounds and 95 pence 74 pounds and 95 pence will get you everything that you see in front of me now now I know what you're thinking at home it is a considered purchase. I, I, I totally understand with where you're coming from with this. It is a considered purchase. But if you think for £210.90 what well, it would normally cost you, for £74.95 today across two flexible payments, you are going to get the lot. But I know what you're thinking. This is all well and good, Adam. Thank you very much. You're a very nice boy. But, but I'm unsure what I would do with it all. Well, never fear, my little chickadee. Oh, I've missed her dearly. I really, really have. She's got the sun beaming down on her face, or she's got very good lighting, and she's got a full setup going on. It is the one and only, the award winning. It's my little Lou. How are you, Lou, my love? I'm really, really good. Yeah, the sun is a bit bright there. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm absolutely loving it. Before we start talking about your one-day special, which is amazing, 
Um, I said this a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to say it again now. I'm talking to you face to face. Um, what you do every day on Facebook for your social media is amazing. It's really keeping people going. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm enjoying it more than everybody else. But yeah, it keeps, it keeps me sane. Ish. I know it does. I've learned so much. I learned about pencils the other day. I never knew there was so much to learn. Well, this is it. I could go on for hours on a pencil, but... Well, it's true. I, I, have you blaring, I have you blaring through the car, save listening to Radio 2 at midday when I used to come in. I have Lou with us. <laughs> I do. I do. Are you sitting on the stairs, Lou? I am. I'm just going to shut, shut this. Are you just... sitting on the stairs? I thought you were. There well, be we careful. Go. That's, that's a different show, Lou. Oh, that's now... better. I'm in the dark. <laughs> Oh, look, there you go. Look, you can see your pretty little face. Right then, Luke, your one-day special. 16 pieces for £74.95, pence, two flexible payments. It's a ridiculous price. Right. This is an absolutely busting bag of equipment. It just is. It's got everything that, if you're a beginner, it's everything that you want to know what you need. Yeah. If you're advanced, it's everything that you need to stock up on because you'll be using it. But you've got things in there like the black watercolour card. That's extremely dear to get hold of. Um, yeah, it's really hard to get hold of. And it's 300 DSM. And not only is it sort of watercolour paper, but you mix media and everything. You can just absolutely put everything on that. It's absolutely stunning. You've got the, um, the A5 in the mixed media pad. That's watercolour as well. So don't be fooled by the labels, you know. And all the demos show you've been using everything. Yeah, that's really thick. It's almost like, well, it is card, really. It is really so, good. Let's go through it all one by one then, Lou. So we've been through the papers okay, at the front. No uh, now we'll move up to the a uh, uh, the acrylic, the white acrylic that we're getting as well. What would we do with yes. this? Right, well, you've got different sorts of acrylics. You've got, this one's um, a pearl one. And it's got a, a beautiful pearl finish. So anything you paint... Um, if you put a layer of this on, it's almost like um, not, it's like translucent, and it gives it this wonderful like uh, dragonfly wings. Oh, nice. uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, so you've got that. We've got that. that then we've that's got the pearl white. Then we've got um, the bright white then you've pens. Got the jelly roll, or oh, classic, and you've got them in three sizes of nibs. You've got them in a one, a point a, and a point five. You've got the uh, gold, silver, copper, and white pen touch pens. Now these um, write on anything and everything, but they give you the uh, like a pure effect of pure gold leaf, if that makes sense. So it, it, some of us all these know the old Krylon pens, and they write on everything. That's the sort of pen that is. And then we've got. I think we're moving on to gessos, are we? We are indeed. Oh my goodness. We've got white gesso, we've got modelling paste, and then you've got, we've got heavy... gel mediums. Now, the white gesso is really strong. That's the bottom one. That that's pretty. It's not it's not too thick to work with, and it's not too thin. So you've got the consistency of of, of a good cream, if you make sense. Because some of it is a little bit too runny. Um, yeah, that is, is absolutely beautiful. Most of the time, you only need one coat, and the tub is huge. It is really a big old tub. I um, tend to use mine out of the lid. Then we've got um, we've got the gel medium or the modelling paste you choose. All right, let's go gel medium. Gel medium in the mat. This is heavy gel medium, so this right. has got a real viscous um, thickness to do with it. So this will adhere everything. It'll create wonderful peaks and troughs on your stenciling and stuff, and it dries clear and matte. So it's a two two a winner there. Uh, then, then the modelling paste gives you great structure and it's sandable, paintable, uh, yeah, and it's like, um, if you can imagine, a really sort of good polyfiller, uh, although it's much more than that. It, it smells like um, polyfiller, though. It's brilliant, it just works really well with everything else in the pack. Other brands are available, but it does smell like polyfiller. Uh, then, you've also got your little spatula. Oh, right, yeah. Right, there's lots of spatulas, but you don't get, you'll get a, um, a really scrapey end and a really, yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing that you're doing there because it's so flexible. Some of them say they're flexible, but the, the, the only bit that's flexible is the tip. And if you go too far, you'll, not on this, but you'll snap it. This is soft and rounded and it is more like using um, 
a, a pencil. So in pasto, which means thick layers, you can get a really good effect with that. See, it's even got you going. It has. You're not even here, Lou, look, and things are falling down. Uh, then we, <laughs> we move on to the acrylics. Right. You get 12 acrylics in there, 12 mil. Right. Well, these, um, you've got a full range of colours. So normally, when you get a set of colours, you'll get the primaries plus black and white. Um, and that's always hard to maintain the consistency of colour. So if you mix two primaries, you get a secondary. But you can't keep getting that colour. Whereas with this... You don't need to, because you've got enough. They, they will last you, they really will. The coverage is brilliant. You've got the um, the artist quality names. So you'll have like the Ultramarine and the Fail. I don't know if you've got Fail on that, but you've got the, the real art, artist quality names in there. So most people will know that. Great for your acrylic, acrylic, can't speak, acrylic pouring. Great for watering down and making glazes with your heavy gel medium. It's just... Never ending, never ending. It is, and we're only halfway through. Um, so th remember the big bundle, one day special, is sixteen pieces. Those ones, that, those ten that we've just spoke about. If you just want to go for those ten, ignore the brushes. If you want to go for those ten that we've spoke about, you can do. And the details are now on the screen. Uh, everything's on an extended delivery from the twenty ninth of May. Uh, 29th of May, everything's on extended delivery. Um, but so all of that now, 37 pounds, 38 pence on two flexible payments. If you just want that, if you want to carry on though and get the full collection, uh, up next, Lou, we've got two paint brushes. Right. Well, these um, are great. You can use them for watercolors for to get in the background on. But this is the Force It's massive. I tell you what, this is nearly as big as I want to put my makeup on with. Um, well, I didn't want to say. No, I'm only joking. This is a brilliant wash for uh, brush for acrylics, watercolours, and you just rather than mess about, you just get a one sort of one swipe coverage. It's brilliant, and then you've got a detail brush, and they are as long as you look after them. There's nothing to say you can't keep these forever. Good break. And look at the name, of course. Uh, you've got Amsterdam, but a number eight, as you can see, that is like a watercolour. It keeps coming back to that points so it's useful for all all your crafting and all your needs you find painting everything so that's two brushes we're getting we're there is still more we then yeah. get the most exquisite palette of pencils yeah again this range of pencils because it's got the um, in-between colors as well those people who are a bit worried about trying to get a blend or, or trying to create new colors you don't have to with this it's done for you and you can go as long as you keep to the the idea of light medium and dark you know it's infinite this you, you can carry on and carry on but you can use it on all the acrylics you've got there you can use it on in all your pads on your black pad you can use it with the metallics that are coming up yeah and you can see that that to me says it all. I can just go for any colour I want without having to worry about, oh, will I be able to get that again? Or what happens if I, if I forget what colour it is? Always write down on the side of your page the numbers that you're going to use. That way you can always pick up the right pencil again. Good little plan, good little plan. We're still going on. We've got three more to do. Uh, we'll go down to the bottom for your... Oh, oh, your well. paint. Are these watercolours now? Right, these are absolutely stunning. You have got a full set of Van Gogh watercolours, but metallics. So you've got you've got rich gold, old gold. You've got like a, a silver, a white, a pewter. Then you've got the interference colours. And on white paper, they just look like white, white, and a bit more white. But on black, that's when it all happens. It, they just go to those colours that you see on there. If they go to the reds, the blues, the greens. You just have to see it on black paper. Uh, this, this is one of those times I wish it was there, but hopefully the demo will show you how it works. Oh, I can't wait. I literally can't wait. Uh, then we've got the fine line of pens as well, just next door. Three different sizes of these Love as these. well. What this do you is where this I do all... Now these, um, they're right up there. You know, these. They, I think that Secure is like Hero Products Plus. I must point out you've got a point... Zero, zero, 005. Now I do all my drawing in that, and they're hard to get hold of. So they're like, like it's like an eyebrow on a brush that 
or an eyelash it's so fine they're absolutely beautiful and i use these all the time to do my drawing with it's stunning but they work on top of the paints you've got they work with the pencils so it's well thought out this well thought out because it's not just some paints you can't paint or draw over when you've worked these you can't you can work over all of them amazing and then last but no means these on the complete bundle you're also getting black gesso thrown in as well black gesso um, now, if you want to sort of really wow, you know, your inter Ooh. interference colours on this. Oh, so any paper you've got, card or anything, and you want it to, to sort of really behave similar to a watercolour or a heavy card, you put this on first, it creates a bed or tooth. So that all the paint has got something to adhere to or grip to. So that's why this is so, so, way, so, so good. Because you've got oh you've got everything you'll need to start ever. To me, I don't think there's anything else I could think of. Oh, you might need a little bit. No, you won't even need glue because you've got your gel medium. I'm trying. I'm trying my best to think of something that you'd need, but I can't, Adam. Well, I think I you can. just you'll just need a little pot of water. That's it. That is it. And I think you're that, good. To that's go all you need. Looking at it, and I've had right really good fun with this. Really good fun. And those people who are serious crafters or artists or whatever they will actually um these are the things they'll need to stock up on what these that? are the things they'll al already have well it's good to have uh, don't go anywhere though, but if you want these six on their own they do come as a bundle so you can get two brushes all your pencils your watercolors your fine liner pens and your black gesso this is 96 pounds and 15 pence once again two flexible payments now of 48 pounds and uh, eight 48 pounds and eight across two flexible payments but if you do want everything almost 10 percent of the stock now has already gone of the large bundle um, Lou, why I have got you, um, I hope to yeah. speak to you again later as well. Um, we've, got a, we've got a vast, uh, what we call in the trade, a vast poll. There's a vast show here that we've got yeah. as well. Um, is there anything, because we've got this event um, four for three, as it were. Uh, well, that's what it is. Uh, this would be obviously one of your items if you're going for the complete bundle. Now, if money-wise was, if money was no object for you, Lou, what other three things would you put in your basket off that website? Because you know what we've got on the show as well. With these, oh, Amsterdam or everything or anything. Anything. Anything off our web, anything off this show though. So anything from our Amsterdam show, anything from our one day special show. Right. I would have to put in the pack of um, six iridescent colours. I would have to put in the extra massive big um, tub of of extra heavy gel medium and I'd have to put in I think I'd have to get in a bigger pad because the bigger the pad oh no hang on then I'd have to put them in the big set of can colors there you've got in, I think you get in, you get I get a big pad interference colors and those big set of Van Gogh um, watercolors and I, I don't think I'd have to come out of the house ever again then <laughs> well maybe for food <laughs> Never, Lou. I'll send. I'll send it to you. I'll send you a little goodie bag if you wanted to. Don't you worry. Uh, Lou, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll let you get back to your dinner because I know. I know them lamb chops won't eat themselves. And uh, we'll speak to you then <laughs> later. <laughs> is it lamb chops or is it, is it lamb chops or soup you got this evening? Well, I'm, I never eat lamb chops now, but you'll have to come and look at my lives to understand that one. <laughs> oh. That's all. There's enough. There's enough. That you can't <laughs> turn down. Uh, we'll let you get off the stairs, Lou, before you get cramp, and um, I'll come and speak to you later. Oh, see you later. Bye now. Bye, oh, bye, bye. bless her. Oh, that nursing home will never be the same. Now, before we have to put her on the stairs, you can't see everybody else. We can't get forms signed. Uh, bless her, and then uh, bless the carers that look after her. Uh, now. I'm joking, viewer. Uh, right then, details are on screen. Very busy for your one-day special. 10% of the stock has already gone. Head to the website. Um, while we're there, I'm just going to show you. I know I'm not meant to. Uh, these are the big tubs we were talking about. This is the uh, extra heavy gel medium that we were talking about, that Lou was talking about. Look at that for a part. And then we're going to bring you details in for this. We are going to go to a demo. I'm not meant to do this. I can only apologise. Uh, £21.95, pence, 319 um, I want to show you the gesso as well. Look at that for white gesso. Check the website out. Everything is on there. 
Oh, it's like our, it's like our Jimmy's uh, vitamins that he has. Bless him. <laughs> oh, bless him. You want to see him? Uh, savings galore across the board. Uh, remember, it's four for three. We're celebrating. Um, why don't you celebrate with us as well? Uh, stay with us as well. I'm with you for another two hours. But enough of me waffling. Let's get straight to the demonstration. I want to see how this is used. Hi, I'm going to so enjoy this. I'm going to create a canvas, but to, in order to create a canvas, I need to do all little tests first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a resist technique. Now you can do this several ways. We're going to use a gel matte medium, you can use gel or gloss. We're going to use the modelling paste. We're going to use all the different pastes you've got in your isolation pack. And then we're going to use the paint and so we're going to create a test piece. But this is the first one. So what I've done is I have drawn some lines and on here I have used um, a, a drawing gum, which is like a resist paste. You don't have to do that. So I'm going to show you the other things you can do. One of the first things you can do to create a resist image is get, I'm just going to sacrifice this piece of card. I've just cut one piece of card and I'm, the reason I've done that is so that I can put all the stuff I need to through it, test it and then keep it. So here we've got a matte gel medium. I'm using the wonderful um, palette knives and all you do is pick your pick because I'm looking at a certain artist um, and, and I've looked for all the stencils that match his design and I'm just going to put that through. I'm not trying to be perfect. Right, now all I do, now as you know, I, I always keep that and I'll put that in a sketchbook. So I'll leave that to one side to dry. So the next thing we can try is, what about a resist? Well, the resist can be done either way. I'll just show you the quickly the resist using the, the liquid gum. And all you do is you can get your designs and then my advice is when you're using this have a tissue ready so that because it does pour out pretty quick so I've just got this here so I'll just keep that clear and then what I'm going to do is copy the designs um, that resemble and then these are the designs that appear in the artist's work so just you know be mindful take your time right so that's one way of doing it with that but there are other ways of doing it now the thing is these, these are mine but we will try and bring them to you um the, the next one we can do is where we use embossing pen and an em and powder and what you do is Get your embossing pen. Now you have to be quick with it because this is very thirsty paper and it might run out really quick. It might dry out, sorry, quick. But what you can do is just do that. Do another one. So you can see there's three different ways of dealing with this. You can do whatever you want. This has got a great thick and a thin edge. But what that means is all these are now done in this in different ways but we are achieving very similar and I'll show you what the next step is once we've heated that off I can now just show you what it looks like once we've done that so you heat this up you leave the other ones to dry because don't forget that they all have different different needs when they're drying we'll heat this up a little bit Warm up your gun. And the beauty of this one is it's so fast, it heats up really quickly. So you can do quite delicate surfaces with this because you don't have to stay that long on it. So then you do that. So we've got all these different ones. Here's one that I did before using the gun. So I can actually show you that. But all you do is just do your test pieces on your card and then when we come back we'll show you what else you can do with all the paints and uh, all the textures in the next part. Okay, so we've got this far where we've used some resist materials. So 
here I've got the rubber cement and here I've got the embossing powder so you can do it either or and and the reason I'm doing this is to show you all the different ways that you can actually use the materials in your isolation pack all together um, you can draw into it I'll do that last one in a minute but here we've got the surface re-wet your paints because that's the most important bit you need to wake them up you need to not remember not too much water on your brush because you need to get some depth so the first one I'll show you is this is just one layer of embossing now if you do it twice you'll get a thicker line so what this allows you to do is it keeps the line underneath black so you can start to add colour now this is quite a watery one because I want it that way so I'm going to blend some colours up so I'm going to go from the pink to the red up here and then to the blue, uh, sorry, to the coppers and then the blues. And I'm going to try and get a nice blend in the middle. But as you can see, it works really, really well with your embossing uh, powder, uh, pens. And, you know, it's, it's a, another nice technique. Now, the artist I'm looking at has lots of circles and squares and triangles in, in his work. So uh, that's why I'm doing all these test pieces, because then when you want to do something else you can say right okay I know this works I know that works so you, it's good to keep these as little test pieces and don't forget they mix together so you're not you don't think you're just stuck with these colours you, you've got as many colours as you want so I've done that one now I'll show you on the rubber cement um, and the rubber cement we've brought, we've brought this to you before this acts a little bit different because it's sort of like sticky but you have to let this dry so this, remember, will be where you want the black lines. As in with this, you've drawn where you want the black lines. This will be as well. And I'll just put a little bit. So with this one, I'm being a little bit more conscious of where I'm drawing. And all this will be going on my canvas at the end. So there's a reason for this. So you let that dry and you let them both dry. And you'll end up, you let them dry like that, however you want them. And you'll end up with a surface that you need to clean up. So I'll just move them over so you get a surface like this. Now this is ready for me to take apart. You don't need one of these. This is just takes away the cement. Now this is just to show you um, because you have to wait for the others to dry that what happens is when you move the cement away you're left with a, a wonderful black line. You can use your fingers um, but I will tell you though, when you're using these paints, you must let them dry properly because you've got to let the iridescence sort of fall into the into the paper properly. If you don't, it, it'll sit on the top and smear. So you can see, I love this, I sit here for hours doing this, but you can see you've got this wonderful... Now, if this was a light paper, there's no way this would stand up to this. If this, this would fall apart. So this black watercolour card is brilliant for that. So the reason I've shown you all that is we've got this texture, we've got this, we've got this. Is I've gone away now and I've drawn a canvas. And on this canvas, I've got all the patterns that I want. So I'm going to be using the areas for the texture paste, the modelling paste, which is the white one, or the, anything else I've got. So you can see, I've only done it out rough because I'm going to paint it out black later on. So don't worry too much. So... I'm going to go away now, draw out my outline and start to put the surface textures on here ready to show you next. Right, right, what I've done is I've drawn out some really rough lines on here but this is just basically to get an idea. So the next thing is I'm going to do is get my modelling paste and I'm just going to start by putting some lines down. Now the modelling paste, it doesn't matter because it's white so I'm going to paint over it anyway. So I get that on there, join it up. It doesn't have to be exactly like the lines underneath because the lines are just a, a really rough, really rough sort of idea of where you want things. So leave that like that. Then turn it around and think, right, okay, where do I want any more? I quite like this bit here, but I think I might put some other lines in. So I've got this square one and I quite like the idea of just putting a few in there. So you, you, you really do take your time with this because you, you want to sort of, although the lines aren't that important, you want to try and keep them 
within some sort of idea so that the design is there but you can change it so this is the modeling paste again um clean up as you go you can change this out and you can put um your, your gel mediums on but i'm just going to show you a little bit so you look at balance so i think i'm going to like a bit here but it doesn't have to meet these lines and then this is the best bit you can scrape it all out clean all that off put it on your stencil now the best bit is clean this off straight away because although it's you know it will wash off you don't want to mess too much so what i'm going to do is just put a little bit piece here now it will be a bit shiny for the camera so i do apologize um but you just put a little bit of texture now i drew like a, a triangle there so just drawing that on there and then i think right well i need a little bit up here as well and we're going to do some drawing so get this in here first don't forget you can go over to the background as well the sides um sorry the background carry it all the way down and the reason I'm doing this is just to show you that don't be frightened of trying to draw your shapes yourself. Now here, can you see, we've got this strange line just finishing. So what we can do is put our own line in. And I'll show you why that won't matter in a minute. So we've got that. What we can do now is we can add some gel medium as well. So if I was to put this on here and I wanted to keep, you know, areas free, like this here, I really like this here. You could put areas of gel medium on there or your texture paste or both. So really look through your stencils, but think about your design, draw it on your canvas. And then when you've got it on your canvas, that's when you can start playing. I really like this little small one. I think I'm going to put a few of these all over. Um, and even the edge you like, perfect. Uh, and I like it in here because there's a line in there. So this, you can use all the textures that you've got in your pack. And we're going to be doing some wonderful um, sort of adding what stuff with embossing uh, embossing powders. But we're also going to be using our, um, oh, what's it called? Gesso and stuff to create textures. So don't be worried. But the one thing you do have to do is let this dry. Because if you don't, you um, you can't add texture. So the last thing I'm going to do before I take this away and dry it is what you do is get a little bit of like the Van Gogh uh, modelling tools are great for this or the little ball end tools, your embossing tools. And what you're going to do is you can just draw your lines in very carefully or in my case not so carefully and I'm looking at an artist's work so I know where I'm going with this if you don't feel confident enough to draw you don't have to you can take elements of stuff and add circles but the one thing I will show you is um, I'm going to add some spirals and once you start adding and getting a bit of confidence, you'll be fine at the end of to do that. It's good, isn't it? And everything you need is in that one kit. Right then, we're gonna we've you've pressed on ahead with me. You are very good. You're shopping a, you're shopping ahead well, you really are. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'm taking you through the evening as well. Uh, we're now with your one day special. Then you've got me for well another two and a half hours. We've got another we got well, I say another. Uh, a happy hour. Crafty Devil's happy hour straight after this, and then we're gonna have another look at your one day special to round off your evening as well. Uh, but some other things that you found as well now. Pearl set. These are your pearl tones. Uh, you can see at the bottom, if I move my little sausage fingers out of the way, uh, covered in emulsion and I can't get it off. Um, but you can see the colours that you've got there as well. Absolutely beautiful is what they are. Uh, look at the colourways that you have got there. Look. Now you put that onto your black card that you're getting in your one day special. You are good to go. They, as, as Lou said on the phone, uh, they all look white. 
when you start using them on your black cards and your black watercolour cards, they really do ping to life. Uh, these are ten pounds and ninety-five pence. Seven seven six one seven three is your item number. Uh, your colours. Along on the back of your box as well that you need. Remember, four for three as well. So maybe it's only some of the smaller things you want to go for. Maybe you're thinking out, and this is all well and good, thank you very much, but I only want a few of the things. We can do this for you. Stick with me. So, £10.95. pence. These are for your pearl tone colours, but maybe you want some of your larger jars of medium. Now, I've got your extra heavy gel medium. Uh, extra heavy gel medium is a litre. A litre is what you're getting here for your extra heavy. Have I swapped these around, Kate? Have I put the wrong one in the wrong place? Oh, okay, I'll move them back in a minute. Uh, 139842. Now, there's two options in this. You can either go for the matte or the gloss. What not they brass? Um, and then you've also you've got the matte or the gloss. It's entirely up to you. Uh, £21.95. pence. You're saving ten. It's a litre is what you're getting. There, there is so... Look, and it's full. It's not one of these litres where, yeah, it's not like, you know, you know when you get a bag of cheese puffs? And who doesn't love a cheese puff? Our Jimmy's fond. Uh, but they're not, they're halfway down the packet, isn't they, these days? You only get a handful in them. Not with this. This is full to the brim. Look at that. Give that a squeeze. It would ooze everywhere. This is your extra heavy gel medium that you're using now. A litre for £21.95. Maybe you want to go for... Here's a thought. Maybe you want to go for three of these. If you're going for three of your heavy gel mediums, put an extra something in. Because that extra something will be free. You're going to get the cheapest item for three. So buy three. The fourth item that you pop into your basket, if it's the cheapest, it'll be free. It's very, very easy. Uh, amazing as well. £21.95. 139824 is your item number. It helps if I could read. Then we're moving down is your modelling paste. Now remember you're getting the smaller tubs of this in your one day special. Uh, you're getting the smaller tubs in your one day special. I was going to pick it up then I thought it might all fall apart. Uh, so you're getting larger. This is a litre again. £21.95 pence is what we're talking. Uh, remember extended delivery 29th of May is what we're looking at with these as well. That's the smaller tub that you're getting in your one day special. That's 250 mil is what you're getting in there. So now this is your litre. This is a thousand Milliliters. A thousand. I couldn't say that then. Miller, 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 miller. Uh, this is a thousand is what you're getting. Absolute elite's worth. Absolutely beautiful. Once again. Oh, look. Look at that. Oh. I'm loving that. Uh, so, I've now bent the jug. Uh, so, very busy on that. Now, you're pouring medium. Oh. Now, I'm liking this. Do you know why I like this? It's in a glass jar. You don't normally see that, it's normally plastic, so you can reuse the jar. It does look like, uh, it looks like a little, well, you could use it with anything. Now, you can mix it with acrylic paints and inks. It's going to make everything last a little bit longer, as it were. It's going to stretch your mediums out. Your pouring mediums means you, it will make things last longer. It will sort of be easier to use. Uh, absolutely beautiful is what it is as well. Once again, a large tub. Uh, what I also like, well... Everyone, everyone I use on this channel, anyone I see use, has always got in the stats, they always smear it on first, white gesso. Look at this, 60% of the stock has now gone. 21 pounds, 95 pence. If this was me, I would be going for three of these. What would that be? Two, four, six, 63, 66. About sixty-six pounds, give or take a few pence, and now and once again sixty-six pounds, long as your budget. Then you could split that onto your flexi, because remember, go over that 20, uh, sixty pound mark. You then enter into your flexi basket. You enter this code as well that's here. You're going to get one of these for free. So you would get four liters of white gesso. That's going to last you an awful long time. Uh, when all this is over and done with, and we're all about to go out and about again, if you're running craft classes, this is the way to stock up. This is the way to go. You've probably gone through loads of white gesso while you've been on this lockdown. You've probably gone through tons, doing all your canvases, doing all your work. You start running dry. Are you just using bits and you think, oh, I'll just use that little bit because I don't want to run out. Don't know where to get it from. Can't get it. Can't scratch. 
60. Very, very, four litres worth. Four litres of white gesso. Uh, fill your boots, fill your baskets, as it were. Fill your baskets and start checking out. Four for three as well. Uh, seven, nine, six, six, seven, two. I don't think this will be here for the latest show. Just putting it out there. I might be wrong, but I don't think it'll be here. 60% has already gone for your white gesso. Uh, we're shimmying on down is what we're shimmying down to. These are your mediums. These are your mediums. So you've got your heavy. Now, we, you are getting five, but we've only got the four. So you're getting five mediums. You get your matte medium, your glossy medium, your coarse, your modelling paste, and your pearl medium as well. Everything you know, there's your course, look, there's your, all your mediums that you're getting. You're getting five tubs of your medium, £54.95, all from the amazing brand of Amsterdam as well. Uh, you know what you're buying into, you're buying into quality. This is brand new today. 741490 is your item number, £54.95 is what we're looking at. You're saving a fiver on those as well. Uh, right then, we're moving down. You found these as well. These are your paper pads, your Van Gogh paper pads. Good quality, 300 GSM. You're getting A4 and you're getting your A5 as well. Just so you can see the size difference in case you don't know. A4 is obviously the one at the front, which is this one just here. A5 is your one at the back. You're getting both of the, oh, look at this price. Both of these for £19.50. 30 sheets in each, 300 GSM. It's good quality paper is what you're buying into as well. It's mixed media paper as well, so it's going to take all your mediums. You've seen a lot of Lou makes and creates, um, and our Leone as well. And amazing at what they do. And they always use paper that can take everything. This will take everything, from your stencils with your gesso, to your mediums, to your watercolour paints as well. Maybe you're going for your one day special, and you're going to pop one of these in as well. It's worth doing. Maybe you're going to go for three of these. Uh, well, that'd be two, four, sixty quid. Sixty pound, bar a few pennies. I've rounded it. If it was, uh, it was one pound fifty between friends. Um, I've rounded it all up to twenty pound. But even if it was twenty pound for both of them, well, that'd be two, four, six, and you would you'd get an awful lot because you get one free as well, wouldn't you? You get four A five and four A four paper pads. It's an amazing little deal. This four for three. Really do play around. It only works for the live hours that we've currently got on as well. Um, take advantage during the happy hour during the next hour as well. Four for three would be amazing on that. Uh, right then, let's move on down. Very busy on these. Very busy on that white gesso. Uh, jump in while you can. Uh, last but no means least, if you saw the little pot of uh, paint set that we got in the one day special this is what and this is one of Lou's favorites this is one so that she would put in to her basket as well then you've got every color under the sun as Lou was saying with these this is like your pencils in your one day specials you're getting 48 watercolors but not just the watercolors that you use every single day these are all your tones look at those blues so you go from blue which starts here to, so then you sort of go all the way through to your purples. You've got all those tones in there. You've got the greens that will take you all the way through. Watercolour little goes a long way with your watercolours as well. They all come. Look at that orange. You go from yellow to the deep orange to pumpkin. Then you go to sort of the, the sunflower orange into your browns as well. Into your light blues and your greys that you're getting in there. Uh, absolutely beautiful. 48 watercolours. It comes as well with the mixing palette. Obviously, this all folds down and folds away. Everything is there. Uh, it comes with all your watercolours. Oh, Adam, what did you do that for? It comes with your watercolours so you can blend. And you've got your mixing tools at the bottom as well. Uh, I think these are absolutely stunning for £99.95. and £95. It's a £30 saving. And it's on two flexible payments as well. £49.98. and £98. Right then, we've seen part one. Of our Lou. Let's go back for a bit of part two. Right, all nice and dry. Just be careful when you're drying this because you might have a skin and you might look it might look dry and it isn't. Now this Amsterdam gesso is fantastic. I love it. And it's a real rich black. Now my advice is when you use it, use it sparingly and use it out of the lid. But make sure you clean all this up. I'm also going to be using the massive big brush that you get. Now this is a power brush. This, the 48, look at that. You get it, it bristle, 
power in that now when i'm using this i only need to do one or two strokes so I'm just going to put it in never load your gesso too far up but you'll see what light work this makes with two or three passes it's done so and don't be lulled into the thinking that you've got to put a heavy gesso layer on you don't remember to do all the sides now i've seen people do this and um, they've added too much gesso and it's incredibly difficult when you do that to get the actual sort of layers you want and to get it to dry so my advice is always always thin layers and then really brush it in with this brush because this modeling paste allows you to do that and you want to get in all the nooks and crannies and all those patterns will just pop up now I really like this it's like um it's exciting because all those horrible lines that I drew in the background now have disappeared and you've just got this wonderful texture don't forget though do the sides because the sides are really important this look these look really good if you put them on a 3d canvas as well so that you've got a black edge and then a white 3d cam under, underneath it say a square thread, uh, canvas that's two inches bigger all round and that's why that looks amazing so don't want to sort of bore you but I just wanted to show you what it looks like as all these lovely lovely textures appear now and you can see look you don't need to go right up to the to the uh, edge of the brush just keep it to the end dry brush not too heavy and when you go across light brushes like that I've seen a lot of people when they're gessoing and I don't think anyone's actually said this is how you gesso I mean there are different ways I don't always use a brush sometimes I use a sponge but when you've got really delicate details like this real detailed detailed details you need a brush to get in so then go over all the way it doesn't matter you'll always find a bit always find a bit but now what that means is that gesso now I'm there will allow me to do anything I want because it's a key it's not like an acrylic paint where there's coating on it this now allows it's got a tooth so I can paint I can do everything on it and my all my paints will sit nicely on the top and be absorbed but they won't rub off so there you go simple gesso now and we're just going to let that dry as you can see now you've got a matte finish which means the gesso is dry but make sure it is properly dry i rush things and you can just see the speckles where i've not put enough on um, that's not coverage that's me not not doing it so take your time now i couldn't wait so i had to sort of go ahead so what i've done is i'll just show you you wake up your paints as always and then what i'm going to do is just put float some here and by float i mean i'm not actually trying to sort of paint anything as yet i'm trying to put a metallic sort of layer down because what i'm going to do i know and, and i really don't want to do this but i've got a cloth here and i'm going to rub it back but the cloth i will save and use so i'm just going to paint one bit and then i'm going to get a little bit of water and just blend it out can you see how that just fizzles and blends out there's a reason for that that's because i don't want a harsh line not that you would get one but i tend to like this so and then very gently with your cloth very gently you just you're almost um actually this is better because you've got a flatter area just rub away can you see i'm revealing doesn't matter if you rub that because you can rub it off in a bit of water that's perfect so something with a flat surface and what you're trying to do is just bring the designs back oh that's gorgeous and then with this you can go over and pick up other areas so i've got that color which is oh, copper so i want to balance it now so what i'm going to do is just put a little bit down here just to balance it so not a lot it's just your three I 
and again these colours are just oh, absolutely stunning and again if you don't want it there just rub it off so we've got our three now it's we're not going to go mad with colour just yet we, we're going to see how it works because we've got drawing to go on this i do want to bring in some other colours i want to bring in some like pearls as well because i really get the idea that um the golds need to be like heavy gold bright gold luscious gold so this all does this and by that I mean this colour set does all that. So again, don't think you're just stuck with your one gold, two gold, three gold. You've got all these golds and they all mix. And they've all got diff different sort of uh, depths to them. So I'm adding a little bit and I'm going darker and darker and darker. And you'll start to see that that will change a little bit. So... And then, again, blend that out there, get your sponge. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love this. And then you can go on. If, when you're taking it off, some areas, it's not too deep. Oh, that's better. Not too deep, but this, you can brush it on to others. So I'll just bring it round and show you. I can actually add a tiny bit there. Oh, I'm loving this. And just show you here, just there, can you see? I can add a little bit of the gold there. So you can even brush it on. <sighs> lovely. So I've got lovely, lovely colours there happening. I've got the, the gold happening here. I've got a light, medium and dark. So I'm going to go dark, medium and light over here. So we've got the dark. And then we're going to go medium. And then go in with the light. And then I will be back to show you what it looks like when I've floated the first layer on and burnished it off. Right, okay, hopefully you can catch it all on camera. Um, but you'll be able to see I've floated a colour on there. But also on the show we've got these wonderful pearls. Now these work really, really well with the watercolours because watercolours react in a certain way, reactivate with water. Acrylics, these match perfectly with these, but these are permanent. So I want to show you now what they look like. So they all look like white, white, shiny, and white again, but actually these are the colours. So as you can see, we've got the blue, the yellow, the violet, the white, the green, and the red. You can just see the tint of them. You might not be able to catch them. But it means that you can use these and have a finish that's um, permanent. So what I'm going to do now is add this to the canvas. So I'm going to put them out of the way. But I do love them on the way anyway. And I'm going to use them straight from the tube. And I'll show you how strong they are. So they all look white. But now you can see they've, they're not as sort of, um, they've got a bit more staying power. A bit up here, a bit more staying power. Well, no, that's the wrong word. They seem a bit stronger, but that's because of the nature of acrylic, it will be. So, I'm just going to paint that on and I'm just going to get that in and give it a bit of texture. And the same up there. Now, acrylic does behave differently, it's got more body. Now, if you can just see how that has really, really taken on a different sort of feel to it there was copper down here copper here and I've added the gold on the top so you've got a real different feel to it so again I'm going to add some let's go this is quite powerful this but I absolutely love this colour and this is the blue and the violet uh, together and, and if you mix it with the green you get an amazing colour so I'm just going to put a little bit on it is so strong And what I mean is this, and that's good, but I don't want it to, to be the focal point of my 